are officially back with the Riddler of real estate and the Messiah of mortgage fraud, Matthew B. Cox. I don't need so much. Matthew's been doing the rounds. He's been doing the podcast rounds. He's been hitting all the major media outlets, all the podcast gurus. <laughs> you just got back from Miami. You did right. the Vlad TV interview. Right. How'd it go? I, it, I just, it, it, I mean, it went, oh, it wasn't great. It wasn't great because I thought... It's not as casual as this, yeah. and he asked specific questions. So you tend to jump, and every time he would say something, he would jump three or four, like, stories that I thought, well, if we're going chronologically, those are kind of interesting stories. People are always shocked by those stories. I'm mm -hmm. like, so I'm like, do I say something? Do I interrupt him? Do I tell him, do I tell him, hey, look. Yeah, get it want? a little closer. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's good. Because they always complain, say we were, we're louder than you two. Yeah. They don't like hearing us. They like hearing you. This oh is, Jesus! Are you but I think we this just have my, a little better microphone this is my mom. etiquette. Just answer it then, if you oh, want. Oh yeah, let's put her on. She's live. Just I put her on. I really this speaker is, phone. I can't. This is hor hold on. Matt Cox's hold mom. <laughs> hold on, mom. I'm actually, I'm actually on TV right now. Can, okay. Yes, you can see me. I can see you. Is Celine there? No. Okay, Charlene, can you go to YouTube to um? The Concrete Channel on YouTube. The Concrete one? Okay, I'm actually doing a podcast right now. Can I call you back? What's, it. A, what's your number? Okay. I can text it to I'm him. doing a podcast right now. Okay, okay. Can I call you back? You can go to Concrete with a K on YouTube. and oh, she, with a K. Right, and she can watch me. Okay. Okay. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye, Mom. I love you. Mwah. You want to type in her See number, you later. Her number and I can send her a link. Uh, yeah, it's so you don't say it on the air. Yeah. Does she have an iPhone? Uh, I think she does have a phone. <clears throat> Shane, how many milligrams are those gummies you're about to eat? <clears throat> I'm f I'm 50 deep right now. Ooh. <laughs> God damn, son. We're going to throw a couple more in the mix and see how it goes. How many milligrams is that total right there? <clears throat> These are ten. Of, I think these I are don't just know if she's gonna uh, thirty a piece. Figure it, figure it oh, out. Oh shit! Well, I ate four earlier, so mm. that's a, actually a buck twenty. So your, your mom's gonna watch the live stream? She's gonna try. I mean, she's ninety, so she. Yeah. I talked to her already. I, I talked to her once today. She and some. She'll call me sometimes twice a day. Really? We, we that's FaceTime. nice that you kept your relationship with your mom through all this. <laughs> Did she it? didn't disown you for going to prison. No, she came to see me every two weeks, bro. My mom you're, loves me. You're really, bro. Oh, yeah. you're really, you're really good. You're really mama's good boy, your mom. huh? I, don't I mean, go what, you're, listen, that's listen, that's the only. That's the only woman. Right? It, that's the only what? one. So woman funny. that's going to stick with <laughs> you. You get no 26 doubt. years. You think your girl's hanging out? Hell no. Your girl's gone. Mm -hmm. You know, unless you've got million. The only guys I know that their wife hangs out for 10 or 15 years is the guys for a lot of money to come back. They're worth like 30 million dollars, and they keep them in the house, and they've got kids and they so then they they stick around they right. come see you and everything but if she's got to go get a regular job and has two kids to to raise yeah she's out of there she's done she's like listen i'll answer your calls but we're we're done yeah you know. john lebron's got a good uh relationship with his mom as well yeah i see her she comes, cool. i've seen her come it's see crazy her. so a friend of mine i'm not really a friend he's like an acquaintance past friend friend from the past just got locked up in Coleman, the same exact place you were in. Right. Himself, yeah, right? this and is he crazy, calls huh? me. Oh, yeah. He calls me, and I get the call. You're getting a call from a federal prison. <laughs> and it's him, and he happens to be in the same exact block as Frank Amadeo, the emperor of the world. The emperor. Listen, you know what I want to do? Oh, I'm going to tell you. I, look, I'm turning Frank's story. Go ahead. Go ahead. Fin finish your I'm That sorry. was my shit. I was just, whatever. I was setting you up. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, I'm finishing. So the story, which is on my website, Inside True Crime. Okay, so the story, um, in, uh, It's Insanity, I'm going to turn it into a, a book. Like, I'm going to blow it out. Maybe 60,000, 70,000 words, turn it into a book. I've got a couple of Amadeo's people, two, or th two people that it, we used to work for him. And they're going to give me a couple other people. So I'm going to do interviews with them and blow it out to a whole book. But here's what I'm thinking. Wouldn't it be cool to do, like, T-shirts that say, like, uh, Frank Amadeo for Emperor 2040 or, or, or oh, tw yeah. 2024, whenever he gets, whenever his outdate is, you yeah. know, um, 
And you could do all kinds of stuff. And send him one. Yeah, and you could even do shirts with his quotes on it. Oh, people will die. People will die. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll anthrax your entire village. You know, yeah. I mean, he's got he's got a great quotes. You could do we, that, and then you could do a podcast on the yeah the book and the story and sell the t shirts. <laughs> I've been talking to him via email. He has has the email system at Coleman, and he's nice. been talking about it. he wants to call in and do a call in podcast. That would be great. The only thing that sucks is you got to break it in, into ten minute phone calls. 10 or 15 minutes. You can do 10 or 15 minutes. You can talk for 15 minutes. Or did they limit it to 10? I think it's now 10. 10? Yeah. Fuck. Because of COVID-19. So oh, yeah. crazy that all those people in the prison, there's like four people well, what that happened? have been shipped out of the prison because they got sick. They caught the virus. Hmm. What What about... Damn, what about somebody sent you two bucks. What happened yeah, to your Yeah, somebody just sent two did bucks. You, who's that? Did they ask a question? Nope. Did you have an assistant? Don't, what happened <clears throat> to your assistant? Who? Austin? Huh? The oh chick, no! The, the, uh, the hot what's chick. her name? Oh, Katie? Katie. Oh, Katie. I can't bring Katie, Katie. around when you're here, Matt. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you perv out too hard on her. Yeah, oh, like, that's so by wrong. referring to her as a hot chick is exactly the reason she's out here. So, um, so good thing she hasn't heard what I've said about so, her. <laughs> if you have her call the prison, you got to arrange. You can arrange to have Amadeo put on a telephone and get a phone call with him for an hour or two. But you're going to have to make the calls and fill out the paperwork. And remember we talked about this? Yeah, I do. But then I have to actually act like a legit media company. Yeah, you do have to. Well, it's, it's, it's true. You are a med- Or a legit news company. What was it? It has to be like a news it's station. Be, it yeah, but news, it don't matter. It Bubba have- used to do that shit and Did get he? into the courtroom. Yeah, you just have like a nice PDF with your logo on it yeah. and you're good to go. He'd send in like. You're the perfect person to help us do yeah, it. I'm actually, the perfect that's person you. to help you out with Luke, that. Luke, you've never been on a live stream on the. Uh, have you? Oh, yeah, you was on the one with Jake. Yeah, Everyone knows it's who you my are second now. podcast. I'm Luke James, King of the Clips, helping out here. I'm grateful to be here. We have a whole YouTube channel dedicated to clickbait run by Luke. Yep. I don't understand what that is. Like I'm the in clips, charge. You know those the, thumbnails the that you like? Where like you're no. all crazy looking. No, I don't like. He's those never seen. I make those. <laughs> <laughs> what a Luke so now we have. Bro, are we have you two serious. We have two people with fine arts degrees at the table. <laughs> oh, we have three in the room shit. actually. Uh, stinky Stinkline sixty nine. Uh, running the switching board is also a proud owner of a fine arts degree. See, there's three They're people giving in them this away. room right Damn. now. Damn, giving fine them away. Arts <laughs> How much I got to pay to get one? Uh, <laughs> depends where you go. I can give you one for about fifty bucks if you want. Sold. One. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Stop doing those fo- those fucking photos are horrible. It gets clicks though. It, so what's wrong with just a normal picture? It, I mean, it's not that interesting. Can't you do just like the a, people a- who are on YouTube? They need something extra to push them over the yeah. line because it really takes a lot to make that <laughs> click. There's a psychology to it. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I mean, it's not even that bad of clickbait compared to the other shit that's on YouTube. No, our our are- clickbait's pretty mild. Did you see Valuetainment? His oh are always my god. very very conservative very tame <laughs> are they really <laughs> yes there's, he doesn't do anything insane looking well, ma- maybe vlad will give you a real nice one yeah v- oh, <laughs> vlad's probably gonna crucify me oh yeah vlad will give you vlad's a are always great very thumbnail <laughs> what, he's his are good his are normal too there's just like the guy that he never has anybody making some weird face or catching him going you know See, I'm afraid to make a face right now because it's, gonna it's gonna going to come back on the next one. You never know what I'm going to do to you. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's the I worst. think my favorite one was the one about the Ponzi schemes where there's like 10 heads coming out of you. That one? Oh, you yeah, yeah, one? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> I, every once in a while, I'll see one. And for a, split, the Russian doll. For a split second, I get pissed off. Post and then link. I think, wait a minute. Calm down. It's Danny. Nobody watches this channel. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big deal. No viewers. Nobody watches this shit. Nobody anymore. cares. People want to learn how to make money. People want somebody to follow. People want somebody to tell them what to do. Mm-hmm. It's like Treon saying, you got to call this guy and you can talk to him about real estate. You should not take real estate advice from me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not, it's just, yeah. you know, I could tell you how to do it legally. But the, you know what the problem is? People want to buy real estate with no money down. And can you do it? Sure. There are ways to do it. And there are legal ways, but you have to build. With no money down? Sure. How do you buy real estate with no money down? You, you borrow the money. You borrow the money from a hard money guy that gives you all of the money, but you have to build a relationship with that guy. How do you do that? How do I build a relationship if I don't if I don't you know start, any hard money lenders? You, well, you first you, you start flipping houses. You go find a house for fifty thousand dollars. It's going to once it's renovated with twenty five thousand dollars, it's going to be worth one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars, and they're out there. And you find a hard money guy that will lend you sixty five percent of its aftermarket value, or you know once it's repaired, and then you basically have you have your repair money. And you have your down, or and you have 
the purchase price. Okay. So then he gives you draws as you fix up the house. But you need to buy the house first before no, no, you can he, fix it up, right? No, no, he'll buy the house for you. Oh, so he'll buy the house. Right, look, look, for simple numbers, let's say you're buying the house for $40,000. Dude, this is just, I'm leaving out a bunch of stuff. You're buying the house. You found a house for $40,000. Were you buying a house for $40,000? I just said for simple, no, you want me to jump to a million? No, I just let's do, let's do a hundred grand. That's what I'm saying. So, uh, so let's we like, say. We like big numbers around here, Matt Cox. 40,000. Big numbers. I didn't want to use big like numbers as a result of we what like I'm dealing <laughs> with. So let's say for the sake of argument. 80, an eight, you find a rundown piece of garbage house for $80,000. And can you find a piece of garbage house for $80,000? I have no idea. Sure you can. <laughs> um, so for eighty grand, and it needs a bunch of work, right? It needs about $50,000 worth of work. So you bought it for, you go in, you go to a hard money guy, and you say, hey, listen, found this house for $80,000. But once it's renovated, the appraised value in the area says it'll be worth $200,000. And he says, you know what? You're right. If you put $50,000 into this, it will be worth $200,000. Okay. So I'm going to give you a 65% loan to value. That's a, on a, based on a $200,000 aftermarket value of an appraised value of $200,000. That's $130,000. Mm -hmm. You're buying the house for $80,000. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you the $80,000 to buy the house. He buys the house. He's got a mortgage on it. There's fifty thousand left over, right? He's giving you one four, one thirty. So there's fifty grand left over. He says, "I'm going to hold the fifty thousand dollars until you start fixing it up. Once you start fixing it up, I'll give you draws. So you go and you fix up. You put twenty thousand dollars worth of work into the property, and you don't have any money. You have to convince the guy to put on a roof, the drywaller, and say, "Look, as soon as you're done, I will cut you a check." for that money. Once that's done, you call the hard money lender. He comes out. He says, you're right. You got a new roof. You did the drywall work. You did some paint. I'm going to release $20,000. He gives you $20,000. You pay those guys back. Then you go and you do the next phase of, of the repairs until you've done $50,000 worth of repairs. He continues to give you draws. Now he's released all the $130,000, right? The, mm -hmm. the four or the hundred, the 80 to buy the house plus the 50 yeah. and the repairs. You owe him 130. You sell the house for 200,000. Supposedly you make 70,000. It never really works like that. There's always something that goes wrong. And you do have to make those payments on the $130,000 loan while this is happening. Mm -hmm. But it is possible. Now, you're saying the other thing is how do I get a drywall guy to do the drywall and a roofer to do it? Yeah, you got to find all, all the trades people. Okay, well, great. You're gonna ha you, you may have to put some money into it or you have a credit card mm -hmm. or you get somebody to lend you the money to do that. You know, so there are ways to do it. But what, what hard money guy is going to lend money to a guy who's never done it before? So you kind of have to partner up with someone. You have to do a few of them. You have to slowly ease your way into it. And before you know it, once you've done four or five with this hard money lender, he'll get to a point where he'll start lending you 80,000 or 80%, 90%, 100% because he, he, he believes in you. Right. He knows you've always paid. You've always done what you said you were going to do. So it's possible, but it's highly unlikely, and it's certainly going to take time. And the problem is most people want a quick fix. They want to make money right away. Well, how do I make money right away? Well, you don't. Right. You know, it just doesn't work like that. If it was fucking easy, if there was some, some guru that could tell you, then kids these days, they want instant gratification. Right. Right. I wanted an instant gratification. It just, <laughs> yeah, you did. I just had to, I, I, and, I, and I got instant gratification and then eventually it caught up with me and then I had to go to prison, you know? So a lot of people want you as their guru. Yeah. And I've had that happen a lot. And I always think, you know, what, what are you doing? You can read what the comments. You, why would you... What do you? Right, I on, just I got out of prison. Yeah. You don't want to take advice. I mean, not that I don't have good advice or anything, but I'm not in a position to give you. I have got guys who say, "I want to come work for you." I can barely pay my bills. Yeah, and it's like what you had said. Luke, too, talking like, to Mike. Oh, a lot of people like don't look at your past, but they see like the way that you're able to talk and the way that you're able to carry yourself, and they don't look at like the criminal part of what you did. They see like how you were able to get to that point of it being criminal, and then they're like, "Oh." Well, if he could do it, I could do it. And if I just listen to him, then I could be like him. But I'll be smarter about it. I won't get caught. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not going it's, to. It's just, yeah, it's an illusion. That's the problem with gurus. It's, a, it's, it's an illusion. It's like, you know, where they say never meet your heroes, you know, because you're, yeah. you're always It's always a letdown. Yeah, it is. False idols. What is, what, is it, what, is, what is that word? There's a term for that. I think false idols. False, false idols. Right? Yeah. What is it, dogma? What is dogma? False prophet? I false prophet. That's what the word is. False prophet. Yeah. Believe in yourself. That's all you got to do. Bro, work hard and be patient. Yeah. Listen it's to Gary. Listen to Gary V. Persistence. Gary v? It's mm -mm. all about persistence. Oh, bro, you got to listen to Gary V. Persistence. Yeah, he's That's great. His great. All, he of course, great. his whole thing is like work him. hard, keep your bills low, and be patient. Mm -hmm. and That's that, good advice. Yeah. I mean, it's not, but people don't want to hear that. 
No, because it's not a quick fix and no, it doesn't put I don't money in my pocket. That. I don't want to hear that, and I know it's true. Mm. I mean, but that's what I got to do. Yeah. So what you have to do. It just sucks. My well, this favorite. is it. We're done. So this is you a should fucking just, you downer. Should, you should just practice what you preach, and you should just start doing your own podcasts on your own YouTube channel, I'm, which you won't. You're waiting for the big payday from Netflix, which is never going to come. No, not, I'm not even doing that anymore. <laughs> oh, what okay. I'm doing is exactly what we talked about. Remember I told you this? Is that it's a problem is that you you go in, and you've got 11,000 subscribers, which is what I have on my on my channel, Inside True Crime, which everybody subscribe. should subscribe. So wh Where's the camera? Are they all on? They're all on, Matt. You should talk to this one, though. Okay, mm -hmm. so Inside True Crime, it's my YouTube channel. You need to subscribe. So, like right now, I've got 11,000 subscribers, right? Mm -hmm. So, the issue is this. Let's say I do a podcast, a 30, 45-minute podcast. I break up all my stories into three or four, se um, three or four sections, yeah. parts, whatever. And I do little 30 minutes and explain the story. And I, and I get a co-host, and we talk, and we do the whole thing. And I, exp and I pull out the documents, and I go through it. And, you know, it's kind of interesting. Great. People like it. They get the whole story, and they see how it all, all unraveled. Yeah. Perfect. Well, the problem is, you do that. Well, I have no subscribers. So I get barely any views. You have so 11,000 subscribers. I blow all my content, and I don't really get any hits. And so you're basically doing it for free. You know that if you – let's say what's some of your video gets 50,000 hits in, in a month. It's a few hundred dollars. It's not that people are like, oh, you're going to make like five grand. Or, are you out of your fucking mind? You're going to make no money. I, it's not even worth doing it <laughs> to make a couple hundred dollars. What you have to do is you have to get a bulk of subscribers. You need two, three hundred thousand subscribers. Even, even if you had 150, you have a shot at 150 to 200,000 subscribers, right? So how do you get 150 to 200,000 subscribers? You put out content. Do I blow all of my decent content? Then what do I do? Then I'm doing these videos where these guys are going, hey, look, here's what a commissary looks, looks like. Let me tell you about commissary. Every one of these prison shows does it. Oh, 10 ways to get thrown in the shoe. Uh, uh, here's, what, here's what the shoe's like. Um, here's how you can get stabbed in prison. I mean, fuck, are you serious? I can't do that, bro. I'm not going to do Those are ridiculous. You know, uh, here's a, uh, let, We're going to go over um, good hygiene in prison. Are you serious? Who's watching this? So what happens is they blow all their content. And then they start doing these ridiculous shows, and then they get to the point where they start interviewing other criminals. Well, I, granted, I've got a bunch of content, but I don't want to blow that content up front. What I want to do is get a bunch but of subscribers. But he's putting the carriage before the horse. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not, because here's what I want to do. I want to do the reviews. I want to review movies. So I'll review movies. I'll review do 30 episodes, put out every five days I can do. One time I'll do one on, for 20 or 30 minutes on uh, – on uh, Catch Me If You Can. I'd, I'd love that movie. I got other movies that I've seen that, it, like, um, what's that movie? It's called, uh, I think it's called Con Man. It's horrible. Uh, did you ever see? Con Air? No, Con Man. <laughs> Hell <about> yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah. Fuck Con yeah. Air with Nick yeah. Cage. You know, you know what you could con do? Con Man. No, it's about cons, not Con. Are you, con are con you? Air is the only movie with Con that I know. Yeah. There's a movie called Con Man. I it's, believe you. It's horrible. Is it? <laughs> horrible. Is it better than Con Air? Because not much is better. Have you seen Con Air? Con Air's horrible. With Nick Cage? It is definitely not horrible. <laughs> it's the worst I think movie we're talking ever. about two different movies. No, it's, I've seen the movie. It's horrible. It's an it's, amazing movie. First of, all, I'd be, first of all, I'd love to see that do that Steve movie. Because Buscemi. guess what? I've been on well, Con Air. Uh, it looks nothing like that. Is Steve Buscemi in Con Air? Yeah. 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 He's the main sure. guy. Yeah, he's like the guy. With he's the like really enough. creepy guy. Oh, yeah. It's been too long. Last time I watched it was John Malkovich. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Con Air is not like that. I've been on Con Air. It's not Danny like that. Danny Trejo, isn't he? In yeah, there? he's on there. Oh, my God, God dude. It's is, an all-star list. And Con the, Air has to be the best. The great Nick, actors. Nick fucking Cage. Come on, now. It's not. That's not what's happened. That's not real. It's not. There's no fucking Yeah, it's a play. movie. Like, of course it's not real. <laughs> no, that could be true. I could actually see it happening. It's based on a movie. Well, War it Dogs was a movie. They stole your memoir. Oh, my yes, God. Yes, they did. You know what you could do? You could watch all those con movies, and then you break down the con and talk about where they went wrong and what they could have done better. That's, That's what a I was genius just... idea. Oh, Isn't my God. Matt, you should take you his should advice. So, I mean, did you guys get together and decide to try and frustrate? Let's, <laughs> Let's, frustrate. Let's frustrate Matt the whole time. Oh, shit. This is great. I'm, I'm right. really happy to be here. <clears throat> so we broke down a bunch of fucking great comments on the internet, on Instagram, on our Twitter, and the YouTube channel. We got people to ask real estate questions, no, or just any, or just any questions. We got them to ask questions for you, Matt Cox, and the fans have spoken. 
and <laughs> the fans. Stop. You guys are killing the people me. have spoken. <laughs> These are genuine fans. And now they're going to now they're going to get the straight from the horse's mouth what they need to do with their lives. And Shane is going to read the questions. Oh my god. All right, you want the co- just a general comments and or hopefully questions? Hopefully the first? gummies kick in more and more. You got, you got Stu a good Ball 20 thinks minutes. Con Air is a masterpiece. Oh. Thank you, Stu Ball. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> read, read his name first. Read the guy's uh, his name on whatever social media platform. My, I'm reading all these. Yeah. Just start with one. We'll, we'll start with one, and then we'll expand on it, and then we'll move on to the next one. All right. This is Scott's thoughts. <laughs> T H O T. Five months ago. Yes. Five months ago. Thoughts. T H O T S. This man literally mastered the same system put in place to financially trap us. He's the Robin Hood of fine arts. <laughs> No, is that even a question? No, it's not a question. It's not a question. Do you know what a question is? Uh, I mean, hey, Danny printed these out. Hey, hey, half of them are questions. Half of them are just comments. All right. Here's Here's a question. Next question. When did he start grifting again? Was it 10, 15 years he was doing it if he was 37 when he got caught? 15 years living like a king for 26 years in prison. And now he's an author with movie royalties coming in. This Morality notwithstanding. Sounds okay to me. Freedom is whatever you have the privilege to do with it. Poverty is a prison without bars. Can, can someone else please? This guy's a poet. That guy's, that's guy, poetic. I'm, <laughs> everything he said was wrong. But <laughs> How so? Can you expand on that? It, I, it sound, I don't even know what the question okay, the was. Fir- but the it, first it, one is when did he start grifting again? Okay, what does that grift? mean? What, again. First he says again. So again, he's like, the me, let's go with, let's just go. Gri- <laughs> <laughs> Listen, did you see the movie Grifters? Great movie. Never saw it. Never seen no. with John nope. Cusack. No. no. Wow. That sounds I mean, good you guys though. are. It'd probably be better if Nick Cage was in it. Yeah. Well, I, this, I, he can't come next time. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, All right. Here's, here's a question. Oh, so we're not answering that? No, no. We, yeah, we got to uh, answer. He's yeah. got to answer. Let him answer. Okay, okay. look. So what, what I'm saying is the first time I ever committed a crime mm-hmm. was. Was one of the first mortgage I ever did, <laughs> Debbie Boyd. Uh, first mortgage I ever did. I cu- that's why I whited out a, a thirty day late. So I wasn't. There was no grifting or anything. There was no short cons. There was no build up to. It was a. I was in a desperate straits and I committed fraud. And then I continued to commit mortgage fraud. Now those types of that type of fraud ends up lending itself to credit card fraud, identity theft. There's all these other frauds that start to take place, right? Bank fraud, that sort of thing, because you start to really figure out what under how underwriting works and what they're looking for and what debt to income is and how they verify things. So suddenly other frauds develop as a result of that. So there's lots of other fraud that isn't directly related to mortgage fraud. Yeah. But – so, I mean, I did that, and then I eventually got caught, and I went to prison. I got 26 years. I did 13 years, and it wasn't 15 years. It was 10 years, and it was not worth it. <laughs> it sucked, and now I'm writing stories. Are you an author with royalties coming in, like they say? I am, but not big-time royalties. Okay. I mean, I might make 15 1600 bucks w- one month. I, I mean, I just got out of prison. I just started releasing books. If, and if, I'm you won, if, if, if you would have won that lawsuit over war dogs, you'd be getting a little bit more royalties. I, I, well, we settled. Oh, you settled? Okay. Yeah, we settled. And I get royalties from some of the other books that I've had that I printed wh- or published while I was in prison. And I get royalties. Well, I get options from um, when they re-option uh, some of the film rights, uh, which was the one that was in Rolling Stone magazine, uh, Jet, um, Dukes of Oxy. I get, yeah. uh, every time they option it, I get a check for that. But you know, it's it's not like it's ma- it's massive money. I'm working on it, man. I just got out of prison. I haven't been out of I'm prison not rolling a year. In the dough yet? I haven't been out of custody a year. No, I'm not rolling in dough. Have, did you see my car? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it's embarrassing. <clears throat> hey, at least you got one. D- don't you? No, I crashed mine a couple months ago. <laughs> I totaled that bad boy. Doing? Yeah, don't was... sleep on the highway. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> don't anyway, sleep on next it. question. Especially when you're behind the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> next question. Matt, can you give us all an update on how things are standing with some of your stories being contracted for movies or series, if you can say anything about it yet? Who asked that question? Eves Min Chang. Wow. Thinking he's Asian. (coughs) Uh, It's possible. 
you can't tell. Yeah, it's definitely possible. She's got sunglasses on in the picture. Just a name. It could be anything. Um, you know, it's funny. I'm, I'm actually trying to put together a story right now about these an Asian gang in the late 90s that were robbing computer chip manufacturing plants. Where? Was, all over the United States. Really? It's, I mean, they're going in. They're getting orders from supposedly from, from China. Mm. So Chinese manufacturers are coming in and saying, look, we need these chips. And they're giving them like this, this manufacturer has, you know, whatever, 100,000 of these chips. We yeah. need them. There's no security. So they, this Chinese gang would go in there. Eight guys would go in. They'd zip tie everybody, all the guards and everything, load up all the chips in a van, and then take off and go sell them for $2 million. I mean, literally, it's like pulling up into a, a vacant parking lot, and some Chinese official comes and gives them, a th- gives them $2 million in a briefcase, and they hand them over the chips, and they leave. I mean, it's that kind of... It's it's amazing. How did you find out about these guys? Um, a buddy that I was in prison with did some of the legal work for some of the guys, and there was like like there's like forty of them all over the country. They got arrested. They 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 robbed like ten or fifteen different manufacturers. Uh, there ends up being a murder. And of course, the listen. It was so bad. I want to say that it was Clinton or I want to say it was Clinton that basically gave like a a presidential order that said all all manufacturing plants have to have armed security because it was so bad. There were so many chips plants getting robbed. So anyway, I'm working on that story right now. I'd love to put that together. That'd be super cool. But back to what's his name's uh, sto- uh, question? What was that I here? forgot the question. Already. Oh, the, I know Eves the question. Ming the question was, oh, about how your, are my yeah, things yeah. progressing? Okay, so I yeah. have like 15 to 16. Well, I, have, I think I have like 17 of them on my website, I think. But a couple of them have already been like one of them's the War Dogs one, one of them's uh, Oxy Rush, which was the which was mm-hmm. that connected to that option. Uh, so those are already kind of done. Uh, I've got two right now. I have two of the stories are getting. I'm being represented by uh, gosh, who is it? Um, I'm supposed to be signing a contract with uh, um, Zero Gravity Productions, and they're going to represent me and. Is it 50 Cent is interested in the story of of um, Jamar Towns, which is the guy. It's called Cash Logistics. It's on the website. Actually, I just it's one of the it's on the uh, on the YouTube channel. It's called Cash Logistics, and it's about a guy that gets a job at a at a uh, a, um, a cash moving company, you know, like like Brinks. Yeah, he gets a job there. He sets up an inside job. They rob it for like three or four million dollars. He has him. He gets himself robbed. You, you, you know, you've, you've never read you, anything. I remember you telling me this story. Oh, though. it's a great story. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, so I don't even I, know how to read. He <laughs> can't even read. So the the I there was a a woman a producer um, named Anne, and I talked to her, and she went. And they looked over the website, and she pitched it to Fifty Cents manager and he's going to pitch it to 50 cent mm. and they're talking about option possibly optioning it so zero gravity is going to represent me on that and the other one is amadeo's story they're interested in and in representing me on optioning amadeo's story that's but a great story that's a fucking amazing that's story. A fucking amazing story so right. that one's good well what about he said the thing so i mean i'm some of them I'm turning into i'm doing stuff with like, apparently we got to move faster than i it's not my fault the fact is, some of the stories are being. I, I thought are it was being, over. My so we'll, I mean, there's 17 of them. They're all in. They're all. Yeah, in no, we don't flux. have to go into depth about them. Okay, well, well we're, we're this is a rapid sorry. fire. I wanted to answer. No, the we question. want to make it last a little bit longer. That's fine. I mean, yeah, don't don't don't, don't rush. We got a, we got a lot of questions. You can't rush fine arts. Let me just drop 10 bucks. You said there was. Who did it? Who did it? Shout out. Where's to this money going to? Me. Bryce Bayans. Frick. Man, what listen, a prick, huh? You said he, there was going to be food. He said he can't I even fucking take us out to dinner <laughs> after hey, tonight. He, he said nothing's Matt, open for him to take us out. To. No, he said he was ordering crab legs. Wow, <laughs> what? Are you serious? That was an idea. You were going to do that. I forgot. Though. I didn't eat because of that. I haven't eaten. I've eaten oh, once geez. today. I I'll, some, uh, actually, I'll order them right some now. Gummies. I'll yeah, order them right order now. Order something. Can somebody going. send this man oh, some crab legs? Keep going. I'm going to order fucking. Shout right, out to Bryce Bayans. Thanks for the the ten bucks. Appreciate you. This guy said, I'll Crabby send, Bills. I'll send you. I'll send you the equipment to do your own podcast. No, you should do your own podcast. I want oh. to encourage you to do your own fucking podcast. You don't need me, okay? You don't need me to hold your hand, Matt. Yeah, because Danny's need... going to want to take some of the money from you. I have you no problem. Then... I have no problem with that. 
All you need. We can't get to that point. All you need is a microphone. All you need is a microphone. You don't even need, need that. You just need your iPhone. Some, oh, do, here, do your half-ass fucking podcast with my fucking matter. iPhone. It doesn't matter. Start somewhere. It does you, matter. You don't have to start at the top, Matt. You uh, start he, wherever. It doesn't he, matter. what. Matt how, wants to come out professional. I know. You know he, wants he doesn't to come want out, any low-budget shit. That's your problem. You that's not a problem. You can't start creating content until you have to start. You know what the difference is? He's got good quality content. I didn't start creating. Right, listen, listen, listen. And he doesn't want to fuck it up. There's nothing wrong with with that there's nothing no, wrong with wanting agree. a professional thing listen here's the difference I the agree. difference is some people go in the bank and they slip them a note and they walk out with thirty five hundred dollars if i'm going in the bank he's getting I'm zip grand. everybody we're going in the fucking vault we're going in <laughs> and if when we walk out if shit goes wrong we'll deal with it that's uh, that's I just love that. me <laughs> yeah. i'm not gonna take your credit card and run it up for a thousand dollars i'm taking the whole fucking house and i'm walking away with half a million well good that's luck just the way it is okay. yeah so, you see, I mean, I'm What's trying to tell you, shit? let's go for the house. And you're saying, what about a credit card? I've got a credit card here. Matt, listen, oh, yeah. you want a million What's subscribers before you put out any good content. I want a couple hundred thousand subscribers. Look, I'll go well, with Well, good fucking luck, Matt, I can, because I, bet, I don't know how to fucking do that. I'll, you got to put out your best content first. I told first. you, you do, you do the reviews. You do every five days, you do a review, do 30 Okay, well, months, put out that mediocre to, shit and see if it gets mediocre. you 100,000 subscribers. What about Look, that great idea GQ, that I had for that show? Stop. I just Sam, silence the gunshots. GQ and, GQ and, and uh, Vanity Fair are doing it right now. Larry Lawton got 6.9 million views in less than a year. And he did four. It was 20 minutes. Can we talk about your Vanity Fair deal? I don't know if Vanity Fair is... It was, I got more questions. Oh, yeah, was yeah we got questions. questions. We're here for questions. I haven't heard from them yet since. Oh, you haven't? I talked to them. I did a little thing <laughs> with them. I, we did, had a couple <laughs> calls. Matt is going to be the cover of Vanity Fair. I'm not going to be on this. not what happened. Oh, see, that would see, be sick. people do. Tell no, us what the truth is. What's the truth about Vanity no, Fair? No, they talked to me They're about They're going to do an article a, on you? No. They want to do a series, a video series with them. Mm. No, they a series. They want what the do fuck what, do they want to do? They want to do the same thing, Larry Lawton thing, where I do four or five con man movies and I review them. And I said, Yo, that's what we ought to do. Well, I don't do series, one right? comp. Right. No, it's not a series. They're doing a series. They do one with. It's so frustrating being on here. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting across from Danny. I mean, you got. It was bad enough when you have Danny, you know, ADD, but and then now you're here and this guy. This guy's <laughs> never had one thing. He hasn't said one thing to help. Me. It's nothing but. He's, well, he's not here to fucking. Help I'm not here to help. I'm here to encourage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, they they have a I guess you could call it a series, but they get like they'll get Larry Lawton and he'll do he'll review some heist movies. Mm. Then they get some FBI guy to do some FBI movies. Mm. Then they, and they were gonna have me do some uh, con man movies, but that's cool. They they were like first they wanted to do it Skype and I was like really you really want to do it Skype I mean that you know and they're like well you know in the current situation I'm like yeah it's kind of fucked up it's half assed I was like but I said look I said what if I got somebody I was going to have you I said what if I could get you somebody that could do it and they said yeah um, let me let me think about that let me get back with you what I haven't heard from them since okay hmm. so well, hopefully you know, I, I really hope that it happens <sighs> I think that would be great <clears throat> I mean it would be one thing I'm saying do a whole never mind it's over. So listen, I got this. I got I, what? It's just, it's just listen. To you guys bicker. Just ridiculous. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. I mean, it's All just right. you ready for the next question? I got a sure. question from the Look. live chat. Oh wait, we All got right. a live chat Rob question. Bonnie. We got uh, Jermaine Wells. If you didn't get into real estate, did you have any other career or dreams you wanted to pursue? And he also wants to know. Additionally, since we're watching live, would you take any special orders on your book during this time and add a signature or a doodle on the cover? Uh, honestly, I've had a, I have at least one guy, a, one or two guys, really a week, mail me their books. I sign them. Like if you included, if you include a piece of paper, like tell me like you want a certain, like I'll put like you know to John, you know I'll put. Uh, my favorite partner in crime, you know, from Matt Cox, uh, Secret Service is most wanted, and then I send it back to him. Some of the guys, listen, 90% of the guys don't even give me, like, a return envelope. I'm yeah. paying. I had a guy from, from Canada. I paid $20 to ship his book back to Canada for God him. damn, man. You know, which I don't, I mean, I don't care because, be, to be honest, it's, it's, you know, it's flattering to have somebody want you to sign the book. So if I, you know, I, I don't want to take a hit. That was a, that was a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. Um. But, you know, I, I wouldn't be doing that all the time. You yeah. know, normally, I mail it back because you mail it back, and even if you break even, it doesn't matter. It's it's So it's mail nice. your book to Matt. Yeah. I'll, send I'll, the return postage yeah. in there. Don't be a cheapskate. 
That'd be and nice. he'll sign it. I'll sign it. I'll sign whatever you want. You say, hey, do a doodle do on the front cover. To? I'll do a doodle on the front cover. Are you cover. just giving your address out? or I got a P.O. box. Your social and everything? I have a P.O. box. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which social? Nice. <laughs> But what about the career? I don't, I don't, I don't, is snow is, crab good? I'm gonna get two snow crab. Cra- I'll take. I'm gonna get two pizza. I'm gonna get two snow crab trays. Snow crabs are good, I guess. Do they have a snow crab pizza? We didn't get a lot of snow crab at, in Coleman. So. No, no, they got blue not crab. 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 They got blue crab. I don't even know the difference. All right, we'll get you snow it's crab. crab, right? No, nah, get snow crab. Don't get the blue crab. You're Too actually ordering work. snow crab. Yeah. <laughs> Where can you get snow crab delivered? He's a big shot. The crispy crab. Crispy the crab is gas. <laughs> it is fire. Yeah. Super they got good. boiled peanuts. You guys want some boiled peanuts? I love boiled In garlic peanuts. sauce. Oh, you yeah. do? I love I was going to get some are earlier, and Danny's like, eh, fuck them. Are you, so I, I said, didn't get really? You. Bro, are you kidding me? I love I, I'm going to get sausage, Listen, too. I'm... See, come on. Should have listened to my come instincts. On. Total. He's what like, flavor no, do you go with when you get them? He said, no, what? just get them the, the double shot. So I get them plain because I don't like the hot. Plain? I really don't like oh, spicy like or hot. You got to get the like Cajun. Oh, you got to get no, the spice. No, I, I can't do it. I get start sweating. And I, come the on. plain just tastes like good old you. water. Here's the sinuses. Old water. Clears your sinuses. This guy says, you hurt Danny's feelings. Who said that? This guy I know. Steve. Oh, that's funny. All right, we ready for rolling another question? Yes. Steve, listen, Steve is the guy that owns a production company that I've been talking to that wants to do, um, that wants to do all the reviews, the movie reviews. Your idea, just now that you just came up with. It's a great that, idea. Yeah, I hope yeah. somebody runs with it. Absolutely, I think so. And we've already talked to a. Uh, we already talked to. Um, uh, I mean, what is her name? Because I always say her name wrong. Carolina. B- Bazua? What the hell is that? How do you say her name? I think how you said it's accurate. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, she's going to set up the production and everything. That's a great idea. Sick. I think it's a good idea. Just do it. <laughs> I mean, that's the hard part with anything is just getting started and getting over that initial I step can... of not feeling like it's good enough. Still, we got no, two it's... two plates of crab on the way. No, I feel like we I, need about I, 50 I would love more to bucks do it. in the chat. It's just the fact is, is getting everything in, you know, in order. You go, you do it, you put it, and then I'll put it on my channel. That's what I plan on doing. Hopefully in a month from now, I start having content on my channel. And I'm going to have it on there for six months. And I'm going to have about 150, 200,000 subscribers. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to do a true crime podcast. Bang. And then you're going to go, Damn. then you're going to be like, Damn, that shit works. Go, Matt. Bang. Go, go Matt. Everybody subscribe that's listening right now. Subscribe. It doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, YouTube, true crime. search Inside True yep. Crime on YouTube. Right. Even if you have we'll to drop remove it again. Your, even yeah, if you have to remove We're going to your... drop the link in the chat right now so you can go subscribe to Matt Cox. Wow, I look bad there. Even if you have to, and to, I did to remove to your subscription from from Concrete, yeah, and do just it. Unsubscribe move it and move it to to Inside True mm-hmm. Crime. I encourage it's it. Reasonable. You can yeah, subscribe it's reasonable. More than you one can channel. Do Danny won't be offended. Yeah, no, I won't be offended. Hell no. <laughs> we got ten pounds. What does that equal in American money? Ten pounds. I don't yeah. Know. Matt, come Maybe. on, you gotta it, know this. Isn't a pound like two, almost two Matt, you don't know the answer to this? $1.60 or something like that? I bu- I'm buying it. All right. I, mean, I sound confident, so you let's think, do, oh, everybody's pumped it's about $1.65. Right. No, so everybody's pumped about this show idea. somewhere between 10 20 bucks. What? Yeah. The show idea? Yeah. Yeah, bro, because here's the thing, too. Like, let's say, let's say I review Boiler Room. Yeah. You know how many guys I know that ran Boiler Rooms? Yeah. Like, I know that's not how it works, or that is how it works. Look, I know guys that ran Ponzi schemes, not one or two. Mm-hmm. I know multiple Ponzi scheme guys. They have great stories, horrible stories. I mean, they've they've destroyed people. But the point is, that <laughs> the, the, they, some of the stories are interesting, especially how they get into it. They never, okay. they never. It's always something goes wrong and it it evolves. Because if you if you get into a Ponzi scheme, like if you said, hey, I want to start a, I'm going to do a Ponzi scheme. If you knew from the get go, I'm going to start a Ponzi scheme and this is a scam. Yeah. It's so easy to set up a Ponzi scheme that isn't in your name. You set up a fake identity. You dump a bunch of money into a decent website, some brochures. You do a little bit of advertising. You do a couple of uh, events. People start giving you money. They don't expect the money back. You keep telling them their money's growing. Mm -hmm. Periodically, you give them dividends. They usually typically say, oh, just keep reinvesting it. Before you know it, you've got 10, 15, 20 million dollars. And then if you were to disappear, they don't ever know who you were to begin with. Problem is most Ponzi schemes start off legitimate and it morphs into a mm. Ponzi scheme. And the next thing you know, they're trying to balance this Ponzi scheme of $100 million. And they're like, oh, I'm fucking over my head. What, ha- what went wrong? Well, what went wrong was when things went bad, you should have just been honest with your investors and taken the hit. Yeah. 
or filed, you know, given them what you could back and filed bankruptcy. Now you've got a hundred million dollar Ponzi scheme. You're going to prison the rest of your life. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, that would be great to do. You could do all kinds of different movies. And I know mm-hmm. most guys that have run those types of schemes. Mm-hmm. People just want to hear you talk. I mean, you could interview anybody and it would fucking. But the guys People that say, I could it. watch Cox talk yeah. about paint for six hours. <laughs> people like to hear, people honestly, they just like to hear somebody who can speak concisely and confidently. And but they'll just guys, listen to you all day. You, you, you speak. Not yeah. really. I'm like a You're fucking, a nice guy. I'm a I babbling like idiot. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, I'm retarded. I'm babble. I don't fucking talk. I stutter. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't I speak, speak as charismatically and confidently as you do. Stop. You're so, I'm no Matt so, Cox. You're a good stop. storyteller. You guys you're a stop. very good storyteller. Now you switched it. Earlier, it was let's bash the shit out of our front <laughs> to make them feel bad. Uh, we so build it's, you back it's, up. It's the build them back up, back down Bam. again. <laughs> He's feeling good about himself. Yank the carpet out from underneath. <laughs> All right, let's do the next one. Next question. Yeah. All right, we got uh, real underscore Joe Biden. <laughs> Damn, thanks, Joe. Shout out to Joe Biden. <laughs> Shout out to Joe. Good luck. What are the yeah, most flagrant luck. weaknesses that exist in secured lending, including mortgages today? What? <laughs> are you paying attention? I am, but you, let's face it, you didn't read it all that great. To be what honest. are the <laughs> most high flagrant far. weaknesses? <laughs> you know, well, I can tell when he was talking to me, his eyes started watering. And he's got—he's about a hundred. He's about, 100, he's about uh, hundred milligrams oh deep. Right maybe God. two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What are the most flagrant weaknesses that exist in secured lending, including mortgages today? I mean, I would. So, it's funny. I actually talked to a guy. Who I went to the title company, spoke with a guy that's starting a company that he's he owns a title company. He's starting a separate company that monitors people's titles because it's becoming rampant real estate with people removing people's deeds on their homes and putting them into other people's names. So he we were talking about what I had done, and he was like, "Oh, what you did back then is easier to do now." He said, now public records, you don't even have to have the original document. You can make a copy of the document and put a stamp on it that says uh, that true uh, that you witnessed the true and correct, true and correct uh, um, uh, actual document. Like, oh, I've seen the real document. File this one. It's not even an original document. Doesn't have to have an original seal. Doesn't have to have anything. Just a stamp on it that, oh, I saw the original. This is, and so this is good. They'll record it. He was telling me all kinds of little things. I was like, are you fucking serious? And he goes, yeah. He goes, it's easier now. To do what you did than it was back then. I have all these guys in the comments saying, you can't do that anymore. Really, the guy that owns a title company is telling me it's easier now. So it's still it's still public records. Public records is just a it's just ripe for fraud. I mean, it's just it's a it's a huge gaping hole. But but what's nice is most people don't understand how public records works. And so they don't take advantage. They don't commit fraud using public records because they don't really understand how it works. So if you're an, if you're someone who worked at a title company or you have any any experience in that, and you say, "Look, I'm going to go ahead and use this to my advantage," I mean, it's it's, it's a huge opportunity for or it's a huge issue as far as fraud's concerned. But there's such a limited amount of people that can do it. Mm. So, and then of course, if you have overlapping skill sets. It gets it gets outrageous, and I'd say that's still the the main problem with real estate is public records. And you can say, oh, well, you can make W twos and spend. yeah, but that's been done, and they people do it, and they're always going to do it, and it's virtually impossible to catch it and stop it. So, the one thing that's a a, a huge, I don't want to use the word opportunity, a huge issue mm-hmm. is public records. Hmm. That's the problem, public records. If you could secure up public records. But keep in mind, too. The left hand doesn't know what the right's doing. Right. And the government, and then when things go wrong, it's not a big enough problem that there's no reason really to stop it. And it doesn't cost the government anymore anything because when it all goes wrong, it's the title companies that have to pay. So it's kind of, you know, the government's insulated from it, so there's no reason to try and revamp this system. Why would we revamp a system? It doesn't cost us anything. Mm-hmm. And when it does cost anybody, it costs the banks. The banks all have insurance or there was real estate or there was title insurance. So it's kind of, it, you know what it's like? It's like the credit card companies. Most of them didn't want to replace the credit cards with chips. For a decade they fought because their whole thing is, yeah, but the fraud is already built into the interest rate. So we've already got this money set aside. So it's not really hurting us. It's hurting the customers. But it's not really, it's not really 
hurting us. Yeah. So why mm-hmm. would we correct it? Mm-hmm. Until eventually the government said, no, you're going to do the chip. And they forced them to do the chip. Is the chip any more secure? No, not really, because I before they even came out, John, you remember John Boziak, the guy, the credit yeah. card kid? I wrote yeah, that yeah. story. Mm-hmm. Called It's called Bent, and he, he was manufacturing credit cards for the Russian mob. <laughs> like, a great <laughs> story, bro. <laughs> this guy's amazing. Super smart. Uh, now, you haven't seen him now. I mean, I, He's covered saw, in tattoos, right? Oh, God, he's got tattoos yeah. everywhere. He looks sh- like a straight gangster. But really, when he was in prison, he had like a tattoo here and some on his and on his arms and stuff. But he he's 135 pounds. And he looks like Justin he? Bieber. How old was he when you met him in prison? 29 or 30. That's crazy. And so now it's been five years. And if you go to his Instagram account, he's just covered in tats. He just does tats. Just tatted up. But he was saying before the chips in the U.S. even came out, they had already cloned them. And it even have you ever <laughs> gone? Have you ever gone to the store and you put your card in and the chip won't work and they go just yeah. slide it. Yeah. Okay, so we're back to the old shit that's easy yeah. to... Okay, zoop. So what does yeah. it matter? What are we doing? Yeah. What's the worst case scenario? They say, can I have you see your ID? Here's my, you think if I can man, if I can fake a... <laughs> yeah. A this, <laughs> I think I can fake that? Yeah. We're good? Yeah. Go ahead and take your Rolex watch and leave. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, this is not securing it. It just added an extra layer, which nobody's paying attention to. Mm-mm. You know? That's so fucking funny. So I just stopped myself from saying, thank God. And that's so <laughs> sad. It's just why? sad. I just have a, I have, I have issues. This is why I'm on supervised release. <laughs> so, hey, how is your uh, probation officer doing? You know what I was thinking was funny. I actually thought about this, and I thought, "There's no way." She even the suggestion, she'd be irritated at me. I was thinking, <laughs> Danny, I should suggest suggest to Danny that she that he asks her to come on the podcast. Oh yeah, she'd never do it. No, I know she would never do it. Yeah, she's already told me uh, basically she can't, right. I don't know that she can't, but I think she, her whole thing is she's like, I don't want to be famous. Do you understand? Like, she doesn't yeah. like it when I mention her. She's like, like, oh, she hasn't said don't mention me again. Yeah. But she's like, you do understand, Mr. Cox. I don't want to be famous, right? I heard the podcast last night. You mentioned me. <laughs> I don't want to be po- famous. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I feel real bad about that. I'm sorry about that. It's so my bad. They asked me. You know, what am I going to say? Yeah. But she's, uh, I'll bet you she's got some stories. I oh, think people yeah. would be into it, just like hearing Definitely. like the people in your orbit who have the stories about you to get maybe some of the details that you're leaving out or to get just a different perspective on it. I think it would be really interesting. Oh, she, she, she's, she's, she, she's, I, she, you know, I don't feel like she trusts me. She probably doesn't. I feel like we have, we don't, we're not close like that. I feel like, the, I feel like she's, uh, she's very, un, she's, she, she's concerned. She's your probation officer. Yeah, her job is not yeah, to trust you. Yeah, I know, to. I know, but it hurts. I'm, I'm still having feelings. Because <laughs> he can't get the edge of yeah. her. It's the one thing. person one she can't person. get the edge of. Did somebody donate 100 Norway monies? Yeah, I thought it was 100 bucks at <laughs> Norway monies. <laughs> that is the legitimate What are they called? It Nox? may be $6. Norwegian it may be coin. 500 Somebody converted it to $9.01. Nine. Nine seventy one. Oh, nine seventy one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Right. Nine seventy. Thank you. Read like their comments. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got some comments from the people who are paying for their questions. I appreciate you. Nice. You're paying for the crab, and we are super grateful for it. Yep. The crab will be here soon. This one comes from Joseph Berkeley. Matt, what element of the con did you enjoy the most? Was it the money, or did you get more of a rush by duping the system? This is a horrible. It's horrible. You they know paid why for it. Truthfully, you know, truthfully, they truthfully, truthfully, what was it? Truthfully, you know why it's horrible? Yeah, let me, let me, well, first, let me tell you why it's horrible. Because I'll <laughs> answer it, and I'll get... 40 people that'll be like, oh, this guy's awesome. He's amazing. He's just, and I'll get one guy that's like, this guy's a fucking scumbag, low life, bragging piece of shit. They should have killed him. And I was like, and I'm like, no matter what, you're going to get that guy. <laughs> God. Yeah, that's everything really? on the internet. That's everything, especially on yeah. YouTube. And if you're going to have like the number one trending scammer site on YouTube, you're going to be getting a lot of that. So yeah, you're I know. Yeah. Thick skin. And, well, I'm pretty thick skin, but it's still, I, a lot of times it's like, you know, they're talking about chopping somebody's head off or yeah. you should bury him under the bridge. Like, you know, you, you've got an anger management problem. Yeah. But yeah. They get more than an anger management problem. They got some deep, that's why you got, that's why issues. you're we're in the bat cave. Mm-hmm. You don't put yourself out there cause you know. So what, what is your answer to that? <laughs> that's probably going to be the that it's going to be me doing this and that's going to be the, your thing. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll be the thing. <laughs> and then I'll make your eyes all weird and big and bloodshot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> bloodshot. <laughs> um, what would be the best, that's a, hard, that's a hard question, bro. Because honestly, look, about a million dollars. I had like 1.3 million in the bank. I've had a million in the bank. I've had, I, I didn't 
I didn't live in a million dollar house. That's a lot of commas. I wasn't living in I wasn't living in a half a million dollar condo. I wasn't driving a Lamborghini. You know, I was driving an a decent sports car. Not not red, silver, black, something very what kind? I mean, I, I mean I've had I've had Audis, I've had uh Mercedes, I've had um you know, I have what infinities, um, but you know the those are ones. just av- those aren't like amazing cars. They're sixty, seventy thousand dollars. They're not. It's not a three hundred or half a million dollar, right. four hundred thousand dollar Lamborghini, right? Because then everybody's <laughs> looking at you and people start asking questions, and then so you know just something something nice. Yeah, but Lamborghinis like over the line. Lamborghini. Everybody, and I've known five guys that have had Lamborghinis. Every one of them. Didn't asshole. you just meet two guys who drove twin t- twin, twin Ferraris? Ferraris? Who were those guys? Those were the doc, the, the, the plastic the surgery, plastic twins. surgery. You met them on the Bubba the Love Sponge the Bubba show. Bubba the Love Sponge show. What's a twin Ferrari? Well, it's not. Well, these, no. these are twin brothers, right? They both do yeah, plastic surgery. No, no. Ferraris. One, one and they does, have matching Ferraris. One does black plastic surgery, but they're both attorneys, and they both <laughs> oh, had God. black Ferraris. But when I told them, when I mentioned they were ma- they were matching, they go, "No, no, they're actually different." And are those like, are the guys from the billboards that look exactly the yes. same? Yeah. Oh, they are. They're, yeah, because now they're both they they're lawyers. They're both yeah. Diaco. One of they, them has yeah. a goatee, and oh, the other yeah. doesn't. That's how you tell them apart. Oh, really? I didn't. I didn't know that. I'll yeah. check the billboard next time. Mm. But these guys are creepy. Uh, what was the la- was it was it uh, Winters and no? What was the fucking last names? Was it Diaco or was it Winters and Yonker? No, no, they're no, they're uh, Diaco. It's the Diaco. Okay, brothers. I was yeah, gonna say yeah, definitely yeah, they were the doctor. Are you thinking of Culpepper Curlin? Uh, Culpepper Curlin. Yeah, they. Oh, uh, yeah, they would want a set of Diacos. <laughs> yeah. right. The yeah, that's what Bubba always says. You got a set of Diacos. Diacos. Yeah. Oh, because he did the he the he, he, he put the titties on the no, girl. No, don't. Let's not say that. Don't, don't, don't do it. We can't go there. We're live. There's no editing. No, yeah, don't, don't, don't do it. That's just mean spirited. You're killing me. So listen. Um. Okay. So. What would be the best part? I mean, what would you say? Listen, the base, the best part for me, honestly, and you tell me, it's, um, this, she says, why can't I find the live version? Really? Okay. Who said that? My ex-wife. Oh. She's funny. So it's, how do I, how, how do I fin- send the link? Just, I don't know. You got text it to her. Okay, well, what's, what's the link? Can I just put concrete? Yeah, I'll text you a link right now. Yeah, keep going, keep going, all keep right, going. I'm, all right. So, listen, is it fooling somebody? I don't know. I listen. There was no bigger thrill than walking in the bank, putting down an ID that was issued by the state of Florida or South Carolina, North Carolina. You walk in, you put down your driver's license, you hand them all the fake documents, you sign some documents, they hand you a check for two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and then they thank you. For ripping them off, and tell you, <laughs> and tell you, Hell you have yeah. been the best customer I've ever worked with, with Mr. Black. Well, thank you, thank you very much. All right, well, Lee, you have a good day. Jennifer, you have a good day too. And walking right out, I mean, let's face it, there's just that's amazing. Walking <laughs> through passport control and giving them a passport, and they go, oh, Mr. Sullivan, are you here for uh, business or pleasure? And you're like, I'm, I'm here for pleasure. And they're like, oh, okay, all right, well, thank you, Mr. Sullivan, thank you very much, and sign here, and uh, you're good, thank you. And you walk out, and you're like. This is ridiculous. I mean, you feel like James Damn. Bond. Hell yeah. So is it the thrill? I would have to say it is the thrill. And it's not that I'm trying Definitely. to make somebody look bad. It's just that no. you're – it's amazing that – I guess that you're getting away with it. Of course. You walk out. You get into a nice car. You go stay at a nice hotel. Right. You're dating a, an amazing-looking chick. You're, you've got tons of money. I mean, right. it's a great you scammed feeling. scammed everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I hate to say that, but I <laughs> but mean, yeah. it's it's you, you didn't know, spend your own money. You know, so I mean, is it it's it, it would have to be the thrill, right? Definitely. It's got to be the thrill. I mean, it's because it's not the money because I wasn't living like a, a like a, a multi millionaire right. or anything. I wasn't blowing money. I wasn't driving a Ferrari. I mean, I'm just <sighs> having a know, good that's time. A bad question. Anyway, if Shane if Shane had fifty thousand dollars in the bank, he'd be driving a Ferrari <laughs> <laughs> until that next payment came yeah, due. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Surely, if I got fifty, sitting, they'll finance me a Rari. Yeah, like, I, got you send me link? I got this. Yeah. Look what I got. I got, I got cash. Oh. We're good. Yeah, fifty. Oh, you sent it to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Copy. <sighs> Next question. Awesome. You got more money questions? Yeah, we got more money questions. Tell Danny to shotgun a beer. Somebody paid five bucks for that. <laughs> Tell me to shotgun a beer. Mm-hmm. I'm not shotgunning a beer for five bucks. Damn. Fuck that. I'll eat, a cra- I'll eat a crab leg. For five? For five bucks? No, I think you're up to I'm already like five deep. 
Matt, you want to shotgun a uh, Starbucks for five bucks? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can. No, I can't. Say. Chug the rest of that this frappuccino. This looks like it's got alcohol in it. No, hell no. Starbucks. No. That's a I Starbucks don't know. Don't double they have shot. Kahlua, right? Kahlua's got, yeah. doesn't it? It's like coffee, right? Yeah, that's not mm-hmm. Kahlua, though. Okay. All right. No, yeah, you're good on that. Oh, let's check on the crabs. See where the crabs are. Double at. shot. This is pretty good. I figured you'd like white chocolate. Oh, I don't like, know why, <laughs> why that's better. Like, there's some I, sexual connotation do you like it? there. Do, this is good. Crab's you guessed here. right. Oh, man. Will you go out and get it for us? Yeah. Get me my crab. So All this right. is one, two. What's the next question? You're, oh, wait, wait, really wait. Good. I, was, I had a guy of, uh, call me Instagram? a metrosexual today. I, they're all printed. I don't what's, know. What's, okay. what's metrosexual? It's like, I, to me, it's uh, it's somebody who's like a guy that's like so into himself. He's almost like a girl. Like he gets everything has to be so, and he gets face peels. And what's well, kind of like what you that are. That sounds more like OCD. Stop. What, <laughs> what's her name? Sam. Sam. Sam, what's a metrosexual? She doesn't have a mic. What's See, okay, she didn't know either. She didn't know. She I don't really. I don't really. She's know not qualified to answer the question. Well, you got a shitload of plastic Luke, surgery, you got right? the uh, yeah, the, the but... laptop. Look it up. Let's look it up. Met Google it up. We're learning here. Yeah, what, a, yeah. what is the, the show de- is all never... about growth. What is the definition of a metrosexual? A young, urban, heterosexual male with liberal political views, an interest in fashion, and a refined sense of taste. Hmm. Wow, I was way off. I mean, I thought all they missed was the fine arts degree. Yeah. I was... <laughs> why, why are you uh, laughing? Fuck yeah, you have a fine arts degree. I know. <laughs> I'm comfortable with my fine arts I degree. Am too. <laughs> I'm just jealous. I don't have one. Uh, uh, this is the fine arts degree side of the table. Yeah. <laughs> this is the no degrees side yeah. of the table. <laughs> oh, listen to this. I'm, I'm jogging right today. I looked at. I, I found a, a cell phone, an iPhone. I mean, this is like one of the, the big, nice, like, I was like, wow. I was like, pick it up. I look around. Nobody's there. It's on the sidewalk. I wait about five minutes listening to the radio, okay? Finally, I call Stacy, and I go, hey, I found an iPhone. How do I find out whose it is? And she goes, is it locked? And I said, yeah, it's a thumbprint thing. She goes, okay, well, take it with you. They'll call you eventually. So I'm jogging back. I jog for like five <laughs> or ten minutes. Somebody calls the cell phone. I pick up the cell phone. I answer it. The woman says... Did you find a cell phone? I said, yeah, I found your cell phone. She says, oh, gosh. I go, where are you? And she said, I'm here. I said, okay, I'm here. And she says, okay, well, how can you bring it to me? And I went, well, I'm five, ten minutes away. You're here. Can you meet me halfway? Just just head down. Um, it was uh, uh, Bell Lake Road. And she goes, well, I'd have to cross the street then. And I went, oh, well, we wouldn't want that. <laughs> I said, uh. Okay, I'll bring it to you. So I jog all the way back there. I Damn. give her the cell phone. L- listen, this is a. I thought, well, maybe she's. I don't, you know, maybe she's in a wheelchair. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Yeah. She didn't want to cross the the right. the, the, high, the road. What? I don't. Yeah. It was Collier. I mean, it was. It's two lanes. It's not a big deal. Anyway, the point. That's not going to happen. So I give her the phone. There's a, uh, a like a little button on the side of the iPhone. It's yeah. and if you hit it, if you switch it, it'll make your phone silent. <laughs> and it just vibrates when people call. It doesn't bother me. It's really cool. Damn, it's a really, cool, it's a really cool invention. I mean, God, well, we are like t- on a talk show, right? I now. mean, but. you're killing me, bro. So, uh, what are you doing? So, anyway, yeah, I give her the phone. She, bro, she just takes the phone. She goes, "Thank you," and turns around and walks that. off. I just jogged. You couldn't cross the road. You're like four. What'd she look like? I mean, she was frumpy. You know what frumpy looks like? It's not good. A little baggy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right. She needed to. She should have met me halfway. She needed to meet yeah. me halfway. And I know that sounds mean spirited, but the fact of the matter is, she was a big one. Anyway, the Yikes. point. Yikes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nothing. You know, and I. Here's the thing. Like Stacy goes, she trying to give you some money. I said, well, no. And I thought, you know what? I'm not going to take any money. Like she said, let me give you twenty dollars. I would. I'd be like, no, no. Of course not. I don't want. I'm. But it'd be nice if you offered. I found your phone. I returned your phone. Jogged it to you. I jog, jogged back like 10 minutes. Back. And now I have to go back again. Double time. Listen, I'm not being nice anymore. It's karma. My therapist tells me, oh, you have hey. to do selfless acts and everything. That's over. <laughs> over. They say no, no more selfless no acts. No good deed goes unpunished. That's true. I mean, that it was just good. mean. What's, what's the next question? Wait, I have something that is probably the best thing I've seen in the live chat from Daniel Gmail. We have confirmation on... What a metrosexual is nice and should be defined as from here on out. Someone who is sexually attracted to trains. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh shit! Trains? Not metro, literally. Yeah. It's, it's just silly. It's a name for a train. It's just silly. Thank it's, you, it's Daniel. Silly. Thank you, Daniel yeah. Gmail. <clears throat> All right, next question. Well, I just really went off the rails there. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a hard hitter. <laughs> that was a hard one. All right, we got uh, Bobby underscore McCutcheon. How much left of your restitution is there to pay? Ooh, that's a good question. Five million nine hundred and <laughs> nine hundred and seventy thousand. I paid off about paid off about a little over thirty to probably close to thirty five, maybe thirty five thousand. Really? I had a job. I mean, I, I'm not. I didn't have a they job. I was in pay. prison. Thirty five thousand cents. When? When did you start paying it? Oh no no. That was almost instantly. They were selling stuff off. So when I got the $6 million, a, a month or two later, they had sold some stuff off. So they went towards restitution. Sold some stuff what off. Stuff, like, like, like your like, cars and shit? No, like, no, they'd already sold all that. Oh. Like they sold all that. None of that went towards restitution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and the restitution that they hit me with, they, wanted, they were saying $9.5 million. And yeah. I was arguing. Hell no. I've never seen $9.5 million. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I never got $9.5 million. So we start arguing. Yeah. And we got them down to. Six million. They were like, well, is it this much? I'm like, and they're like, look, the FBI is saying it's 11 and a half billion. We, we went 9.5. I'm like, uh. so we Damn. went back and forth and I got it to, to 6 million. Right. But then as soon as my sentencing was over, they were selling stuff off. They ended up selling some vacant lots or something and they mm -hmm. got like 30 grand in. And then since then I've been paying, I pay $150 a month, no matter what you have to pay 150. And then anything, I pay 25% of anything I make over $2,000. So I pay one fifty, and if I make an extra, if I make three thousand, it's one fifty plus twenty five percent of the extra thousand. So it's two fifty plus one fifty. So it's whatever four hundred. You know, that's four hundred mm -hmm. bucks. So I've been paying three sixty, two hundred, five hundred, one hundred and fifty. You know, I've only been doing that for about a year. I don't know what that's come to. It's maybe come to two or three grand, something like that. Mm. Not that much. I mean, you know, what do you what are you gonna do? You know, you can only pay so much. I still have to pay bills. I still have to pay my rent. I still have to. How long till you pay off that? Uh... <laughs> That's, for <laughs> That's for you. For me. You got to butt chug it. Butt chug it? I don't. I think we'll get kicked off YouTube if I butt chug it. No, nope. It's what everybody wants. <clears throat> How long until you pay off that? Nine, Five, nine million. It, my ex-wife just sent in a question. What did she text you? <laughs> she says, did you have sex in prison? a good question yeah by my yeah my by myself um then she said did you meet and marry your ex-wife just to piss off eddie sorales which was the guy that was dating my ex-wife when i'm eddie sorales was dating her she's going that deep. was my These boss are deep questions Damn. that was my boss at the deep time cuts. so he he's dating this chick kayla burgos and she comes in and he to get a, a mortgage she applies for a mortgage i know he's dating her but he's also engaged to some some chick. So I'm like, I start hitting on her. And she's like, I'm dating I'm dating Eddie. And I'm like, yeah, but it pisses off his fucking fiance. So I was thinking maybe that's not going to work out for you. So anyway, I, I keep asking her out. I ask her out like probably four or five times over the next two weeks. And eventually she goes, okay. She goes, yeah, we'll go out. But she was also, turns out she was the, she worked at the bank I banked with and checked my bank account and then decided, yeah, I'll go out with you. <laughs> After she checked how much money I was depositing every month. Well, that's the best and way to and that's not him. just me. She'll tell you that. So I'm just saying, you know, that's But just did you that. have sex in prison? No. no. Will you stop? Did you have <laughs> sex in prison? Asshole, shut the fuck up. <laughs> then she's pissed off. That's great. I mean, that's what you get. That's what happens. Everybody wants Danny to shotgun a beer. There you fuck go. it. I'll shotgun it. What it, how, are you oh, serious? <laughs> He's a gang. I don't even know. What is that? Don't you, need, don't you need a pencil or something? No, he thumbed it. He's got thumbed the strong it. thumb. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what, what's what, up? <laughs> That's the only kind of content you can get right here live on concrete. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, he set it off. Oh, this is great. What happened? This is great. That was good. No, you no. good. What else we got? Matt, I got another question. Right, question. Bubby Maine. 
Oh, Bubby man. Did you ever utilize the dark web during your times of fraud? I read that question. No, there was no there was no dark. I that wasn't think, out back then. I don't right? think there was a dark web. That was back in. Yeah, I got arrested I didn't think in so. 2006, November 16th, 2006. That so was before was, the internet, that was right? Probably, uh, nice. I don't know. That's nice. I like that. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck. That was not. That, <laughs> what do you mean, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. That hurt. That's fine. I won't come next time. <laughs> <laughs> fuck if I know. All right, I got another one. Uh, Matt from Michael Rodriguez. Have you ever ran into someone you've scammed before? If so, how did the situation occur, and how did they react? I've never, I've never, I've never you know, I've never scammed anybody. Well, so, like, what about oh, well, the people, you know, like, maybe the your names you used? Yeah, or I was just going to say, there was, or, uh, there was a guy named... You saw him at, like, the Walgreens? No, I mean, I've never saw yeah, him. Like, like, the napkins for the crowd. like, there was a guy, <laughs> there was a guy named Scott Cugno, uh-huh. and I used his identity. And, uh... I actually got, like when I was doing research on, on my book, mm-hmm. I actually got documents in where they talk about talking to him and going to him and saying, they knock on his door and they sh- like show him like the marshals or the FBI, I forget which, yeah. they like show him like my picture. They're like, he's like, that's Matt Cox. They're like, well, he just used your identity to <laughs> cash like $400,000 worth of checks. Damn. And he's like, oh. Man. So I've always wondered if I bumped into him, what he'd say. You know, like, oh, shit. The fuck, I'd be like, look, I feel bad. About we got to get him on Because I Sorry knew him. That. I knew him. He was an account rep. I actually, the way I got his information, we'd done a loan for his, for him. So I had his date of birth, social security number. Um, so I had his date of birth, social security number, but I didn't have his mother's maiden name and the place of birth. So I, I end up talking, I end up saying, Hey, so Scott, what's up? How's it going? He's like, oh, what's up? How's it going? I said, hey. I said, I goes, Cugno. I go, Cugno. I go, what is that? German? Is that? And he and he goes, no, no, it's English. And I go, oh, are you are you one hundred percent or whatever it was? You know, oh, it's it's Scotch or whatever. You know, it's it's Italian, whatever it was. And and I go, oh, are you one hundred percent? He goes, no. I said, what's your mom's last name? He goes, oh, my mom's last name. Boom, just blurts it out. Fuck it. Now I got your mom's last name. <laughs> and then I go, so were you born here in in Florida? And he goes, yeah, I was born right here in Hillsborough County. I'm like, okay, boom. I, now I got everything. I got your name, date of birth, social security number, and I have your uh, mom's maiden name. We don't even need to talk anymore. So you I, slick son of a bitch. He actually was telling me a story about how his parents met as I was ordering the documents to steal his identity. I mean, I'm sitting there <laughs> talking to me, and I'm downloading – the Hillsborough County application for your birth certificate. I damn. print out that while he's talking to him, I'm filling it out while he's telling him, and, you know, yeah. and he's damn. like, oh, yeah, and this happened. I'm like, that is a funny story. That is a funny story. And I fold it up, and I send off the shit. And a week later, I had – I feel bad about that. Don't don't judge me. I'm not no, bad. And I liked Scott. Scott's a nice guy. I Great mean, guy. Listen. This <laughs> <laughs> is the worst. Uh. Why? Oh, Why I, fuck, listen, I you know, it. I'm only here. I need everybody to buy a book. Buy a book. That's uh, what buy I some do. books. Okay. Some books. I go over all this in Product my book. Place. Where I'm do much we more buy eloquent them? in print, and and nobody's Amazon and on me. And huh? Amazon. Amazon, bro. Amazon. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Is it on Kindle? It's on Kindle, and I have a guy who's turning it into an Audible right now. Oh hell yeah! And but they want they want you great. to read the Audible. Yeah, I've read some comments. They want you to read it. I got a ton of them. You should read it. They want you. They want your voice. Listen. He can't read. I That's read a like a fourth grader. Yeah, he does. Have you? Yeah, he's heard me. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it is. It's bad. Everybody at this table reads like a fourth grader. You've heard him reading questions <laughs> and me reading I questions. Mean, I'm, I'm loaded leave, reading these. <laughs> Have yeah. some more gummies. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's bad. It's nobody like they're like, oh, it doesn't matter. You haven't heard me read. You can do it. You don't know. It's bad. So I can't read the fucking book. It's still, it attitude. doesn't even matter. <laughs> Trust me, not with this <laughs> attitude and the dislike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. All right. Um, Let me check on the crab. <laughs> Where's my crab? We got Betcher J. What was his favorite book he has written, and will he be doing more podcasts? What'd you, what? <laughs> one more time. <laughs> what is the favorite your favorite book you've written? Uh-huh. What was the second part? Will you be doing more podcasts? Shane is teetering right now. <laughs> Look at him. Can you zoom in on Shane's face on the camera? No, you can't. <laughs> um, I need a super zoom. I'm trying to think. Uh, my favorite book. Yeah, bro, writing my book was hard. 
That's hard, like writing it because your own story. Yeah. His own story is Horse. definitely his favorite. Sociopath. Nice. So <laughs> narcissist. 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 Well, I'll associate that too, probably. But uh, the point is, um, <laughs> what's my? Th- you know what? Honestly, I I really liked writing because it's hilarious, and everybody that's read it, which has only been a few people, because I haven't like publicized it at all or even mentioned it, is a book I wrote called uh, called The Program, which is about me in prison. It's only like 110 pages, but it's on Amazon too. What's but it about? It's about me being in prison, and I was. It's like the last couple of years I was in prison when I knew I was getting out and I'm writing a bunch of guys' stories and I keep going into the drug program so they won't ship me to a camp. Because my mom came over two weeks. So the closest, it, if Coleman's, it's Coleman, it's a low security place. Uh, yeah. And it's only an hour away from Tampa. Mm. My mom drove there every two weeks. So what happens is I was so close to the door and my points were so low that the BOP kept saying, we have to ship you to a camp. You have low, you have camp points. Mm -hmm. And I kept saying, I didn't want to go. Well, eventually they said, we're shipping you. Well, the only way to keep me there at the low was to get what's called a management variable put on you. And they, like, if you're in a, in a, an education program, they won't ship you. Hmm. So, and they're good for a year. So I go, I say, look, I can't, you can't ship me. I'm going in the drug program. I have a drug problem. So, and they're like, well, if you go in the drug program, yeah, we'll, we'll have to keep you here. So I go in the drug program and they they put a management variable on me, but it takes a month or so. So by the time the, when the management variable comes on me, I immediately drop out of the program. It's supposed to be good for a year. Yeah. Three months later, they call me and say, look, we're taking the management variable off you. We're sending you to a camp. And I'm like, well, what are you talking about? It's supposed to be good for a year. And they go, yeah, but Cox, there's a real push to get you guys like you into camps and you shouldn't be here. And I'm like, no, no, no. I, you, I got a problem with drugs. I got to go back to the drug program. Yeah. And they're like, well, you dropped out. And I'm like, I know, but I didn't realize how bad it was. And, you know, I, I, I need to face this. I usually it was so fucking bad. But I mean, I, I totally put <laughs> it on. You sold it. I sold it. Like, they're like, okay, well, if you really, you really need it, huh? I'm like, yeah, I do. And so yeah. <laughs> I go back in again for four or five months till they put, the pro- put it back on me. And then I drop out again. But it's, I went nine months of the program. And the fucking program is hilarious. I mean, it's. What are it's, you doing? Because it's, it's, a, it's not a drug program. It's a. It's a cognitive thinking program where they, they're trying to retrain the way criminals think. So they're trying to fix your criminal thinking. So you have criminal thinking errors or pattern errors or whatever they call them. They're trying to fi- and they try and fix it. So there's there's it's a whole program based on it. So you're I'm there and these other guys like if you can go through the program and you can get through and graduate, you get a year off your sentence. Hmm. But I'm so close to the door, I don't have time to get a year off my sentence. So if I'd gone through the first time, I would have got maybe six or seven months off. And, and, and that would have been great six or seven months, but I was like, look, if I fuck, if I get, if I fuck up and go back to prison, I'm going to need that year. Mm-hmm. I'll go to the program. If I come mm-hmm. back, if they give me three years. I'll go in the program then and get a year knocked yeah. off and get six months halfway house. I'll be right back out the door. So yeah. I'm not going to do it now. What if I have to come back? Save that one for later. Right. So what do they do to alter your criminal cognition have, or whatever it is? They have you do things which are called like RSAs, which are, um, Oh God, was it an RSA? This is a oh, rational self-analysis where you, as soon as something happens, you go through these steps in your mind. What you know what it? They teach all you. You you think like a normal person. A, a criminal doesn't think like you do. Like you think if I jumped up right now and said "fuck you" and threw something in your face, you might immediately be like. <gasps> but before you do anything, you're probably going, "Okay, where do my alter what?" What are the, my possible choices? If I do this, then the cops come, and this happens, and this happens, and this happens. And next thing you know, blah, 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 blah. And then you immediately think, I have a child. I have a, I have a, I have a wife. I have bills. I have this. So before you know it, you're like, you know, fuck you, Cox. Just get out. But a criminal doesn't think like that. He's, he's, How does a criminal think? I'm going to kill you and fuck the consequences. I'll go to prison. It, I, I don't even think about the consequences because I'm going to get away with it. You know, so it teaches them to slow down and calculate. Calculate all your the thoughts that normal people take for take for granted. These guys, you know, they don't think like that. So they have all these little things that you do, and they explain. They go through why did you commit crimes or why did you do drugs? Why did you? So you kind of really get into all the different, um, all the different reasons that you are committing criminal acts. And the other thing is they all held each other accountable. They take everybody that is in this goes to the program and put them in one unit. So you got 150 guys who are all holding each other accountable, which means that if I see, if I see Shane smoking pot in the fucking bathroom, then in the morning meeting, there's 150 guys in the morning meeting. We're all sitting there facing each other. You got to rat each other out. Right. 
No, it's holding you accountable. Mm. So, because I, I care about you. I'm, I'm, I know it seems like the wrong thing to do, but I w- I'm looking out for you. Shane, I, 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 you're not taking your program seriously. You're not taking your, your, your therapy seriously. I'm and sorry. You, right. Well, that's not going to be good enough, bro. Um, so <laughs> it's going to be more than that. So I'm really sorry. You have to stand up, <laughs> really. and in front of everybody, they say, "Look, here's what you did wrong. Here's what you're not taking it seriously. You you made these errors. You you're should right. have done this. And here's what you need to do to correct your behavior. And then they give you assignments. Mm-hmm. That's what I hated. You want to pull me up and say, Matt, you were rude the other day. I saw you do this. I saw you do that. You mouthed off to some guy. Okay, fine. That's fine. That's true. But then it's like. Basically, to fix this, you need to do this. You need to write a letter home to your family and tell them what you did and that you jeopardized your program and you're one year off. You need to go around to five or 20 different people and get their get their um, their take on how you behaved. You need to – next thing you know, you got five fucking hours worth of work to do. I'm trying to write a book, bro. I mean, I got <laughs> – you got me taking classes. You got me in the meetings. You got me Crazy. doing this. I got to memorize cards. I'm trying to write. <laughs> oh, I hated it. But it's comical. Guys get into fights in the bathroom. Guys are fucking swinging on each other. We, we were there one time. You got a, a guy who's there for, like, cheating the IRS. Like, he lied on his tax. He got, like, three years. He stands up. He's caught this guy smoking K2 yeah. in the bathroom. Oof. Like, twice. Now, this is a guy whose mom is sick. And she's probably going to die if he doesn't get the year off and get out. And he's let everybody know, anybody pulls me up, I'm going to fucking beat their asses. I'm dr- i got to get out of here. But he's also an idiot because he's still smoking K2. Mm-hmm. So this nice guy who's like a CEO stands up. He's like 60 years old, stands up. This is a gang member, by the way. He's like a crypt or a blood from, uh, from uh, Hawaii who's already been to uh, beaten the state twice on murder charges. Happens to be here on a c- drug conspiracy. He stands up in the morning meeting. I'd like to pull up Mr. Uh, Mr. Whatever his name was. Uh, the other night I saw you smoking pot in the bathroom again, or K2. Uh, you know, and, the, and, the, and so he starts giving him the, sh- you know, telling him you got to do this and this and this. And then he goes, and, and then they give you have something called the damaging consequences. The damaging consequences to your behavior are, and the guy goes, I got your damaging consequences. <laughs> and he's like, the guy's like six foot tall, six foot two. He swings on him. He punches the guy. It's like it's chaos. 150 guys are jumping. He's swinging. He's punching this guy. He's hitting this guy. It was fucking hilarious. I mean, I was never in danger. I'm like, I'm 40 feet away. So <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is great if I wasn't, the, I wasn't in the mix. so You're writing a story in your head. While uh, oh, yeah. oh, the whole time I was there, I was like, oh, this yeah. has got to go in. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, I can't wait to talk about this on a podcast. Yeah. So I have all this. In, this is in the book? It's in the book. It's hilarious. Guys are getting caught having sex in the bathroom. Guys are smoking dope. Guys are uh, – they're drinking hooch. They're they're threatening to kill each other. Like oh, like I'm gonna have to pull you up tomorrow. He's like, you do that, I'll beat you to fucking death in your sleep, motherfucker. And they're like, oh, I, 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 holy terrified. shit, terrified. Oh, He's like, I fucking shit you not. I will beat you to. F- I'll take a fucking sock. I'll beat you to death tonight. Uh, that night, he, he said, because you're gonna lose me my year. Fuck you. And he, and and then of course the guy's like a sex offender, and he's like, look, BOP doesn't give a shit about a sex offender getting beat to death. So the guys might think – he might be thinking, we probably won't kill me. Yeah, but you're going to lose an eye if I start hitting you with a fucking – you're asleep and I start hitting you with a lock. You're going to lose an eye and you're going to get shipped and I'm going to break your nose. And I mean it's, it's, it's vicious. And you know what's really funny is like you have guys that are like owners of banks being told what to do by crackheads. <laughs> So you got some little crackhead who comes up. He's like, um, uh, listen, uh, uh, I noticed the other day you you had your your coke on the uh, uh, next to the computer, and you're not allowed to have that. And it's the second time, and if, if I have to address you again, then I'm, I'm going to address you in the morning meeting. I'm going to pull you up, and uh, you know, you're like, <laughs> I'm a fucking CEO of a bank. I cheated on my taxes. You've got a prison GED. What the fuck is how how did I get here? How is this guy telling me <laughs> how to crazy. live my life? Yeah, that's I mean, fucking crazy hilarious. shit. Hilarious. So the whole, everybody that's read the book is like. That's got to just th- crush, morally yeah. fucking crush Oh, yeah. You. Oh, listen. You, can you imagine my ego being told, <laughs> having some fucking guy come up to me and say, uh, Cox, can I talk to you? I'm like, yeah, what's up? And they're like, listen, bro, the, uh, I noticed the other day your, your bed, you didn't do the hospital corner. And you know, you're supposed to do that. I'm like, what? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> and they're like. 
No, I know it sounds funny, but you know, uh, I mean, I'm just bringing it to your attention. You know, and there's certain key words like, "Do you have a minute?" Which is basically they're saying they're going to confront level you. Like, I want to discuss. So that's the first step. You have to confront level someone. If they don't correct the behavior, you get to pull them up. Well, you have to pull people up to graduate the program. Mm. So they're always looking. Sure, but he's on edge. They're always looking for something. Danny, I noticed that your shirt isn't exactly, <clears throat> it's not been ironed recently. And, uh, you know, here in RDAP, we hold ourselves to a higher standard. I just want to bring it to your attention. And right then, you know right then. That does not teach you how to be normal. No, it, this is, listen, it's a completely fucked up program. Let me tell you one thing. You know, I got one for you. One time a guy is talking to this chick. He's been talking to her for like a year or so. He's telling her, I'm getting out. I got no money. I got no money. He convinces her to send him money. So when I get out, I have money. I got a couple grand, three grand on my books. So when I get out, I'll have three grand. So I, and he's been doing, getting her to send him money. Well, the, de- the drug treatment specialists start listening to his phone calls, and they hear him telling her that. And they come to bring him in the, well, what are you doing? Well, I mean, I, I need money and this and that. Yeah, but don't you have a girlfriend? Well, I mean, yeah, I got a girlfriend. Well, you're not being honest. Honesty is the it's the key to oh yeah to change. It's the foundation. They got so them. you got to send that money back. Oh no, huh? Yeah, <laughs> the three grand. Yeah, send the money Damn. back. Oh, they they'll write. They'll have guys write a letter home to their family, and they have their family write a letter back that they then read. And the the letter is how did your how did your loved one hurt your family, hurt you? How did his drug and alcohol or in criminal behavior harm you? So you got guys that are getting letters and then they're reading it in group therapy sessions. And if your mom writes a letter about what your crimes have done to her and how she feels about you, she's never told you this. Yeah. And it's read in front of the 20 guys that are in your group therapy. Oh, that's You've crazy. You've got guys, gangsters, crying like small fucking children, weeping because mom just told everybody yeah. how you've embarrassed them, how you're just a scumbag, how they're they're humiliated by your behavior. How I mean, you got guys that are just it, listen, it's there there's a lot of stuff they do that will fuck you up and guys do some guys are irrevocably changed by that program. And some guys are just faking their way through it. But the book, everybody that's read the book is like, bro, it's fucking amazing. They're like, I'm laughing one minute, and then when this happened, bro, I was in fucking <laughs> tears, you know? So, bro, this the doctor that, that runs the program there, <clears throat> her name's Dr. Smith. Bro, that she, for some reason, the second time I went in, she, like, took interest in me. So she starts bringing me in all the time, asking about my son. My son, my ex-wife, my mom, my dad. You have a son? <laughs> yeah, bro, listen. It got so bad, I was like Pavlov's dog. Walking to the office, I start tearing up. Because I know, fuck, she's going to ask this. Mm -hmm. She's going to talk about this. She's going to, and I mean, I'm just, there are certain things like, I'm like a complete sociopath on certain aspects. And there's maybe three, four things you could ask me about that I'll immediately start crying like a fucking child. Is your son one of them? My son would be one of them, which we're not going to talk about. We've Um, never talked about that in the podcast. We're not going to talk about it. (laughs) I assure you we're not going to talk about it. It's fucking horrible. Maybe that means that is we should. No. (laughs) Listen. I think we should. Listen, I I will beat you to death with this heavy fucking thing right here. And damn the consequences. My two friends will definitely help me. (laughs) I'm definitely not. I'm I'm working the chat. He's busy. He's not not in a position to help anybody. I can't help you too much. He'll be stumbling as we're. That's all right. I might be able to take you, Matt. I probably. I don't know. It's not pretty good. That's pretty a fair good. fight. No, no, I'm just joking. I'd pay to see good. it. Yeah. <laughs> Who else would pay on? to see it? Who's going to drop some money in the chat Ooh, to see that happen? Nice. Me and Matt will wrestle right here on top of this table for the right price. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah. And depending on how much it gets, depends on how nasty it gets. <laughs> no, I'm talking about. <laughs> nah, man. So uh, what else? What are we doing? What's going on? What happened? Well, it was What's actually that? one. Th- what you were talking about is really interesting, like that program to help heal people. The and crab's here. That. The crab's, crab's here. here. Crabs here. Oh, my God. Go to the crab. Yeah, go Please. Because you can you. get, like, that criminal sociopath brain. Don't you're trip. able to fake your way through anything. So oh, how, yeah. can, how can they, like, call you out on you, like, upholding your truth and for. not just being a complete sociopath criminal and saying what you need to to get through it? How? I mean, here's the, the problem is that, well, sorry. <clears throat> here's, here's why I think. And, and a lot of people go through the program, and they know he's faked. He, they'll, Dr. Smith, keep in mind, she's seen... 
a thousand Matt Coxes. She's seen mm-hmm. a two thousand this guy five that she imme- as soon as you walk you in, all she's categorizing. He's got a per- this personality type. He's got this. Mm-hmm. He's got this. Bef- as you're sitting there, you sit down as she's talking to you. She can sit there and go, okay, so one of your parents has an alcohol problem. Is that right? And you're like, what the fuck do you know that? How did you know that? Never had a conversation with you. But within three or four minutes, she's already. Listen, I remember I used to say I feel horrible for her her husband or her ex-husband because he's never won an argument. Yeah, Guarantee you can't win an argument with this chick. Because she could just, like, stare at you and Oh, see. my God. Twist this, twist that. One of those, I would walk in there, and immediately I felt like the room was closing in. I'm, yeah. The only time I've ever had a conversation with someone, the whole time I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, how can I get out of the room? How can I get out of the room? How can I get out of the room? Even before you're in the room, like you were talking oh, about, right, just it got, walking that's what I'm saying. the room, like she's just in your head that much to where you know the things that she's going to ask you. Right. So she would, and there were people, what would people, will be people graduating the program? And she'll know. He faked his way through the program. He didn't really, this, but he did everything he was supposed to do. He went through the things. I can't really change that. He's gonna get his. He's gonna get the year off, and he's gonna move forward. And there are other guys that she knows. This guy has irrevocably been changed, and I think he's a, a better person as a result of of the program. And listen, there that honestly, that type of a program should be done throughout the BOP, like to knock off times because guys yeah. are genuinely trying to learn the material. It's the first time you can see guys that they're really trying. Some of them are like, "Oh, I'm faking it. I'm faking it." Yeah, you're faking it, bro. But I seen you crying like a baby in the in the morning meeting. Because those are real tears, right? So you can sit here and tell all your gangster buddies you're faking it. But the truth is, when they read that letter from your mom or your grandmother, mm-hmm. you weren't faking it. So you can tell they 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 do change. Some people do change, and maybe they change temporarily. But I think it's a good way to help retrain how people think. And criminals, there's really there are programs. But the programs are pretty much a joke. Mm-hmm. And you can't really expect these guys to go out of their way and try and change when they don't think they have an issue. But if you gave them an incentive, you said, look, you pass this nine-month program and you get a year off, they're going to try. It's going to lower recidivism for sure. Mm-hmm. But, but, you know, it's, it's a limited program. But I, it, they ought to do it across the board. Like they ought to say you get 20% off your sentence if you pass this program and do like, oh, man. You you really see some some changes. I think stuff like that is super important too because you know you reach a certain point in that sort of pattern in thinking to where you don't even recognize the way that you're thinking well, like that anymore, and then but, it just like brings attention to well, it. Well, that's and all it helps you get over it. In that nine months, that when they they teach you to do these certain things, you, know, you have to take workshops and all kinds of stuff. You have to go through RSAs and um, where the, what's the other thing is uh, your. Um, God, there's two different types. I forget the other one. I ha- actually in the book, I have my. Um, they're not RSAs. They're uh, attitude checks. I have mm-hmm. attitude checks throughout the book, so you actually get to read my attitude checks. So what's not an example all of, of an attitude check? It's like um, you know, today I was in the chow hall and the guys were standing in front of me. They were screaming and hollering and being disrespectful, and but you're, you know. But you can't get away from them. Right. They're screaming and hollering, and, and all I could think about was hitting one of these guys in the head with a baseball bat, you know. And so you're sitting there thinking, you know, it, it was everything I could do to tell them to shut the fuck up, you know. And then you go, attitude check. You say, what was what attitude was I struggling with? And you go, you know, yeah. humility. And then you say, you know, then you say, you know, I had to tell myself that, you know, they weren't raised in the same type of environment, and to them they didn't they they didn't realize hmm. that what they were doing was being rude. And you say, what attitude was I? You know, what attitude was I, you know, was I displaying? And then you say whatever it was, humility or, you know, giving or forget. I don't know what the fucking yeah. attitudes are. And then you say, if I continue this behavior or, the, or practicing these types of self, you know, talk or whatever, then I'll be able to deal with, you know, these complete jerk offs that scream and holler and <laughs> spit in people's faces. And, you know, yeah. you know, you you kind of. You talk your way through it instead of being like, hey, bro, you want to keep your fucking mouth? You want to be disrespectful? Well, you got to be disrespectful. You know, next thing you know, you're in a confrontation. Right. It's a way of processing these emotions that you're not used to processing other than dealing with it through just like raw rage. Right. Right. And here's the thing is that it's funny because the some of the guys that have the hardest time are guys that like – the smarter guys that have smarter crimes that you would think would sail through, they do sail through. Mm-hmm. They sail through the first, second, third phase, and by like the fourth phase, or is it the third phase? I forget. Just before you graduate, when they really expect you to show some emotional changes, that's when they tear guys like, like I don't yeah. know that I would have graduated the program because that last phase, they destroy me. 
Because that's where they really call you out and get you wrong. Right. That's where, because, and that's, and so graduating the program, I I'm probably could have, maybe I could have graduated. Maybe, it would have been hell. It would have been me in tears for two, three months straight. Oh, I can't deal. I'll drive the Jew the year. Yeah. I'll do the extra that's year. That's emotionally just, taxing, too, yeah. especially if you've never felt those emotions for that long. Like a year of just staying within yourself rather than a couple of months of sharing with everybody. That year sounds pretty good. Yeah. But your crab's here, and that sounds pretty good, too. <laughs> we have a, a pizza. I'll take pizza. Give me a Can I have a thing? We have a crab fucking snow crab leg platter here. Crab oh, buffet. <laughs> Cannot. Oh. oh but. Thank you. All right. Bone appetite. Dig in, right? Are yeah. you Are you not hungry? No, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat some fucking crab. I'll tell you that. Shout out to Jamie Walker drinking Bud Light, smoking cigs, and watching. Hell yeah. Appreciate you. Okay, this is fucking ridiculous. This is podcast safe food, right? Yeah, answer bone, questions bone while you eat. <laughs> <laughs> Stink lines killing it behind the board. Shout out Stink lines. Come get some boiled peanuts or crab. Put a couple peanuts on there. All right, next question. Here. That, yeah, right. that's uh, your guys' box. Uh, All right, Matt. CM cubes. Forty four minutes ago. Oh, what has been your favorite car to drive? Thank you. Wow, look at these peanuts. Did I have an Audi A8? It was they were like it was like 90, 95 grand or something like that. What did I have? An Audi A8? No, I don't that, know you know what? what? You had. That was like a four door. God, that thing had a ton of horsepower. It was like four hundred and like sixty or eighty horsepower or something. Honestly, the R8, the A8. What did you say? No, I think it was. Well, it was like a four door. Look at this peanut. It wasn't like the sports car. I think with the Audi, the sports. It wasn't that, that was your favorite, though. No, I'm saying that was a nice, nice car. But honestly, I, I had an Audi Quattro TT, you know, the little mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Like, but people, I don't think people think that's like a cool, flashy car or anything. But that was a nice car. I love that little car. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, it's like, I don't know. People have a weird perception of me or something. Like I'm doing crazy stuff, and it's just not. I think they, they equate, like, getting that much money with living, like, a super lavish lifestyle. It's just not, you know, I'm we're, not that guy. You were just, like, in it to be doing it, it seemed like. You need napkins? Yeah. You're in it Listen, to... Listen, I need to see somebody eat some of these fucking things. What, what, what do you do? What do you... Seriously? Yeah, I mean, what am I doing? I don't eat... I've never... I don't think I've eaten crab legs, but you I... break it? Like that? I get the meat out. And I'm supposed to be... I mean, could you have picked a fucking... So then I'm Can supposed to what? One on here? Suck the fucking meat out. Come on, suck man. Suck the what meat, you, Matt. I mean, I'm... Like this, right? Suck the meat. Like this. Suck the meat. <laughs> mm. You couldn't have got pizza. Yeah. I said pizza like three fucking you times. You did say it. I, yeah. No. Crab you said legs. crab. Crab legs. No, you said... You, you complained that I didn't get your I crab said, legs. You said crab legs, and then I He's said, good, look, though. I'm good with pizza. These I'm good with pizza. Really good. Oh, your really eyes good. lit up when he said crab legs, though. That's why he ordered it. This is ridiculous. You gotta, Aren't you, there like you tools? Ooh. Aren't you supposed to have tools? Fuck it, this is ridiculous. <laughs> tools? The worst you got ten thing. fingers. You're supposed to eat real close to the microphone, too. Yeah. No, no. Crabs only have like two. Matt Cox, ASMR. ASMR, mukbang, Matt Cox. I mean, how mm. do you get it out of the... This is... Matt, have you what? never had crab legs before? Ooh. I've had them before, but they were like things you could crack them open with. They had tools and shit. <laughs> This ain't Ruth Chris, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Far from it. <laughs> uh, you can't. What you Damn, this is good, though. Mm. Boiled mm, peanuts nice. are fire. Yeah. All right, what's the next question? I'm, I can't touch my <clears throat> computer anymore. <laughs> All right, I got this guy. It's not really a question, but Danny printed these, so I'm going to read it. It says, uh, Kevin Lovedall, four months ago. I need this guy's phone number. I only owe a third of my home's value, and I can't even get a call back from a bank to refinance it. That doesn't seem right. You go to hard money guy. I wonder what his DTI is. What's the DTI mean? Listen. Is that like DTI? Why can't he get a call back? <laughs> I don't know. Probably they're pulling his credit. Maybe his credit's bad or something. But even then, you could get a hard money loan, but hard money loans fucking... It depends on what he wants to do with the loan. Does he just want to pull a bunch of cash out, and what's he going to do? I mean, is it worth? And he could be—he could be saying the wrong thing. Like I've had guys come in before, and the yeah. mortgage company, they come in and they owed, they owed a hundred thousand on a two hundred fifty thousand dollar house. That's that, a Matt. that's a that's a no brainer, right? You're going to do that loan, and then when the bank says, "Well, what do you want the hundred thousand dollars that you're going to get out? What do you want it for?" Oh, 
I'm going to go open, quit my job and go open, a, go open up a, a business. Yeah, we're not lending you the money. Because so you're, you had a stable job, which is how you're going to pay them back. You're now saying I'm going to quit my stability <laughs> and I'm going to go start a venture that has a good chance of failing. Because what is it? Is it three out of four businesses fail? I have a question, Matt. First three years or something like that? I forget what this Should is. Should be good. How do you? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is How do you setting up pretty good? <laughs> yeah, this is great. How do you think Our, the mortgage business is doing? How do you think the banks are doing with mortgage with mortgages, home mortgages right now during this plague we're going through? Oh, I'm sure it's fucking horrible, right? Really? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't. I, I talked I, to a banker today. I, he I, said it's <laughs> amazing. It's great. He says they're doing all. Con- they're doing loans, more loans than nor- than they've ever done. Well, that's funny. I wonder. And how- they're doing a lot of new construction loans too. Yeah. Okay. Know, maybe he's just trying to sell me. I don't know. What yeah, I don't know what the. I mean, look, listen. So, how are you proving these people's income, or are they giving them some kind of exception where they're saying, "Look, you don't have to prove your DTI because you've been out of bit out of work for a month and a half." Right. So you've been out of work for a month and a half, and I'm going to give you a loan. We don't even know when you're going to have a, another pay stub. I'm re- I'm asking you for your last two pay stubs. They can't provide them. Oh, well, I have unemployment. Really? So you're getting like a third of what you would be getting. I mean, I don't even know how that works. Maybe they're saying, oh, no, we're giving you an exemption and we're doing this and that. Okay, well, that's possible. You know, but, I mean, I don't do loans, but I, I can't imagine they're doing great. Yeah. It's I like got a s- question. Sure. You know a lot about mortgages? No, some, a little bit. About do you know anything about Morgan and Morgan? I don't know. Morgan and Morgan, that's that's the, the lawyers. For the people. For the p- No, I don't know anything <laughs> about them. Why? I'm just curious. Why? I don't know anything about it. How does that have anything to do with mortgages? I don't know. It rhymes with mortgage. Oh my God. Starts with an M. What's what's happening? (laughs) Damn. (laughs) Shane's fucking baked right now. Shane, you got any questions? Crab's hitting. (laughs) Crab hit different. I can't scroll through the questions. I gotta use the back Uh, of my hand to scroll through these questions. What is this? What are these? All right. Oh, that's potatoes. Just just well, so it's a big long. potato. It's a big potato. They're all yours. There's no fork or anything. No, sorry. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Next question, Shane. Good looking. They're all kind of like the same. They're always like, what's your biggest regret? What do you do? Is it worth it? No, Was it wasn't it worth, worth it? it. No, it was 12 years. No. Did you use the dark web? I didn't use the what dark web. What was your web. favorite was car? Not All right, here's a different one. Flash underscore Gordon. Since you've made lots of fast money, does working a normal job to you to make job. money seem extra mundane to you now? I don't have a normal job. So no. I paint paintings, and I write, and I get, you know, I I sell bo- bo- books, and I get money, and I got I have a little bit of money that comes in every once in a while from them. royalties. And I don't have a normal job, and I'm trying to. I'm working on getting a, a series. Would you ever get a like a regular normal job? Yeah, I would do option? that. I would do that. Like just a Jiffy Lube or something. Were you mean, working at a, at a gym? Were you like working oh, at yeah. a gym doing like was, cleanup? Yeah, yeah, I was like, I'd love to. I don't know where that went, bro. Something dropped. <laughs> That's we'll a little it. dog in here. We'll find it. Um, I mean, I, when I was in the halfway house, I worked in the gym. It's a little dog. What? Oh, bro, the weirdest shit just happened. I can't even explain it right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't think Shane knows what's happening either. I can't believe I'm Which the one crazy. who's on probation here. I really. <laughs> Everybody at this table has been on probation at some point. <laughs> That's very true. Mm-hmm. Next question. I have a legitimate question, though. <clears throat> Hopefully, they can recover. We learned our lesson, Matt. They they corrected That's our right. criminal thinking. Yeah. Did it work on you? Me so far. So far, it's working. So on the uh, the American Greed series, and they go into the 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 art that you would leave behind. No, this is like a legitimate question about it. Like, I want to know, like, what are some of the things that inspired you to create the pieces, and like, where did that so come from? There. Like the sculpture that you left in the apartment. I, I, where did that come from? And like, was there any meaning to it, or was it just like a spontaneous act of creation? You want tater? Tater up. 
I have no idea. This is hot as hell. My <laughs> lips are all <laughs> fucking. There's water right there. There's a bottle of water right there. Do you need more coffee? I know. I, I brought like the, the bottle of water. Boiled peanuts and oh, we got spicy <laughs> ass boiled peanuts. These are the peanuts. spiciest boiled peanuts I've ever had. They're good. Didn't we have a talk about not getting spicy? Bo- I mean, what I just said. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, Danny don't listen. Never does. Yeah, he he does listen. He just doesn't care. He listens to himself. Probably true. So, the, the ah. I, I would love to <laughs> I would love to redo that statue. Like I've tried to completely do it twice. Um, both times something has happened. Like, and I ended up having to ditch this statue or some some reason. Mm-hmm. So I. would Oh, I know. I was actually working on that statue again when I got arrested mm. uh, in 2006. And the other time was we couldn't fit it in the back of the van. Like, we had, like, this little SUV thing, and we packed our stuff, and I couldn't get in the back of the van. So I ended up leaving it in the garage. And then they said, then when the guy got, found the, came in the house, he said that I'd stuck it in the middle of the living room, taunting him. Mm-hmm. It was in the garage. And you just didn't have room for it. In the I van. just didn't have room for it. It wasn't. I didn't leave it to taunt you. It was sitting in the garage. But whatever. Um, but that was, to their credit, they were just trying to make the show more entertaining. Yeah, yeah. sure. It was good. But it was like the, the sculpture itself, though. Like that was just like a reoccurring thing that you would just be making. I don't know why. I've actually drawn that, by the way, a few times. Like I drew a guy in the same kind of basic position inside of a box. Treon has that picture. I need to get that picture from Treon. He probably feels it's his picture at this point. <laughs> been holding it for a while so i don't know it's just a uh this i don't know if it's agony or just being tortured or just just uh yeah i don't know there probably is i i, I what would you say guilt and why what does it look like to you to me it looked like somebody reaching for help oh okay because you know it's like kind of like in this position like it's like you know like, Actually, I think he's, like, he's more like this he's more like or is he like this i forget but yeah you know, i should walking dead when they have the zombies on the right. side of the road and they're like cut in half and they're just like stuck there and it's just the head and the arms that's what it reminded me of i should redo that i should go get yeah, some chicken wire re- yeah you really should that would be pretty cool right there. somebody would buy the, that shit for sure yeah who would buy some of matt's art we'll out there yeah let buy us some know. books buy some art buy the book. subscribe to the page uh spicy crab next question This is this is. I'm gonna have to go get something to eat. <laughs> you're not you're not stuffed. I'm, I can't eat this. There's no meat in it, and you it's, it takes too much to break it apart, and you don't have the tools, and it's you're you know like a metrosexual map. I yeah. Um, <laughs> that's. <sighs> <sighs> we'll take you to uh, McDonald's after this. Taco Bell. It's the only shit that's open. Somebody said they've never seen somebody complain about crab legs. You're definitely not from Florida. I'm from Florida. I was born in Florida. I consider myself a Florida cracker. I I mean, <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm sorry that I, you know, I, I'm I, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unreal. Unreal. Can't believe this shit. Which one of his IDs do you need to see for you to believe that he's from Florida? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. All right, next what, question. What's the next question? <laughs> They're really all the same shit. The Sorry, just the, ask them. Like, what was your biggest regret while doing while you were doing fraud? What was my biggest throughout regret? your entire career? What's the one thing that if you take back one thing, what would it be? Other than this podcast, oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See, you know what? That's one of those. That's a. That's good. That's a. Well, that's a a, a, a loaded put question. Me a leg on there. Because think about it. What the the I, I know the, the correct answer is there's sausage. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, let me let me hold that. The correct answer is let me get a piece of sausage. I wish I'd never committed fraud to begin mm. with. Um, mm-hmm. Right? Isn't that the correct answer? No, that's I want to hear the truth. That's the answer. If I mean, it, if if the listening. scenario it also says like, was there a specific person or situation you regret doing? I regret Dot doing. Com Joe. Yeah. Is there a specific one, person or th- or or right? fraud crime or I don't know? Wife probably texted him. That looks serious. Time to change the diaper. Everybody pray it's for time, Danny. It's time to probably throw. He's probably going outside to throw up. Bad crab. Bad crab. Too We're many probably shotguns. all going to be throwing up. Crab's there. great. This crab is amazing. The sausage is fire. Oh my gosh! My nose is running. Oh, that shit was too spicy. It's all spice. This crab is amazing. There's some more sausage in there if you want to try it. 
No. Sausage is really good. Is it? Uh, yeah. No, I, I, I just, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. This is. If this doesn't taste like it mixes well with coffee. <laughs> what doesn't mix well with coffee? I've never mm. sat down for a nice cup of coffee and uh, crab. plate of crab. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, that's refreshing. <laughs> what would be biggest? Okay, I got, I got, I got it. All right, all right. So one, I made Man, people throwing money. You know, I should. You know, one of the problems when I was in South Carolina, and I'd applied for a bunch of loans, and one of the loan officers actually, like, I, I was closing the loans, and one of the loan officers left and went on vacation and then came back and processed the loan. So the actuary, I'm, I'm the actuary, the abstractor went down to public records to check public records mm -hmm. but as loans were closing. So she actually caught several of the, several of those loans. Well, I had like, we had like 1.3 million in the bank and we'd taken out like 600,000 or something. The problem was I remember she was saying she was going on vacation, but it wouldn't slow down. It wouldn't stop the process. No big deal. Where I'll put everything through. I'm like, okay, so we're still going to close within the next, you know, 30 days. Oh, yeah, no problem, no problem. Well, she didn't. And I remember thinking it may be an issue. And right then, I like, I, it was like, I was like, oh, God, what if she doesn't? I was like, well, she's saying she's going to. So I didn't. Right. You know, I was questioning it, but right. she seemed like I should have right then been like, yeah, you know, I'll come back yeah. or I'll, I, I should have. But I didn't. That was an issue. That was an issue. The other issue was the thing I did with with Allison Arnold, which was done? where she. Yeah, I'm done. Thank you. Where I. Where. Uh, she pretended to be Rosita Perez. Mm hmm. That was so – there was just no real benefit. It was just Allison saying she wanted to do something. What could she do? I had – everything was going smoothly without her doing that. And for some reason I was like, well, you know, you could do this. It was kind of like I was just trying new things. To give her something. To give her something to do. And it was yeah. stupid. I, I could have given her – you know, I could have just said, look, let me give you 10 grand. Right, go spend this. Right, you can pay, you can pay me back later. I'll get you on your feet. No big deal. But – Instead, and I was giving her money. I did rent her a place and bought her stuff. But I was like, I did it just because it was kind of a, a, a practice run to see what would happen and this and that. And really what I was doing was working very smoothly and was just pure stupidity. It was like trial and error. Well, I mean, that's not the kind of, it's not the kind of business you do trial and error. Yeah. Trial and error is somebody go, gets caught and goes to prison. Mm -hmm. And... It just it was just a complete disregard for everything that I had already kind of knew was and was was wasn't going to work or shouldn't be tried and I tried it anyway because I was thinking I'm not going in the bank so worst case scenario is they get grabbed I'll get them a lawyer will this will that you know it was just it was just stupid yeah but you can't always trust people in that situation oh no you can't trust anybody I, yeah. nobody I know didn't turn on me immediately but I didn't know that at the time. At the time, I thought, oh, well, you know, oh, this person won't say anything. This person. Yeah. But that, that just wasn't the case, you know, which is fine. You know, I don't blame anybody. Um, it was certainly, it was absolutely my fault. Like, I never should have involved Allison Arnold. She, and she didn't even do anything. She didn't even know anything. She was just, you know, she was just in a bad spot, and I took advantage of the situation. She was just there. Yeah. You know, and she, I should have known. I mean, I, I, I not that I should have known. I did know, and I did it anyway. Because yeah. I thought, well, well, I wonder if this will work. Yeah, this should work. Yeah, hey, we could do this. And, this, and what the fuck am I doing? I'm already, I've already got a foolproof plan that's making tons of money. <coughs> we wanted more. Yeah, well, I was, it wasn't more. It was just trial and error. I wonder if this will work. Now it's just like, hey, let's tweak it here. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hey, I wonder if this would work. You know, it's like, okay, well, what are you doing? You're yeah. getting fucking creative. You've got a foolproof money-making machine right here. Don't get cute. Just stick with the plan. It's working. Nobody, the banks didn't even know they were being defrauded. I'm buying a house for 50 or 40, recording the value, borrowing 150, 160, walking away with $100,000. Then the house goes into foreclosure six months later. The banks take it back. They don't even realize that they lent 150 or, or $100,000 more on a house. They take it back. They sell it. They take the loss. They think, well, we, we just lost $100,000. That happens sometimes. Mm. 
And that's what they were. And it was happening for a year and a half. They're not even looking. They don't even realize it. And then I start getting cute. It was just that that was just pure stupid. I think that answers the question pretty much. It's just stupidity. I've got lots of stupid things I did. <clears throat> it hurts me when you ask questions like that. I wish you could <laughs> screen them better. I didn't. <laughs> you know, I'm just reading these. Danny Prince, I mean, he picks yeah. these. Yeah. I got one. Keep that in mind. <laughs> From David Renee, who dropped five dollars in the crab bucket. Woo! Thanks, David. Nice. If Spicy. the U.S. government had offered Matt the chance to work for them for 20 years minimum, non-negotiable, in exchange for no prison time, would he have done it? I mean, am I going to get paid? I mean, I still have to get paid. I still have to live. That's one of those questions. Are you setting terms for the U.S. government? I am setting terms because <laughs> I have to, you know, if they're like, oh, we're, we're going to pay you $24,000 a year for the next 20 years. Well, I'm not. I mean. You'd rather just ride it out in jail. I don't know. I mean, that's like. Can I work a side job? Like, am I? I'm, I'm an indentured sl- uh, servant for the next twenty. You know, that's that's a tough. But like, or you go to jail for ten years, or you get twenty six years, or twenty. You know, whatever it is. I, I need more, but I would basically say, if the terms were correct, then yeah, I would absolutely do that. Hmm. Of course, hmm. good answer. Who wouldn't do that? You know, that's the whole Frank Abagnale thing. The catch me if you can. Like everybody that watches the movie thinks that the FBI got him out of prison. They didn't get him out of prison. You know, he got out of prison on, if you read his book, he actually got out of prison on parole. Hmm. He was denied, I think, the first and second time he was up for parole. I think he did like six years total on a huge sentence of like 14 years or something. I think it was 14 years. He ended up doing like five or six years. He gets out and then he starts working for the working teaching classes. Like it doesn't happen the way the way they portrayed it in the movie. He actually did all of his time. And people are like, oh, yeah, the FBI came and they got him out. No, they didn't. You all watch the movie. The movie's wrong. Read his book. He tells the whole – he tells exactly what happens in his book, which is called uh, The Art of Steel. That's the second book to uh, Catch Me If You Can. And he goes over a whole bunch of scams and stuff too. It's actually pretty cool. Catch Me If You Can, the book is pretty cool. Really? Like, is the, almost book the, same, the book is that same title, Catch Me If You Can? Catch Me If You Can. It's it? almost exactly like the, uh, like the movie. Almost. Like, there's some subtle differences. We're actually heading in a great direction because we got another question from Sandro <clears throat> Nielis, who dropped five bucks. What is the best fraud Matt ever heard about, and is it still going on? Also, he needs an audio book version, and he wants you to read it. He an wants audio, you to read the audio book. Well, well, you must have just turned uh, tuned in. Uh, I've got a professional narrator doing the audio version they of want my, your voice. Yeah, they don't want a professional. Uh, they want your voice. Um, they it's want not the real happen. thing. I can't read it. I read like a fourth grader. It would be horrible, and you wouldn't want to read it. Why don't you do your audio book the same way David Goggins did his audio book? He didn't actually read from anything. He basically just did what we're doing. He had like a – so he, he had like pro, a professional – a story to somebody. That, yeah, You're David recording. Goggins did an audio version of his written book, and he basically had a guy like who was a professional, like a professional story t- – a guy who reads books, basically ask him a list of structured questions to where Goggins could fill in the blanks talking from the heart. You know what I mean? Right. So it was kind of like a hybrid podcast slash audiobook, and it was actually really entertaining. I thought it was done really well. You should check it out. That would be a good option for you to do. I, mean, I think people would love could, that. You could give me the I link. I could ask you the questions. You you I'll, send I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. Give me the link. We can hang out. We can I hang out, eat some out. crab. Yeah, we, we can, can eat, eat crab, crab and read your audiobook. <laughs> Shane is <laughs> fucking up the I crab. Mean, too much. He <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> there's more crab over here. Yeah, you want the, these crab and taters? I mean, he's, chew, he's chewing up the I'm bone. Gonna him, I'm going to let him go to waste. <laughs> he's chewing up the bone, too. I mean, it's the bone. It's my first time eating crab. <laughs> oh, i got to be careful with no, this. No, no, no. Yeah. Here, keep, put, keep it, it. put it over here. It's juicy. We don't got to spill it. Let me throw this don't, away. Don't waste it. Don't waste the juice. <laughs> don't waste the juice. Hey, who wants to see Danny drink the juice? <laughs> oh, <laughs> if anybody yeah. drops 10 bucks, Danny will drink the juice. 50 bucks, he'll drink the juice. I don't think Danny's drinking that juice. He'll drink it. Drop a crab emoji if you want to see Danny <laughs> drink the juice. <laughs> Fuck it. If you drop the crab emoji, I'll drink the juice. Where's the trash at? There's a dumpster out here. Okay. I don't want to smell it. I need a We can't even go out to dinner anywhere, Matt. What do we I know. do now? I can't. I mean, boy, he's, he's he he planned this. 
He did, huh? The whole. He didn't. Nobody said nothing to me the about whole food. C- coronavirus thing. He planned it. Danny to make sure all the restaurants were shut down <laughs> so that we couldn't go. So you didn't have to pay couldn't for get, us. No. And no, listen, left his crab. The, you know the, the best. Crab. The best restaurant he's he's brought me to is Waffle House. Waffle House. You're not going to get much better than that. Yeah. I mean, I that's the best. And I love Waffle that's House. That's top level for him. It, but for him, that I mean, he's. No, he's, he's driving. He's like, what are you driving? You. A Land Rover? What? What is it? He's selling you short. Should yeah, be he's you, uh, he's something else. So the five stars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Matt, when you first came on the uh, podcast, we honestly Penthouse. thought that you might have been hitting on Shane. We thought we thought that you might have been <laughs> horny for Shane. <laughs> Look, is, is that know. true? Come on, you know, <laughs> <tell me. laughs> he's you know. Come Did I on. not say that after the first podcast? Yeah, we got some crab emojis. <laughs> we were getting some vibes from you, Matt. We thought that you might have nice. been, you might have been nice. playing both sides of the fence. We thought that maybe nice. you didn't leave it behind the gate. Behind the <laughs> Listen, if I was gay, I would have stayed in prison. I'd have been perfectly happy. The gay guys in prison are the happiest guys there. They're they're really okay with everything. So it's, like, it's like being in a women's prison. You're like, yeah. Where are we at? What are we doing? People are dropping You're crabs. drinking crab juice. <laughs> we got a lot There's of crabs. A lot of crab in the chat. Emotions. A lot of crabs. <laughs> Where are my crabs at? We got a lot of Waffle House and crabs. <clears throat> All right. Let's let Shane finish eating these crab legs and I'll drink the juice. Oh, are you? Oh, He's done. I know you're joking. Where are we at? We're about to watch set, you drink some crab juice. I said the crab legs aside. Should, should we put some Jack Daniels in the crab juice? Yeah, a little bit of Jack. Should we? <laughs> <laughs> All right, do we have another question here? What are we, what are we doing? It's, it's, it's just two hours. We're going on two hours. <clears throat> it feels like we just started. Danny picked the worst stuff to ask. Why would you pull it up like so the high? Worst. Why is it the worst? Just long, stupid questions. Just because you don't want to yeah, read it. He can't read so the, yeah, the long <laughs> He can't look, read the long like, questions. He's doing fine. Listen to this one. Not really a question. Well, then don't read so, that. I mean, they're like not even questions. If it's not a question, then don't read that one. Yeah, read it. It's a great comment. Yeah, what is it? Oh, they're is it letting you know comment? it's not okay. a question. We want to know his reaction to the comment. Not really a question. Hey, Matt, I take criminal justice courses at school, and we had to do a presentation on criminal of our choice. Most people chose Bundy, the Zodiac Killer, you know, people like that, but I chose you. Your life, <laughs> fuck yeah! Nice. Your Hell life, yeah. your life of crime from this podcast just intrigued me so much. You're an excellent storyteller, as well. Glad you got your life turned around. That's from Antonio, fifty three minutes ago. That's gotta make you that's, feel good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. How do you feel? How does that make you feel? You like that? No, that makes me feel good. It's like when the, it's like when the guys that he's got another one. Yeah, and there's a lot of shit like this. That I was gonna say there's, and then there's <laughs> Chris the ones that Swanner scumbag. five months ago. He's the most interesting, self-centered narcissist I've ever liked. I watched yes. all three videos, yes. first two back to back. I couldn't turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you completely love the self-centered narcissist thing. I have no problem with it. It's like no, it's I, not that you don't have a problem with it. You kind of like you push it. I don't because it's true. You own it. You, don't you have to own it? Yeah, yeah you got. I mean, look, you, what could I say? I could sit here and go, "That's not true," really, because you're it. Everything about you says something different. So for you to sit there and and, and deny that, mm-hmm. it it just it gives power to the people that are that are saying it in a negative light. I don't see it in a negative light. You know, I I, under, I know it's I know it's a thing. I know it's definitely uh, it's I, I'm gonna say it's an issue. You know, and in and in some ways I'm 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 working on it, and in some ways I'm I'm running with it. So, you know, if, if I could. If I could tweak it enough so that I actually, you know, gave a shit about other people more, that would help. But it's 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 difficult for me to focus in on other people without trying to switch the conversation back to me. Yeah. And it's an asshole thing to do. And I see myself doing it all the time. And I'll walk away from a conversation and be like, God, you self-centered, fucking, selfish prick. Mm-hmm. You t- just had that whole conversation with this person, and every time you you tried to turn you turned it back on yourself. And I'll see myself doing it in the middle of a, a conversation. You know what I noticed about uh, your podcast, or not your podcast, but when you went on Bubba the Love Sponge's show, Bubba's always turning stuff about making stuff about him, right? Like he's interviewing you, and the Diaco guys are talking about you, or whatever. And before he kind of like gave in finally and let you tell the story. I feel like he was always talking about something, like trying to relate it to himself or talking about something that he went through and, and asking questions. It seemed like he was 
Well, I think to be in it to, I think to be in entertainment or to be a personality, you have to have a certain a certain amount of narcissism. Yeah, I mean, Bubba's yeah, definitely that's a narcissist. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, I, but do you I, think but Bubba's a bigger? Owns nar- it. Do you think Bubba's a bigger narcissist than you are? I hope so. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I you know, I I don't know. I mean, I honestly, I way to be I, modest. <laughs> for once <laughs> I, mean, I mean i it, you know i honestly if i could change it i would and i'm constantly struggling to make alterations to the behavior and it's difficult and knowing it you would think knowing it like they're like you know oh admitting you have a problem is part of is you know half the battle it's the first step bro listen I, i've i've known it i've known it for a long time and it's fucking difficult sometimes i just get sick of myself mm-hmm so, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the question was. Neither do I. How was the Bubba podcast? I heard the Bubba when you went on Bubba's show. How mm-hmm. many times did you go on Bubba the Love Sponge? Uh, twice. I was excited just to go on yeah. because I grew no, he's, up he's with Big Shot. I grew yeah, up yeah. with. I grew up. You know, on he Bubba was the Howard Stern of the South. Yeah, of the Tampa yeah. Bay area. I yeah. think he yeah. worked with Howard Stern. Yeah, he's a good friend. Yeah, with him. yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought the podcast was uh, fine. I went on it twice, and uh, but you know, it, here's a problem: is too is that it's a much different format, and it's a it's it's a fraternity club kind of guys screaming and holler, and kind of yeah. like this, but 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 amplified. Mm. They really talk over each but other. They were, they you really, were with a couple of lawyers, and then Bubba. Yeah, the, but the lawyers were well, the lawyers were better than Bubba. Um, but it's the same thing. It's a lot of cutting up, and, and that's what people want to. They want to hear, and then when, you, when yeah. you're listening to a radio program, that's kind of what you want to hear. But it's like, okay, but I'm not one of the personalities here. You asked me here to tell my story, and then I start telling the story, and they keep they interrupt and they laugh and they choke, and it's like, right, you can't well, tell I kind the story. Of feel like I'm, I feel like I'm supposed to get through the whole story. That's what you asked me to do, and you keep interrupting, and it keeps stretching. And next thing you know, it's three hours. I haven't told, really Anything. gone through the story, and it's like I feel like I fucked up. Like I thought you wanted me to tell, like I can't stop you from interrupting and talking yeah so it's like what did i fuck up is it me or am i not understanding and the other thing is you go on these podcasts and like you never talk to the guys like the, the guy from valuetainment i figured okay well i'm because like even with you when i got here well the first time we were here we i got here i sat down and you said okay well here's how it's kind of going to be and you kind of you explained everything yeah. You know, you said, well, yeah, we'll just talk about this. Just tell your story. How long is your story? What do you want to talk about? What do you think? So what's the best? You kind of had a little, it was only five minutes, but we had a discussion. When I went to Valuetainment, I walked in, the guy sitting there, he's like, hey, Matthew, uh, Matthew Cox, right? Hey, how are you? How are you? Yeah, well, that was a ever. great impression of his voice, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so he sits, I sit down and I'm like, hey, um, he's like, okay, well, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and roll. And I'm like, well, where are we? This is it. We're gonna. He's like, yeah, yeah. I've already read everything on you. I, I know the story. I got you everything. I was like, oh, um, okay. So, and then boom, it just started. Time is money. I, I had no understanding of what was gonna happen. Same thing with uh, with Vlad. I sat down. His picture comes on. We talked for maybe a minute or two about a, about a, a release he asked me to sign. <laughs> and I was like, eh, the way it's worded, this and this, I'm not quite sure. I don't feel comfortable with this. He's like, well, you can write this in, write, fix fix it. However, what do you want to write, say? I said, I just want to say this right here. And he's like, okay, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. So we, we changed a couple of things. So you literally signed a physical release even though he was on Skype. So the camera guy had a release? Yeah, I had a, a release with Vlad, um, you know, for the podcast. Same uh, kind of thing I signed for Valuetainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <clears throat> you know, basically what they, they ask you for, like, everything. Yeah, and so you're you're kind of almost. It's not like you're signing over stuff, but they act like, oh, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. But I've been in the situation where mm-hmm. it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, and you sign, and then later on, it's like, oh, well, you signed here. You signed, yeah, but you said that wasn't what I was signing. You said it was this, mm-hmm. and oh, that's what you signed. You're like, well, fuck. So I always kind of read through it and say, you learn the I, hard way. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good with this. And and they're like, you know, scribble that out. And I'm like, look, if you're only going to put it on your platform, you're not going to sell it for a uh, for a, um, a documentary. You're not going to, no, 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 no. It's just for my platform. It will only be, okay, great. Let's say that. And then I jot it down. So we had a quick discussion. He said, no problem. I jot it down, take a picture. And the next thing you know, he's like, okay, let's go ahead and start. Boom. So really, this has been like probably one of the best well, those- podcasts I've been on. The Even though he's crazy and it's, it's long and it's like, but it's a, it's more casual, and you don't. What's more casual? You this. Oh, 
it, it's a for me. The value guy was good, it was pretty good too. They, they're, they're all good. They're all good. They, they well, don't say they're bad. They just it's those guys have been doing it way longer than I have or than right. we have. Those guys have been doing those like one on one interview type shows for a long time, and they've done a shitload more than I have. That's for sure. But you're not so trying they're to put yourself in the story. You're not trying to. You're not trying to dictate the story. You're like, so what happened? You're just like, so what happened next? Yeah. So what happened? Next? Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. get to tell the story that you want to tell. Well, neither is Vlad. I mean, Vlad, Vlad's not does. even on he, camera. He's just no, but he does. No, he's not. He's asking questions, and he's jumping. So mm. if you have a certain like, for me, I have a chronological story that I basically tell. It's yeah. my story. You say, tell me your story. Do you jump from college? Back to high school, and then to when you worked when you were fifty, and then back to and, and then all the way back to the beginning. Or do you tell your story? If you had to tell your story, would you tell yeah. it chronologically? Yeah, yeah. Say it chronologically. These guys are all. Some of these guys are all over the place, yeah. and sometimes they're asking questions mm -hmm. like, "So, what do you think about mortgage rates right now?" What the fuck? I'm not in the mortgage industry. <laughs> I've been in the mortgage industry for fifteen years. Mm -hmm. How would I know what, what rates are going to do? What do you think the current real estate market's going to do? I don't own anything. I don't own a piece of property. I don't have any, I don't have my, my finger on the pulse of real estate. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it, it's funny that they, they would even think that I would have any idea that, of what's going on. Well, those guys know what they're doing. <laughs> Probably yeah. so more than we do. So doubt it. Next question. <laughs> not, not really questions. <laughs> All right, uh, Flowmaster925, four months ago. Before his plastic surgery, he looked like Theo Vaughn. You did look like Theo Vaughn. What's a Theo Vaughn? Who's Theo Theo Vaughn? Vaughn has a podcast. <laughs> Shane knows who he is. <laughs> you look nothing like this guy. Where? Let me see. Let me see. He has a mullet. He has a mullet, but he has like the same nose you used to have. <laughs> used to have. <laughs> I don't know. If, oh, guys, if he had his hair parted down the middle... Yeah. Did kind of a crazy yeah, the center hair part. Yeah, was funny. Could be, could be. I'll right. take that. I'll, I'll take that. That's a compliment. There's worse things to be compared to. Yeah, yeah. the Obon's a good looking dude. I suppose. Go ahead. Next one. Uh, Dan Bowman, three months ago. You think Becky spent the whole twenty nine k on more coke? <laughs> what is damn? <laughs> Becky looks like she did a mess, a whole mess of coke. I don't. Mess. I don't. Yeah, she never did coke when she was really with me that no. I find that so hard to believe. I mean, she fifth. may have that not with me. I don't know. The twenty nine grand. What's twenty nine grand? I don't know. Where That's do you get twenty nine grand? I don't know where you got it from. I did cash a check uh -huh. one time. I think for twenty nine grand. Maybe that fell in the story somewhere. I, somehow, no, I don't know. Everybody wants Danny to take a, a swig from the Jack Daniels bottle. From the JD bottle? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Straight out the bottle. Did okay. anyone give any money for it? No, but they're dropping a shit ton of sun emojis. Someone can drop five bucks and I'll take a swig. Somebody drop five bucks and Daniel <laughs> will take a swig. Wow. Yeah. 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 What the heck? He's a jukebox. Hey, I'm not a. Uh, he here. don't play for free. <laughs> My name's not Shoe Nice, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Uh, uh, I got one. From go. Ben Lichinovsky. Will Matt ever release merch? A shirt that says, you're assuming I'm Gary Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Man, that's a deep cut. <laughs> that's good. That would be a really I'm good Gary one. <laughs> the next uh, merch line should be Matt Cox merch line. Yeah. We could do a whole merch line. Uh, you're not doing that. Look yeah. at him. He's like, he's thinking, how, how can I make more money yeah. on this guy? How can we, we need a collaboration t-shirt. One, one collaboration run. Concrete and we'll put it off. Listen, a we'll collaboration We'll give you all means, the proceeds. Huh? We'll give you all the we'll proceeds. We'll donate all the proceeds. <laughs> I guarantee yeah. that's not what to he's Gary thinking. Sullivan. Yeah. To Gary Sullivan. <laughs> to Gary Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we figure out a Sosh. To Gary. Oh, man. That's fucking great. Yeah, that would be... Oh, here's okay. another one. You know what? You was know, Becky a freak? <laughs> <laughs> Who is Becky? Which one was Becky? Becky's Becky was the, the girl in the first story. The Bonnie and Clyde. James McKay. She's the Bonnie, the oh, Bonnie okay. and Clyde. That went on a run. Yeah, she was okay. the one interviewed Short by blonde hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. People would buy it. Typical what Becky would look like. Yeah. Short blonde hair. <sighs> Looks like she did a lot of coke. Oh, my God. People are into the merch. I, I probably could do I should do and, and I've had multiple people say, you got to do a merch account. You got to do a merch. You know. We can do it. Yeah, no, I listen, I'm this it's too much. Listen, this guy. Really? I mean, honestly. I you seem surprised. I yeah, I, About I, don't, what? I I don't know. I don't know. 
I, <laughs> All right. I, I guess I, I guess I'm, I'm naive. Man. <laughs> he seemed like the first night we did the one podcast and we went out and, and we went, uh, we went somewhere in eight. He, Danny, when I walked away, he was like the, I, I remember everybody was like, so what was that guy like? You know, the guy who said that? Just people were, you know, Stacy or people that had watched. They're yeah, like, yeah. so what was Danny like? So what was he like? Was I was like, you know, he's really just a nice guy. Like he started yeah. concrete. Like I kind of thought he was kind of jerky, kind of like a, a jerk. I said, but he's not. He's really a nice guy, and he he started this whole thing just because he wanted to give people a a a, 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 f- a platform to tell their stories. And it, you know, it's like it's not even his full time gig. He just does it because he likes it. He really enjoys it. And this and this, and this. You know, and then. You know, he ever since then, I slowly my first impression was, you know, was like, <laughs> he really built yeah, him yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, then, yeah, it, yeah. then it's like, you it's know, it's all downhill like, from there. Wait a minute. We had somebody donate some money for you to take a shot. How much money? Uh, 50 and okay. <laughs> what the hell is an NOK? It's okay for you to take a Norwegian, shot out of the Norwegian Jack Daniels money. bottle. That's and what, it's that okay. And it's okay. You can do it now. <laughs> since you skipped the crab juice, uh, hundreds. Mm. I won't touch my lips to it because I know we're all drinking out of it. <laughs> all right, Matt. <laughs> uh, Brandy Dot Kitchen. Hey, I want to know what his opinions is on the current real estate market in Florida. We just had this conversation. I know that's what I'm saying. All this shit is the same shit. That's I, I, Next, move on. No idea. I read them all. No, I got did. one. From all you. right. Pablo0832. What's the best restaurant you've been to on the run? Best meal. Was there a cheap food, <laughs> snack, fast food that you've always went back to even when your pockets were at the fullest? <laughs> What's your favorite restaurant? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> they want to know. The people have spoken. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. No idea. Uh, no, I mean, I, I there was a place we used to eat at in um, Charlotte, North Carolina. We uh, Becky and I had a, a had a, an apartment in Charlotte, North Carolina. We owed a, uh, used to eat at a place called the Brick. It was it was great, but it wasn't like a high end restaurant. Shout I'm not out a to food, the Brick. I'm not a food guy. I'm not like it's not like I'm ordering yeah. hundred and fifty dollars. Well, they think you're fine arts. Going to Waffle Definitely. House. Yeah, bro. I yeah. like. I love Waffle House. I love a good greasy spoon. Yeah. yeah. What's your order I could at Waffle eat, House? I could eat scrambled eggs and bacon for every fucking meal. Damn right. And a fountain oh. soda, a fountain Coke, Ooh, not delicious. Pepsi. A fountain Coke. Got to be Coke. It's got to be. I. I mean, I can't. Come on. It's got to be. Coke. You got Coke? No, we got Pepsi. Like, so you don't got Coke. <sighs> yeah. Uh, um, Pepsi's there's there's a huge difference. I think. Big difference. Yeah. That's why it's two different brands. It's got to be from the fountain. It's got to no, but it's got to be from the fountain drink too. So you like the fountain better than the can? Of course. You, there's no comparison. But what if like the the ratio is off at a restaurant? Will yeah, that like turn the you water off? To yeah, the sometimes. Syrup. Yeah, and and I and the fact that like I'll notice that bothers me because I'm like, <laughs> are you gonna say <laughs> sometimes something? Sometimes they really are you fuck that it up at Taco Bell. Prick? Are you the prick that goes, hey, you know? You know your syrup little, ratio is a little off. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I get some know, more? The guy <laughs> in the back like. This fucking this asshole. Yeah. So who do you think has like a perfect That's ratio well said from consistently? So did I. Yeah. I have no I, 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 I didn't no lose idea. them, but I, I, don't, I just got out of prison. I barely, bit, you know, listen, the few t- I've only eaten out a few times, and that's when when I get <laughs> Danny to to cough up the money. When he peels off a <laughs> yeah. couple of dollar bills for yeah. you. Do you want to talk about start talking about that now? You want to open up that can of worms? <laughs> 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 He's the one who said it. <clears throat> I'm just having a conversation. Yeah. Want more of these? Yeah. You, rip, rip one off, right. Amato. Here we go. Brian underscore Zamowski. Can you please ask Matt if he thinks the fraud was worth doing? He had to do prison time and has to pay it back. What does he think now, looking back? Oh, so same old fucking same, question, same question, man. It's the same question. It's fucking it's basically no, the same question, just different not, form. Not, absolutely not worth it. Yeah. Wasn't no. worth it. All right, no. here's this one. <laughs> NFC Not worth it. GXXI book. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My girlfriend doesn't want to stay with her mom Because her mom isn't a good influence Nor a good mother She's 17 and I'm 17 She lives with me now The mom says she's going to report her A runaway And have me arrested for hoarding a runaway No human deserves to be taken As a joke Especially a young lady how can the mother track us down if she decides to and her phone location is off? What? How can they get I, tracked down if her phone's, phone's off? 
I, I understand the question. They're going to report her a runaway. They're on the run. So, fast story. They're on the run. They're on the run. How can they be? How can they lives with him? How can they? How can they be tracked? How many months ago was that? Sounds to me like they only have to hold. They didn't say that. It seems urgent. This was uh twelve minutes ago. It wasn't twelve minutes ago because I I remember (laughs) that was one of the things I read earlier today. Yeah, it was on the Instagram. It says twelve minutes right here. Yeah, that's why I took the screenshot. Uh, I, how, what, I, what, how like how they how, be tracked? I can't. If I can't imagine, they're not going to track. I don't know. They're not gonna you know, you know, all, you know all a lot about the FBI tracking phones. They're on the run and they're really waiting right the now. What I know, should they do? Should they well, throw their all, phones out of the window? No, you don't. Go? What are you talking about? You're, they're probably you, watching right you know now. What a, they're trying to figure this. And you reading this question isn't going to help them. You're telling me drawing more attention to it. They're not. They're not going they asked to the question. track you down through your phone for a fucking runaway. They're going to fill out a She's piece. She's 17. doesn't matter. FBI's not getting involved. He's they're not fucking. They're not popping you off cellular towers. They're not doing anything like that. They're going to f- fill out a police report, and if she gets qu- caught by the police doing something, they'll run her name, and they'll say, hey, you're a runaway. If all you right. have no contact with the police, no, then the, you don't have to worry about it. You you'll just be hang all right, out. bud. Just chill you'll out. You'll be fine. Chill the hell out. This, this isn't a question, but it's a great comment. <laughs> Listening to this guy read is like watching a drunk w- guy walk on ice. <laughs> <laughs> that guy should have donated fun. some money. Uh, for shout that. out. Yeah. <laughs> William Sokol, could you donate some money so we can uh, send Shane to the burn more, ward? More beer. 200 pound hat rack. 200 pound hat rack. <laughs> Matt, I have a legitimate question. So since you've gotten out of prison... Uh, what have you been doing, and what would you suggest to somebody else who is trying to take their credit score from really shitty to really good? So how do you how do you go about how do you someone like you go about building their credit score and creating a fucking eight hundo credit score? I mean, what's the, the fastest way? To what's build the fastest your way to build your credit score? It depends. If you have no credit, yeah. What well, was you your credit? What was your credit, credit like when you got out of prison? I had nothing. Zero. I got three secured credit cards, <laughs> uh-huh. and I made the minimum. I made the. I really didn't put anything on them. Like I got secured credit cards. I put up like three hundred bucks and four hundred dollars and two hundred dollars on three different ones. I kept the balances low. After six months of making payments, bam! I had like seven. I think I had like a seven thirty or seven thirty. Yeah, because I, it would have been <laughs> higher, but you know, it will become higher if you keep them below thirty percent. So you. You use 30% of your balance. Keep it below 30% of the balance, uh, of the available balance, right? Keep it below 30%, and then you just have to make those payments and maintain it. And the longer you have that credit, the more history you have, the higher your credit score will go up. Mm -hmm. 30%. Keep it at 30%. Below 30%. What's your credit score right now? Man, right now, I think it's still like seven something. Like I... I had a, uh, oh, right. I, I, listen, my car. What do you like, mean still like seven something? Well, cause it was up. It went up. It was like 740, 750. And then it went down like 710 or 750. Was it ever eight something? No. Now? Ever. Since before no, or after prison? I don't prison? think so. I don't think it, it was never, uh, it was always in the mid sevens because I was constantly having these mortgages come and go and mm. I'd buy a car and then six months, I'd, I'd bu- I drive it for eight months and trade it in and get another car. So you, you're never really having that that longevity, 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 yeah. that longevity. You know that history on. So on the best way is to open up credit cards and just keep making the payments, keep below thirty percent. Pay- right, 30%. And, right. And then your first of all, you don't need an eight hundred credit score. Okay, the the minimums are like six fifty. Like the minimum scores are like <clears> six fifty. <throat> you want to get a better credit rating? Yeah. Okay in the mid 700s, but very few people have 800 credit scores. It just doesn't make a, a massive amount of difference in your credit score. I mean, in your, in your interest rate that you're borrowing, if you have an 800 or a 750. You're underwriting a loan. What's best case scenario for the person applying for that loan? The, what, the, the magic, what they're looking for, they're looking for someone that has two or three credit cards, major credit cards. American Express? Yeah. Discover. Visa, American Express, Discover, right. Uh, um, <clears throat> um, so... So three credit cards, a mortgage, and a car loan. That's like the perfect mix. It's like five. They have like five trade lines, and that's it. So if you have eight credit cards, two car loans, two, you know, now they're like something's going on. Oh this guy's getting God. loaded up with. I'm sorry. Debt. I'm sorry. I have to interrupt this. We have to put this on here. The BB. 
You have a prepaid call. <laughs> you will not be charged for this call. Is this your buddy? This call is from yeah. Brian English. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. An inmate at a federal prison. This call is being recorded and is subject to monitoring. Hang up to this decline is your buddy? the call or yeah. to accept. Dial 5 now. If you wish to block any future That's calls fun. of this nature... Hello? Donnie boy. Hey, you're live on YouTube right now. Donny boy. You're live. Donny boy, you're yeah. live with Matt Cox on YouTube. Matt Cox, how are you, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> tell tell Matt Cox where you are right now. I'm at uh, Coleman. Nice. B3? Coleman Resort. B are you in B3? Coleman Resort. Are you in, in B3 with the, with the Emperor? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> So he's working on another, working on another country. We're, we, got, <laughs> we got a podcast coming up with the emperor of the universe, Frank Amadeo. So tell me, what's it like in there right now? Yeah, we're going to pick you up. We're going to make a documentary about him. So, so <laughs> tell me, what is it like right now inside Col Coleman Federal Prison during uh, this pandemic plague that we're dealing with? You're on lockdown. There's no going out. No going out. Lockdown. Here we, go to, we just let out just to go to the walk to get our food and our styrofoam to come back. Hopefully something might change on Monday or Tuesday and maybe go to the yard for an hour. But each each Ask him what the, the worst part is. What? Hold it closer to the mic. What's the worst thing about being in there during this pandemic? What's the worst thing you've seen? No fresh air. No fresh air. No, nothing crazy in here. A couple of people were dragged out, and when they, when they came back, they didn't have corona. Is it loud? Speaking about corona, I like a line with mine. <laughs> <laughs> The purple in the background. Yeah, that's your buddy. <laughs> Two of your buddies are here. Let me. I think I'm gonna need an orange apple Woo! with a couple purples, and you know which one? The oval. Orange yeah. Apple. Oh yeah. Are you bringing a camera crew? Because you're gonna need one. I'm my I, I want to be able to drive a little bit on the way home. So do you have a driver? I'll license? let you drive. <laughs> yeah, I'll drive and talk. Has anybody has anybody in Coleman that's in there locked up with you been tested positive for coronavirus? Not anybody in my unit, but next door, so they locked us both down. A couple people have gone out, they've come back, but uh, uh, this is going to cause me. <laughs> if you don't hear from me tomorrow, you know what happened. <laughs> I don't want to leave from the box, right? Come on, tell me, tell me. Well, what's ha what's going on with the shoe? Why is the shoe nobody full? In, nobody out. It's full because there's people who come. They don't. No, they're not letting them out. There's, we have open. We have open beds all over our. I have five open beds in the in the bowl where I'm at. Oh, he's in the but fish bowl. They're not bowl. letting anybody in. You're in the fish bowl. Yep, I'm in the fish bowl. Five, five out of ten. Damn. Oh, everybody got lower bunks. And what's going on with your roommate, John? Uh, John. <laughs> Is, 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 he doing yo is he doing yoga? But no, there's one still not here. I mean, he's went, fell out of the damn bunk. <laughs> hey, one fell out. This call is from a federal yeah. prison. John LeBron? Oh, shit. Am I, is that where I'm at? What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thought it was a damn... I thought it was a resort. <laughs> he thought it was in sandals. <laughs> it's not Ricky T's. <laughs> hey, you're far... Hey, you're nowhere near Ricky T's. Hey, you're nowhere near Ricky T's. Ask him if LeBron is doing yoga. In is there. LeBron doing a lot of yoga in there with you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what he meant my roommate. No, he moved out. That's why he threw me off. I remember. They moved him. Oh, they moved As him. As a matter of fact, he's right, listen to me, he's right next to me on the telly. No. <laughs> it's funny. I'm starting to do yoga with him. My shoulders are so messed up. Yeah, he's right next to me. It's so funny. Wow. Yeah, tell, tell him uh, we heard this story about him. And, hey, look, I can see the emperor right from where I was standing. <laughs> he's like, the emperor might need to come out and do a little yoga with us. 
<laughs> What's he doing right now? Has, has he read uh, it's it's Has cafe. he read the story? Hey, have you read Have you read the Matthew Cox story called It's Insanity about John J J L says hi, Matt. Nice. He just smiled, walked away, and says, uh, <laughs> hey, well. Can, can you go? Call, can, can you can you wave down the emperor real quick and get him over there? He, he's not uh, gonna get him. Off. I can't. I can't. Okay. I can't because, because if he gets on the phone, he'll get in trouble. Okay. Situation. You can't I'm just summon the emperor doing, like that. That's just what we're doing right now. You can't summon the emperor on impulse like that. <laughs> no, no. He will be calling you. I'm gonna tell. I'm, he is gonna shiz it when I tell him that who is all in the line. <laughs> over here, studio, I mean, so what are the are the security guards, the prison guards treating you any differently? Like what's going on there? Give me uh, a paint a picture for me. You wear, me. You wear a mask. Everybody wears a mask. You're supposed to wear your mask when we leave the dorm. You're supposed to wear your mask in here. You're supposed to be social distancing six feet apart. But I don't know how that's happening. You've been, you'll see what I'm talking about when you see me. Uh, there's some illustrations. Um, and what you must send to your house. So you'll be ready, you're prepped and ready. We're gonna have a. You're definitely gonna need somebody else holding the, the cam and to show stuff. And we'll bring. We'll bring a whole crew. Bring, I'll bring your buddy. There, yeah. The tall, thin one. We need some people to donate we'll some money in the comments to the. Uh, yeah. yeah. To the commissary the here. The guy with a bushel of apples. Woo! <laughs> Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> Remember Johnny, Johnny Appleseed. Hey, everybody, drop some money for our boys in commissary. Hey, you're talking to you're talking to a couple hundred people right now on the internet right now. If you want, if there was one thing you wanted to communicate to the outside world, if there was one thing you wanted to communicate to the outside world right now about what you're dealing with, what would you want to let them know? No, so no social media, and if it gets in here, we're done. If it gets in here, I can touch three people right now from where I'm standing. And then when then then I show you the rest, it's like you know, if it gets in here, there's gonna be there's gonna be people dropping like flies. You know they're trying wow. to keep it out. The only guess what the only way it's gonna get in here is from staff. You know we don't go out there. We don't even leave the dorm. We don't even leave our unit. So how can we bring it? No, no visitation. You know you can't get it over the phone, can you? Oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> but listen, they're gonna cut. I'm gonna be cutting in a minute. And I'll call you tomorrow. Listen, I'll call you tomorrow. Stay safe out there in the real world, okay? And Johnny Boy's coming home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kid. Talk to him for a little bit. Let me have a little care package for Double B. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> see ya. Hey, see ya. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Be ya. Sweet Louise and make Ruth tell the truth. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Is he, uh, is he How going to a halfway house? the same person? <laughs> oh, that's classic. <laughs> yeah. Is he Not going to a halfway house? Is he going to a halfway house? Huh? Is he going to a halfway house? I don't know. Who knows? Oh, okay. I have, I have no, no idea. idea. That was fucking crazy. That, that just I happened. I just recently <laughs> found out he was in prison. This uh, He's new. <laughs> How long not did he the, go? Not the first time, but he's this is huh? just a new How run. How long did he go? Previously? Think, he's been in there for over 10 years. Previously, so, for a cocaine charge. he's been out. So but this is a new charge. This was in the nineties. He missed the nineties. He was in prison in the like for throughout the entire nineties, and then he just recently went back for some other charge. So he's only in there for I think a year and a half or two years right now. Oh, okay. Huh. Hmm. But what yeah. are the chances? He's he right where you were. Live. I mean, that's crazy. What, you know, I was thinking we about the corona set that thing. Up. They're going like, to literally set that up. The phones are like this. So you're you're sitting there talking on the phone. The other guy's right here. Arm I mean, there's the, you know, it's a phone booth this wide. Yeah. yeah. And there's stacks bes beside. So you've got this much room with a phone. So the other guy's right next to you and his yeah. phone. So you're all basically shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. Talking. I mean, that's how it is in the, in the, the, the cells are about double the size as this right here. No, not even double the size of this. About to here. So they're, they're like six foot by maybe 10 feet, maybe 11 feet with the bunk beds in there. Mm -hmm. So when you're counting, I mean, you're literally, you guys are standing in there. You're a foot away from, you're always a foot or two foot yeah. away from everybody all the time. So if it gets in there, they're pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, you, you, I used to always say that, that every time, if one guy started coughing, yeah, within Everybody's three days, sick. you could lay in bed and just hear everybody Everybody's all night. <laughs> <laughs> just it's constantly. Because you get sick immediately. So you just start to wash your hands all the time. I'd have to. You have to sleep with a towel wrapped around your head because people are screaming all the time and yelling. Inkjet. It's ridiculous. Printed these on inkjet. Yeah. What do you want? A laser printer? No. These are like on a letter these press? are like really nice, like pictures. <laughs> Those are the uh, not like regular paper. <laughs> no. 
Those are made for printing on are t-shirts. We, what, yeah, what, why did you use that? <laughs> are we? What are we doing? Yeah, are there, are there any more questions? Or are we about to wrap this up? This is <clears throat> two and a half hours. I got a question yeah, from I got a couple more. Spinrod Johansson. <laughs> Spinrod. Can they repo your plastic surgery and make your hair go back to the old days? That's that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Somebody, hey, somebody wrote a question. <laughs> Come Someone, on, I can do him like that. <laughs> That's fucked up. Someone wrote a That's question <laughs> asking about um, would I do any more plastic surgery and what would I do? Did you see that question? Yeah, we asked you that in the last podcast. And you said you'd get hair grafts done again. I'd get, not get more. I'd just get more. Yeah. My hair's see-through. It's too thin. But that's front. crazy how they fucking slice they the back of your head. And mm. and it looks pretty it good grows. sitting right next to you. Well, I mean, I appreciate like it. Still, it needs to be thicker. And you miracle have, like, grow. no gray hair at all. You have, like, zero gray Are you gray kidding hair. me? I have tons of gray hair. Yeah, you have a few in the corners, I guess. But yeah, not I mean, much. I Considering you're what? How old are you, 50? I'm 50. 50? L- looking straight. 50 years old, ladies I mean, and gentlemen. So, 50 and I would get, I think I'd get liposuction again. Really? Yeah, where would you get lipo? Like, yeah, where like, the fuck would you just get? In, you know, I just, like, a little tighten up, and I like to get, the, like, I get, I like to get my jaw lined up a little bit. A little... <laughs> Little, little from behind the ears, get the you know, I tighten mean, up take a little job. wet vac under. <laughs> yeah, under a little, the chin. little, yeah, a little. They they take a a, a, a thing, <laughs> they take a thing and they they like a straw and they <laughs> and they suck Ugh, it out. Yeah, like a, like, a, like, the dentist, like cheese. The dentist thing that they put in your mouth. Yeah, like cheese. You know, they stick, uh, stick a thing of cheese in, it sucks it out, and you push the cheese down, and it just you know. Do you get to yeah. keep the cheese when they suck it out? I I didn't I didn't inquire about the cheese, but you saw. Um, you saw a uh, fight club where they were taking the body fat yeah. and they were making soap out of it. Mm. It'd be also, nice to have a bar of soap mm-hmm. made of like me. You could call it like me. Be like that's that there's something for plastic surgeons they can There's some merch. Yeah. yeah. Matt Cox. Oh, fat, yeah. The fat bag. <laughs> fat soap. Matt fat Cox fat bag. Fat soap. Or soap. Fat soap. Fat bag. <laughs> would anybody fat would soap. would anybody fat listening soap. buy a bag of Matt a bag? Cox. Matt, well, I thought we were going to make it into soap. A fat now bag, it's a bag Matt of Cox. fat. Would I was you thinking s- a basketball when he's drinking a bag of fat when he's trying to psych somebody out, but <laughs> the, that, the soap makes much more sense for shipping. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you can't ship a bag of fat. You, but no, you can too hard. ship some bars Soap's of soap. Soap's cool. Yeah. If you want some soap? Leave a comment. <laughs> oh, my God. Have we run our course? I mean, it's it's... Oh, you know, I can keep talking. Yeah, I'll I'll talk for Eric. What do you want to talk about? I tell you what, you know, tell you I, what, I, I buy a book. That's now that we have some downtime. Like I have books on Amazon. You can buy a book. It's cheap. It's a pretty good book. It's pretty good. It's a fucking great book, bro. Hell yeah, it's a great book. Buy the you book. wouldn't know. You don't read. Don't but read, dumbass. It's it's, uh, it's it's <laughs> definitely definitely buy a book. We got and got to join the channel Inside True Crime. I got mm-hmm. a whole bunch of my stories on. Um, their podcast, right? Mm-hmm. Which is it's a podcast, mm-hmm. right? They're, they're yeah, narrated. Yeah. And audio books, um, whatever. Yeah, working on some stuff. I got, I got, uh, got stuff going. Matt, what was, what was the most favorite part of the whole, the whole deal, the whole shebang, the whole crime spree? <laughs> what was like the, the one time you're like kicking back, you're like, this is it. This is the Omega Peak level right here. This Have you never? You're, be hard you to remember? Top I this. didn't. I sell this when you were on. You were uh, like overseas, right? On yeah. A, on a yacht. Okay. You remember? Yeah. I was, yeah. I not remember a yacht, briefly. A yacht, a briefly. Yacht, a yacht. It was on a cruise ship. Oh, it wasn't okay. a yacht. Wow. It was a cruise ship, and we were. In and what I remember, country? Yeah. It was. It was a cruise ship, and I remember. In Greece. Yeah, we were going through the um, Mediterranean Sea. Okay. Ooh. And we had been to Greece. We went to Greece. We went to Italy, and we went to Croatia. And we were going through the Mediterranean, mm-hmm. and we were laying out on the top deck. And I remember the waiters bringing us, you know, drinks. I remember, I looked over at the girl I was dating. She was like 25, 26 years old, and just. And you were what, like thirty five? Smoking. Oh, I'm thirty seven. There's just there's like a month or so, <laughs> smoking hot. Smoking and I remember eyes. she looked over at me, Tears and I remember out. she lipped. She, <laughs> she said, she said, I love you, and I looked at her, and I remember thinking, fuck, no matter what happens, I love this you. moment is worth it. Yeah. I mean, I got a ton of money in the bank. I'm got a twenty six year old chick. I mean, everything's. I'm, I'm a Mediterranean. Mediterranean Sea. I'm yeah. on this fucking cruise. This is it. This this is this peak is, is amazing. Peak no matter Cox. what, this moment's worth it. This is it. And yeah. I was absolutely wrong about that. 
You felt like Damn. Jordan Belfort. I, I felt great at that moment, but listen, when the after then when the judge sentenced me, I was like, "Fuck that, not, not worth it. it." Not sure what I was thinking in that moment. Wasn't thinking rationally. Yeah, because uh, she's not calling you. No, no, I never heard. I, I got, Where's I, she I, at? I got a letter. I got a letter. Oh yeah. Did she? Uh, did she? You, did you give her a credit card? Did she have her own credit card? Uh, bro, she, I had paid for everything for yeah, her. Yeah, you paid for everything. Yeah. I mean, I I, I had bought her a car. I uh, actually I bought her a couple cars. Um. Yeah, paid off all of her bills when we met. Paid off everything. Her whatever bills she's running up, or I'm yeah. just paying, and I put money in her. I mean, you know, you know, it's a look. Uh, it's all stolen money anyway, right? So, you know, it's it spins like it's ridiculous. Didn't you funny. say uh, Jordan Belfort wanted you on his podcast? No, nope. the Wolf of Wall Street. I sent um, the guy from Valuetainment. <laughs> they gave me his information and said I to contact him and say that. I should be on his podcast. So oh, okay. I traded a couple emails with his assistant mm. and the whole Corona thing happened. Mm. Just like the thing with um, Blumhouse, the production company. Yeah. I was supposed to fly out to Los Angeles on the 21st of last month because they want to talk to me about doing a series. And we were supposed to fly out there and meet with them for like two or three hours and meet everybody and sit down and talk about the series. And then the Corona thing happened, and so they didn't fly anybody out. They're not, not flying anybody out. Right, right. And so then we've we've swapped some emails, and I've talked to Danny uh, Rothbart is the guy who's uh, with me on the project. Okay. And so I've talked to him the last couple of days, and supposedly they want to put together some kind of Skype in the next next week, and then hopefully in a month when everything kind of opens back up, whatever, I'm supposed to fly in and talk to him. Mm. So we'll see what happens. With that, Blumhouse is huge. They did yeah. like Paranormal Activity. What else did they do? What other movies did what, they do? Uh, Get Out. They Get did, Out. Yeah, they, did they Get just Out. did The Invisible Man. Mm -hmm. You you know, um, Handmaid's Tale. They do that. Mm. They they've got a bunch of. They got like four series, I think, on Hulu and mm -hmm. and uh, and so we've had multiple discussions about wanting to do a series where I'm in prison. I like the fact that they do a lot of like smaller independent type movies. Handmaid's Tale. Is sick. Do they? Yeah. Handmaid's Tale is great, right? And that great. <laughs> oh, oh, it is. So good, though. It is. It, it's, I've it's, never seen that. It's so creepy. Yeah. Uh, oh, you got you to gotta watch that. You can't. You watch like one or two episodes. That's it. It's over. You're just binging on it for the next week straight. Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's that's why Tale. I try not to watch any of those programs. Yeah, they get you hooked, huh? Yeah. It, they they're made it. for it is. you it's to heroin. watch them all at once. Really? It's heroin. You can't just watch one. How long are the episodes? Like an hour. 45 okay. minutes. Yeah. It's good. I've been watching the uh, the Michael Jordan documentary. It's all I've been watching lately. You love documentaries. Good. It's pretty good. It's a series, documentary series, 10 parts. You haven't seen any of it? Mm -mm. Oh. That's good. I try not to watch TV. No. It's I not try, really I, like, TV. I got sucked into Ozarks like the other day. Oh, I watched that, too. Oh, would love and Ozark. then, yes, next two weeks, just every night, two hours. <laughs> Y'all watch Waco? No. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, I watched, watched that. It. That was fucking sick. I didn't mm -hmm. watch that. I just watched that. Waco. Waco about that, uh, Is it that, Tex Waco, that Texas? church yeah. cult in no. uh, yeah. Texas. But they flip and, it, uh, and they tell the story from inside the church rather from, like, the, the FBI, point of view. ATF point of view that you hear in the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, about the guy who met, who runs the cult. Yeah, David Koresh. Yes. Yeah. It was good. He was crazy. Yeah, he uh, was out there. They really focus on his guitar playing in it, which I really appreciated. <laughs> really? <laughs> guitar yeah, a lot. The guitar is yeah. everywhere. He did throw up some acoustic shreds. Yeah. Uh, there was a scene where he was getting married, and while his brides <laughs> were walking towards him, he was playing Here Comes the Bride on, like, a sick flying V. <laughs> Hell yeah. Matt. Right. One of the best wedding scenes. Did you seen. watch The Tiger King? I watched one. I think I watched two episodes. I've been saying I watched one episode, but actually the more I think about it, I think I watched two episodes. Yeah. I just couldn't do it. No, and come Everybody's on. telling me, you gotta watch it. It's amazing. Well, I mean, I watched two episodes and it's just, <coughs> I mean, and I'm not, I'm not it saying. It just continues to get crazier. It's yeah. just straight white trash, It's just bro. straight yeah, it trash. It's, it's it, super it is. Trash. It's just insanity. The guy I'm so broke trash. as shit. That's, that's <laughs> why we love it. But I don't, I mean, I grew up in Florida, you know, down right. the street from a trailer park. So, I mean, it was, you know, we were mm -hmm. middle class, but there was a trailer park. So, I mean, I, I've been close enough to all the insanity <laughs> of just, you know, drunks and people running around with bare feet and, yeah. and they got fucking snakes. Wrestling and tigers just, yeah, and all that crazy shit. Bullshit. It's like, yeah, that's whatever. Seen it. Yeah. What'd you Not think of Ozarks? I love I loved Ozarks. Ozarks is good. It's great. It's great. Yeah. And I get all these people that keep telling me that, like I got friends that will call me. I've had five friends that have called me like, 
you know, have you seen Ozarks? And I'm Somebody like, just yeah. dropped a yeah. hundred bucks. No, what? come on. Nice. Joe LaRocca. Oh, oh, oh. Who the fuck? <laughs> but you got to drink up some crab juice. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's what oh, I'm talking shit. about. I swear. <laughs> wow. Pray he wants to see it. On yeah, God, kid. Give Matt some of this to put towards his restitution or at least buy him a few. There meals. you go. Ooh, a few Matt. what? Danny, you got to drink up some meals. of that crab. Mm. You, you left out the last sentence. That says, Danny, you got to yeah, drink I up some of that crab. Last sentence. <laughs> <laughs> some selective reading. Drink the crab. Drink the crab. Drink the crab. Drink the crab. Oh, he's drinking the crab. Oh, that crab juice. This is the only kind of stuff that you're going to see on concrete. You double back because that's good juice. Oh, don't Actually, waste oh that juice, God. boy. <laughs> that juice is good. <laughs> oh, it's not sick. terrible. <laughs> It's like butter and gravy. This is the best night of my life. Garlic and Old Bay is all that <laughs> is in it's butter. It's garlic, Old Bay, and Jack Daniels. And, butter, and, <laughs> and Jack Daniels. Jack Fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's going to feel that one later. It's, it's like gonna, Viagra. It's going to go in one and come out the up. other. <laughs> True. I might light a fire up under you. Oh, this, this is a repeating question, but people keep paying to see it. They want to know about the best fraud story. I know you've already told it tonight, but just give a quick little rundown of it. What's the What's best, the best modern day fraud? There's any kind of fraud. What kind of fraud would you commit now? Or like a fraud that you've looked <laughs> at were, and been like, I could do that better. <laughs> oh, I'm saving that. <laughs> That's where um, the True co- Crime Podcast. Subscribe you and you'll funny. be hearing it. He's saving yeah. that. Yeah, he's saving that. That's one, That one's going behind the paywall of Inside <laughs> yeah. True Crime. That's for the next episode. That's, for the, that's for the only fans. fans. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> You Matt know. Cox OnlyFans. Who thinks Matt Cox should have his only fan, an OnlyFans? Yeah, <laughs> drop an eggplant emoji if you think Matt Cox should <laughs> start an OnlyFans. You know, I mean, Luke, you know how many guys in prison we ever talk to? Because, like, the fraud guys always find each other. Mm-hmm. And I've talked to fraud guys, and, like, they'll come, and, and I'm, I'm like, well, what'd you do? And they're like, oh, I did this and this and this. And, and you're like, okay, okay. Well, why did you do that? And then you, know, you start talking. I'm like, well, why didn't you do this? Did you ever think about why this? And they're like, like that? right. And then they're like, I didn't even think about that. And they're mm-hmm. like, man, you know. So then they start thinking of new oh, ways listen, to do it. We would spend, and I don't mean spending, I don't mean spend an hour or two. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about Days. two or three hours a day yeah. for months. Yeah. And you perfect. Oh, just, I mean, to the point where you're like, how do you get around that? How do you, the big thing is how do you get notified that the FBI or whoever, Secret Service right. FBI. That they picked up on you. That they've, they've picked up on the fraud. Mm-hmm. How do you get T- you know, how, how do you, do you get, get that tip? How do you get tipped off? Yeah. And so, I mean, we got to the point where we're like, here's what you do. And you start, because here's what they're going to, here's how they're going to start the investigation. Uh-huh. So they're going to do this. The first thing they're going to do is they're going to go here. Well, if you're that person, they'll contact you and say, <laughs> look, it's FBI, or, or they'll walk in. or the, I mean, we've literally laid out there. And I'm, I'm, there's got to be like four different ones where we had just, you're so bored. <laughs> right. <laughs> so and, you, and you've you got, picture perfect. And you know how many times you would meet it. somebody that, I would meet somebody who's had that. Well, how'd you get your money? Oh, I would transfer it to bitcoins. I would do this. I would buy gold. I would do this. And you, so now it's like, okay, well now I have another tool that I didn't have before. And then you would say, well, do you ever think about doing that? Next thing you know, man, it's, it's, so there are, there are some scams that you're just like, a lot of these guys would do scams in their own names or they would, it would just, what are those? Those are eggplants. Eggplants. Oh my god! I mean, they want an OnlyFans. That's people who want you to do an OnlyFans. Oh, there's a ton of eggplants. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the demand is there. So the market is there. It's all about supply and demand. You so. got to strike while the eggplant is hot, my man. <laughs> How much for a Matt Cox painting? How much for? You know, it's funny because I I sold one recently. This guy this guy gave me uh, he sent me three hundred fifty dollars and yeah. said, "Look, I'm going to send you three hundred fifty dollars. Will you do a pay- what can I get for three fifty? Is what he yeah. said. I was like, well, look, I can't do a five-foot painting for that. I can do a little yeah. painting, and I sent him a little thing. I can do this. And he's like, great, do it, and uh, you know, and you know, send it to me. So I'm actually painting it right now. I sent you a picture. I yeah, think I saw great. a picture. It was beautiful. Right. Um, the Joker. No, no, that, that's a finished one. This one's uh, not done yet. Oh, I just started okay. painting it, and it was a Joker. I said, okay. I can do it. I'll paint a Joker for you and put a little thing. And he, he actually yeah. told me, this is, this is the quote I want you to paint in it. So. I'm going to paint it and done and, and be done with it. And What was the quote? Oh, his quote was, he actually gave me a really long quote. I'm like, look, the painting's not big enough to put all that shit in there. So you've got too to, much text. Yeah, it's too, <laughs> it's too much. Cut so it down. It's going to be, uh, some people just want to, some people, we ended up with, some people just want to watch the world burn. 
And so I'm oh, gonna put that, okay. and it's the yeah, Joker. Yeah, that's perfect for the Joker. Yeah, and it's a it's a painting of the Joker. So how much it could be? Look, if somebody said, "Hey, look," and I've got another guy said, "You know, um, I'll give you 500 bucks for something." <clears throat> I haven't done it yet. Yeah. But I would for 500 bucks, I'll tell you. Look, this is what I'll give you. Yeah. You know, most of the paintings I sell are like 750. Uh, I had a guy the other day do one that was like um, 1400, and I but two. It's gonna cost 200 bucks to send it to yeah. ship it to him. Okay. So, um, usually they're like seven fifty, eight fifty, you know, six fifty. I've had some guys that have been like five hundred bucks. I've had a bunch that were just five five hundred bucks. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, the problem is it it takes time. Yeah, and you know, so it's and the reason I like doing it is that I can do the painting and I can answer comments and I can answer emails. And if Davey needs to talk to me for an hour, I can do that. Or if I need to set up a Skype or talk to somebody, some producer that's like wants to, that's looked at some of my stuff and is saying, Hey, we're thinking about this. You know, can you do this? Absolutely. I can do that in the middle of the day. If you have a job, if I'm working at FedEx, I can't tell my boss, Hey, tomorrow I gotta, I got at one o'clock. I gotta talk to these guys for an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. They're going to be like, no, bro. No, that's you're loading boxes. That's Shane, what you're doing tomorrow. How do you get through work on the construction site? When every Thursday at eleven o'clock in the morning, you have to log on to the Supreme app, on the to the Supreme app, <laughs> I and you said the Priya app, and <laughs> cop the latest drops. How do you tell your boss? How does your boss deal with that? Work at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, but every so eleven o'clock that's lunchtime. Eleven o'clock's lunchtime. Hell yeah! 11 oh, that's, that's lunchtime that's anyway. Perfect. Okay, that's my question. Because every every early. Thursday at eleven, me and Luke were talking about it. Every Thursday at eleven, you're always copping Supreme. <laughs> always got it. So we're wondering, like, what always if you're copping. what if you're like mid pour? It's, it's preset the day before. So you, so everything's ready to rock and roll. So you tell the at boss all times. It's ready. You tell the boss <laughs> the day loaded. before. I don't tell him nothing. You don't need to know. Just presets. Stuff you are on the your boss. Phone nowadays. What do you mean a preset on your phone? You have a bot that automatically cops it for you? Yeah, there could be things like that. Might be fraud. I don't know. Could be fraud. Have another gummy, kid. <laughs> That's more crab. <laughs> <laughs> the crab looks tempting. It is about a tempting crab. <laughs> oh, God. What were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Who sent that? What was that about? I'm sorry. That's what? that's this guy the the guy that wants to produce the other show. He's saying that this is good. This is he doesn't straight. like the background here. Nobody likes the background. It's your mom. It looks like you're in your mom's basement. And first of all, and all the green. Look, it's a horrible color combination. Nobody looks good. Anybody with olive skin looks horrible with the in, with these colors. I look horrible. What kind of colors do what we colors need? What colors? If you had a fine dark... arts degree, what would you say we need back say... here? Matt, what would you have? Fucking Ed Hardy in the background of your I don't podcast? Know who, I don't know who Ed Hardy is. Who's that? Affliction. What, what, did that come out during the year 2006? Yeah, yeah, Matt was oh, locked yeah. up for that whole series. 2019? This is Ed Hardy. <clears throat> oh, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be sick on that one. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. See? Listen, anything would be better than this. Yeah, Matt, we were going for we were going for like an People old like the background. 80s, 70s, 60s, 70s uh who Throw goes the for it? I know what you're like going for. Psychiatrist and you, and you achieved it. It was what you were going for was wrong. Really? Oh. Yes. It was, it was oh. fucked up from the start. You know what I liked before? The the we one were where we fucked before the we even started. started. The big yeah, the big Yeah, the big I didn't flat. like that. Why? It looked more professional. It looked like you were in a studio. Mm. Yeah, it looks like some fake ass news shit. Yeah, it does. It, it was it, whack. It looks like we're. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're. Uh, fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Looks like we're Fox whack News. news. <laughs> <laughs> looks like we're fucking CNN or Bay News Nine or some shit, Matt. We're not trying to be futuristic here. <laughs> Plus, we have God creating man. And I feel like that's what we're doing here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm. But what if it was like two crab claws touching each Ooh. other? Ooh. Yeah. That would be cool. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind it. Matt, so could you get use your degree and make and turn crab. that into two <laughs> crab claws? Could you use your degree and turn that into two crab claws touching? 
Can we get a crab sculpture? <laughs> <sighs> oh, God. Wow. All right, I'm going to just read another question for the shit of it. <laughs> this is Ricardo Villar. Here's the thing, though. I love this guy. He he really didn't go into it trying to rip people off like Ponzi schemers who actually ruin many personal lives. This guy just robbed banks with a pen and a degree in fine arts. <laughs> Oh. Is he a scumbag? Sure. What's the best? <laughs> that's probably the best. That's probably what's, the best one you've read. What's the best kind of scumbag? The kind that ripped off insurance banks. Fuck them. <laughs> there's no. Uh, yeah. There's no question. Yeah, there, but I, 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 I like where his head's at. That was a good one. <laughs> oh man, I'm drunk on crab juice. <laughs> oh god, it's sick. You realize it's it's almost three hours. <laughs> Is that too long for that you, was a good time. No, I'll keep going. But somebody you know, get, we got somebody needs to. Throw Should we some. wrap it up? Let this us is, know in the comments. The the crab juice is talking. At we'll this sit point. here and fuck around, fuck around for another hour. But I mean, if you guys are getting bored, we'll sign off. Yeah, you gotta, gotta you gotta some, come up with some come drink. up with some decent questions so we can actually move forward. Matt Cox, decent. Do you want a fifty milligram? I don't know what that is. I feel I feel like I'll I feel like Sweet, I'll, man. I'll, it's called a terpicana. I feel like I will fail my urine 300 test. 300 milligrams. Definitely fail I, any test. After yeah, yeah I fail. can't. I can't. Clarissa's. is, I'm sorry. Grab me a BL, I, I, will you? an issue. I can't. Yeah, yeah. don't. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Break it. There's some more JD here if you want some JD. Oh. No? Ooh. Yes, no? Maybe uh, so? You know. Did they get too close to my mouth hole? I when I was <laughs> too crabby at this point. <laughs> People want you to keep going. <clears throat> Are you serious? Do they really? Yeah. Keep right. going, boy. I got, an, I got another question on here. Not really a question, but... Max. <laughs> More qu three months, question. <laughs> Max, three months ago. I like when they call me Michael. Oh, well, where's Michael Cox never wanted Michael yeah. Cox. Michael a lot of people did call you Michael Cox. Yeah. People want to know where the money is. Oh, yeah, I've heard that one, too. Where's, yeah, the, where's money, the money, Matt? That one I wish I It's knew. in his hairline. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What's the... Uh, All right, this guy uh, says, Max... I work at a bank, and we don't do that kind of stuff <laughs> unless they have a debit card they can either enter a pin on, the ID is legit and matches records, and they can answer as many questions as I want them to ask. I don't understand what that is. I don't either. That's not even a question. That's what we I'm saying, that man. Kind of Danny printed this shit listening. for me to read on purpose. I think dumb shit. That's why you're reading it. Couldn't even got the good ones. Have you ever been a, vic a victim of fraud? Oh, yeah. I saw that one. I saw that one. Have you ever been a victim I, of fraud? Question. Honestly. Great question. Have have I? You know, I mean, stupid stuff. Like one time, I don't even know if this was fraud. It's like one time, but like, I don't know what it was, like 40 or $80 or something came out of my ATM. And an ATM that I was nowhere near that was like across the state. It wasn't mine. It was just like, a, I think it was a banking error. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been burglarized a few times. I've had some houses broken into. Uh, actual fraud. The only thing close to fraud for me, I think, is that recently I tried to file my taxes through like TurboTax, mm -hmm. and they said someone else has already filed taxes using oh, my social shit. security <laughs> number. That's, Damn, that's somebody what, got oh, your social. You know what they call? They call that the the drop, where they, you file for someone's taxes before they. Oh yeah. Um, and so oh, I shit. I had to mail in my stuff with a letter to the IRS saying, "Hey, I tried, but here's what they're saying: is someone else using my shit?" So I sent that off, but I just sent they it off. They already got days. your Trump check before you even I did, got no, it. No, no. I got my Trump check. Oh, you got a Trump check? Yeah. My man. I went online. Hey. Fucker. I, I didn't online. get a Trump Everybody check. Everybody except Danny got one. I went one. online and Thank applied. You, Trump. <laughs> Everybody it. got a fucking Trump Please. check except filed, me. I haven't filed taxes in fucking 15, over 15, 16 years. How the fuck? So I went online and I applied. I said, hey. Give me my Trump check. I haven't Where's my done money? it, but. I had but I deserve seen this. all the news where they said even if yeah. you haven't applied, they said if you haven't yeah. filed taxes in the last you two years, you can still put your info in. You can go on the IRS and right. apply. I applied and I got it. I got it Hell couple, yeah. like a couple days ago. And I actually actually sent something to my probation officer and said, "Hey, check out am this I, Trump do I have check. to pay? Do I have to pay restitution on this?" And he said, <laughs> Hell he said, no. we're, we're we're exempting all those checks." Because oh, they're nice. exempting restitution during the pandemic. That's they're not, nice. No, they're not. Re Only no, on the Trump no, check. Just they're saying the check isn't, like, if you owe 20% of everything you oh, make, you're saying, you. we're not going to hit your fucking check for that. Oh, nice. nice. So I was like, thank God. What'd you do with it? I paid my I paid my bills. I have to, I, I Nothing owe, fancy? You didn't treat no, yourself? Treat myself. Bro, I'm, I paid my rent. <laughs> You go to Red Lobster or nothing? It paid for gas for me Red to get Lobster. across the bridge. What? So I could do this podcast. 
<laughs> you got the crispy crab. Yeah, I'm just saying with the Trump check, did you? You know, some might have went out and treated yourself something nice. I just listen. I reimbursed my from all the crap that I've had to pay out. It's just twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, gotta pay. I, it listen, I know guys. People are getting like two and three. Like they got like four kids, a wife that doesn't oh, work, yeah. and they're getting like th- three thousand dollars and stuff. Oh yeah, unemployment people yeah. are getting like three grand a month, something like that. Four grand a month. Yeah. Mm, I don't know about I don't that. Know about all that. Is I mean, that too much? Might that's be way like, too much. Isn't it three grand a month? I thought it was three thousand bucks a month. It's like six hundred mm, a week. Uh, that's twenty, a little over twenty four hundred. Yeah, oh, true. Close. Still, lots. Maybe it's good is. fucking money. Hell yeah! I got another question. Five, My goddamn five. taxes. Has Matt ever climaxed during sex to Bon Jovi's "Runaway"? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. That's some that's some hard hitting questions. Damn, I, you dug deep for that. Laugh. <laughs> um, uh, it you wasn't know? from her. No, no, I, uh, no. I have not. I have not. But it's 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 something I'm gonna look into. Cool. <laughs> look forward to. Have you ever owned a gun? If so, what kind? I <laughs> I had a concealed weapons permit, and I had a gun. When I had a concealed weapons permit, but that was eight, like maybe twenty years ago. I was, I think it was like twenty four, twenty five. I what had kind a of gun. I think I had a, I had a, um, a, th- I had a, th- no, I had a, a three fifty seven, uh-huh. and I had a, a nine millimeter. Both Smith were Smith and Wesson. Wesson, both were Smith and Wesson. My girlfriend had a Lady Smith, the girl I was dating at the time. And then I and honestly, I think the I think the concealed weapons permit was good for like two years or four years or something, and then it just expired because when you take that class, you kind of realize I really don't need to be carrying a gun because if I if I'm going somewhere where I think I should carry a gun, You're then I shouldn't be going spot. there, right? Yeah. Well, then don't go there. Somebody just donated one hundred twenty dollars. Really? Damn. God. Wow. Man, Damn. Come to Vegas and blow money with me. Danny better split this with you. P.S. I just had to one up the last yeah, guy's Danny, donation you that, Danny? at hundred dollars. Yeah. Danny, yeah. Danny didn't hear that. Danny hey, who's gonna one up LS experts? Matt, Woo. you have a cash app. You should have a cash app. They could just send a you Venmo. money right now. A Venmo. You need a Venmo. Oh, it's a Venmo. An OnlyFans. It's an app where mm. you just plug, Still your, eggplants. You plug your debit card to. People could just send you money. What were the eggplants for? Oh, the OnlyFans. For free. You yeah, gotta be- create an OnlyFans, Matt. Somebody wants to know if they PayPal you money. Can you send them a signed book and send it to Australia? By the way, big fan. I mean, I would have to buy. I mean, I could do that. I could but that's buy too the, much work. They can't. Well, I mean, you know, I think it. They need to buy it, the I'm book wondering, and send it to yeah, you. Yeah, typically they buy the book and they mail send it to my it to P.O. Matt. box. I yeah. get it. I sign it. I mail it back yeah. to them. So I'm not sure how that changes that other than I'm doing all the work for you. Right. So you can't ask Matt to do all the hard work. Yeah, you can't If you ask want the Matt book to, signed, I mean, I'm buy the buy, book, send it to him. He'll send it back. I probably, and honestly, send the stamp on probably should buy like five or six books, but. How often does that happen? I mean, tell them, look, my, my email is, you know, contact Matt Cox, or it's contact.matthew.cox at gmail.com. That's a fucking mouthful right contact there. Contact well, I mean, dot Matt Cox Matt was taken. Matthew so, <laughs> dot, wait, what was it? It's contact dot, dot, dot Matthew dot, dot, dot Cox, Cox at, at gmail. gmail.com. Right, and it's at, Matthew with two Ts. Yep, got that. So for... <laughs> Have you ever met a Matthew with one T? Yeah. Really? Yeah, they have Matthews with one T. Great question. Never met a Matthew with one T. Yeah, definitely. For all book questions, Mm. I don't know. I don't know why, but they're out there. Hmm. God damn, hundred twenty dollars. Fuck yeah, that paid for the crab. Straight up. Thank you, LS experts. Straight up. You gotta go to Vegas with him. Hell I got yeah. somebody telling me to fix this fucking drop thing back here because it's two seconds of that effort. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of wrinkly. We're, we actually have something being built. We have a special backdrop being built, being commissioned right now for that. It's so, is it gonna be a wall that's like here? No, it's gonna be back to where that on the same plane. Because you want to see the door. No, I don't really care about the door, but if, if I do it where the door comes, like, in front of the door, there's not and enough you got, room. Like, a little hallway well, then to there, walk there's, behind. Then you got a little hallway. You just walk around the hallway. And yeah, that not, sucks. Yeah. That's okay. But then there's, like, it I, really I, confines I'm, us. I'm missing what you're going for here. That's all. That's And that's my fault. I don't have your vision. Yeah. And that's my fault. And I yeah, well, yeah. you're also 30 years older than yeah. us, so it's, nice. you can't blame that, me. It's nice that you would throw that out there. Yeah. You're an old man, so you really don't have it's the... 30 years older 20 than us. 20 years older than us. Yeah. You might... 20. 
You just don't understand art like we do, I guess. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, and fine arts, uh, you know, we're like... <laughs> we're like not qualified to talk about fine arts. We're right? like fine oh, no, art. I'm not qualified. No. I'm sorry. This side you of the don't table. have a piece of paper there. <laughs> there you go. We're you fine art fine minus arts. the fine part about it. Yeah. My degree doesn't See? keep me warm at night. He and I, it's we're just art. Three and, of us. And, and Sam? Sam? Sam. Right. And Sam, we're... But this is, it's art. Yeah, yeah. It's a different art. This is art. This is art. Oh, somebody just gave you two dollars and wants to know. That's great. How Matt? How did you use to clean money? Clean money. Mm-hmm. You didn't have to clean money, did you? Well, no, because it's coming from a loan. So right. Money's exactly. Going straight in. But as far as like, if I borrow, if I think this is what he's saying, is like, if you if, if you I borrow, try to move it around. Right. Or... If I borrow a bunch of money in the name of Gary Sullivan, <clears> how throat> do throat> I get it into an account where the the government doesn't mm, know there's somebody? And right. At that time, there was no Bitcoin, and there yeah. was no so, and I didn't realize I hit. I, that, I went to prison. I, I met a bunch of people. So you realize, okay, you could have bought diamonds. You could have bought gold. You could have. There's ways to launder it. Right. Well, I, I, the only thing I could think of at the time was get it out in cash. Yeah. I'd get it out in cash and slowly put it back into another bank account. Or you could put it in. There's ways to get it. You buy some real estate and just say, yeah, I'm paying. I'm, rent is this much. And you go buy money orders and you just deposit the money. And so, you know, there's you could buy a house for $40,000. There's a shithole house. It's going to be worth. A hundred thousand once it's renovated, mm-hmm. but you got to put forty thousand renovations. Well, you can put the forty thousand renovations, and you just don't say you did anything. You say I bought it for forty, and I sold it for a hundred. Well, there's sixty thousand dollars worth of fr- money that you can now say, look, I bought a house for forty, I sold it for for a right. hundred, I made sixty grand. Well, really, you only made ten or right, twenty grand. Don't tell them you they don't know that, that. so you just made forty grand cash. Or, right. Or you just laundered forty grand. So there's ways to do it like that. But in my opinion, it was like I was just trying to get it out. That's why I would go in the bank and get out like nine thousand. I'd open up ten different bank accounts and four different names, Mm -hmm. and I'd go get fifty or five thousand today at this account, seven this one, nine, three every couple of days, and then I would direct I put direct deposit money into each other's accounts so that they didn't just drain. They were. The balances were doing this all the time, and then one day they just go. That seems like a lot to keep boom. track of. Well, not really. As long as there's money in, the, you know, you take a cashier's check or you direct deposit here. You take out seven. You put in thirty thousand. You say, oh, by the way, can I get seven thousand in cash? Sure, no problem. That way the balances are. And I would get the money out, and then now I've got a fucking duffel bag full of money. And you just got to put it into another bag. So I mean, I wasn't seems super like sophisticated. Yeah. Because there was no Bitcoin in two thousand and six. Why would Bitcoin or five? Have made it different? Well, because then I what? could just buy Bitcoin and then you what? put it into your electronic wallet. Uh-huh. The government, you know, because it's because it's encrypted. Yeah. They and you they now don't know where the money is. All we know is he bought Bitcoin. If you then transfer that money into another bank account, they don't really know where it came from, where it came from. OK. Um, and where it disappeared to. Or sure. you could buy gold. So they can't track that. Right. So you, you go buy gold, in. you go buy diamonds. So I could you could go buy a hundred thousand dollars gold here and yeah. Go across the street to another gold dealer and sell them the same money. You lose six percent, but what does it matter? Right. Like you deposit it into your bank account, or or you get a check for it, and you go deposit into some corporation or whatever. But look, as long as you're paying taxes on it, and you can, if you're ever audited, they, you can say this is where I got the money. And there's tons of ways to launder money. But look, I wasn't that sophisticated and wasn't that big of a deal at the time anyway. Yeah. It wasn't that much money, and I wasn't that concerned. I don't know. That's the, that's the shitty answer, but that's fine. That's Someone just got. dropped ten dollars for your leg extension surgery. Nice. What? Anonymous American, <laughs> you are a true American hero. Thank <laughs> you for your service, and we appreciate <laughs> you being here. <laughs> that hurts. That that's just cruel. It's just mean. Spirited. Out of nowhere. People Out of crazy. nowhere. Out just of nowhere. Like, we weren't even talking about leg extension. Nothing it's just to do with mean. It. This is mean. It's mean spirited. But thanks for the money. Thanks for the ten. Yeah, spot. that's for Danny. <laughs> Danny that's didn't for your even, legs. and Danny didn't even hear the ten dollars, so he's gonna keep that ten. Oh damn, he's keeping the ten dollars. Fucking scumbag! I'm telling you, he's a fraud. He's it's, he's a con man. It's, Somebody, it, it, hey, here's another one. I'll drop another hundred dollars if Danny kills the bottle of Jack Daniels in one drink, and Matt squirts a bottle of water in his face when he finishes the bottle. <laughs> oh How much is in this? Danny Cat. Half, nah, he, he, he ain't gonna fit. That's almost back. half. From bottle. this angle, I thought there was just a little uh, bit. Yeah, nah, nah, that was too much. He, he ain't coming back. He ain't gonna finish it. No, he's probably outside throwing up right now from, <laughs> from that from the uh, the crab juice. <laughs> he's, he's he hasn't been right. Ever oh, since he has been drinking the crab juice. <laughs> 
<sighs> All right. Um, let me see if I got one I didn't read yet. People want to know the biggest purchase you ever made. The biggest purchase I ever made? Mm-hmm. Well, what, on, what, what do you mean? Like on what? I don't know. Money wise, I don't know. Like what? Yeah, I mean, whatever the that most expensive car. A car. Did whatever that is. Bought a car one time. Did you, did you buy like a whatever forty thousand like, dollars? What is the biggest purchase? Did you buy? What does like that a, inspire uh, in your brain for you to talk about? Like a Rolex or something. But here, here's the thing. Well, I mean, here's the thing. If I buy, super expensive. if I bought a, a ten thousand dollar Rolex, well, yeah. that's different. That's, that's just you did buy. Did you buy one? Not for ten grand. I bought. I, I bought like an eight thousand dollar one. I've had a couple of uh, the little. The, what? What are the uh, the? <laughs> that ain't nothing. The um. Yeah, I've never got like a, a presidential, like a twenty thousand yeah, dollar like presidential. Thousand dollar ice. No, totally. what am I? I'm not a retard. I'm not. It, it's just <laughs> stupid. Um. Uh, like that. Look, I had a couple Submariners. You know, they're cheap. They're like five, six grand. Yeah, I mean that's not. I'm not saying that's cheap. I'm saying it's not a twenty thousand dollar. Thirty thousand dollar presidential. It's not yeah. crazy. It's it's I, when I was about to say reasonable. You know, when I the other day when I was talking, and I said I, I was broke. I only had eighty grand in cash, yeah. so I had no money. Guys went nuts. Like nuts. that's not broke, you fucking asshole. But I'm saying, so what? Like a car? Like I bought a car for like ninety ninety five thousand dollars. It was an Audi, but it was financed. Or I, I bought houses. I bought a two hundred. I bought like a two hundred fifty thousand dollar house. You know, I'm not sure those are. It's a tough question because, it yeah. I mean, yeah, but but it, is it a purchase when I got the bank to lend me two hundred thousand of the? I only put down twenty five grand or thirty grand, so you know it's like right. is that a, that's you a never huge went purchase? Out and bought like something that, with a big wad of cash or nothing, like I'm buying this Mercedes at eighty thousand cash. No, never no, did. I would no never do that. Oh, yeah. like that. No, why? When I can finance it. I don't know. That's I, what it's the so are easy because it's so easy for me to yeah, find. You know what I mean? Like cash off the lot. Right. I wouldn't go here. buy something for fifty or sixty grand cash when they I know you. I know I can put down five grand or and get it financed. Get. No, I because I can I can get it. <laughs> cars, houses, anything like that, anything secure, right. I can, you can get it financed. Them, right. Not fucking spending sixty grand or seventy grand on a car that I can get financed. Right. It's too easy to make some pay stubs what? and and cover my employment and do a. A fake identity. What do you think about all like the rappers that go out and spend all the money I mean, on they're jewelry? They're, and they're all going that broke stuff. trying to prove how much money they. Have. They're going broke trying to prove they're rich. That's just, it's just complete stupidity. And anybody who's impressed by that kind of stuff is just, they just they're just uncouth. I mean, unreal. Who, 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 the couth. That's a, that's a word my mom uses. Uncouth. <laughs> nice, they used right. to say you have no. Cute. Shout out anonymous that's American. What they say to people. Drop another <laughs> ten. What were we talking about? Somebody uh, just gave you ten dollars to give me for my leg extension. They actually oh. gave twenty. Twenty dollars <laughs> total. Your leg 20, extension. Yeah, yeah, like, here's ten bucks for your leg extension. Oh my yeah. god. Did you really consider money. doing that? Listen, I, I seriously cons- I told you yeah, Becky. You don't remember that? Becky no, 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 I know back then, but would you consider doing it now, now that you're past fifty years old? Would you still do it? I seem so silly. And my arms are so short. I would then look you'd like, have to get an arm I would extension. look like T-Rex. You get the big legs. I would look like you, T-Rex. Opens up Stretch the whole And I'd be walking day. around. Luke, I'd be like Luke, long you, legs. And I'd have on. these little tiny arms. And Luke could photo can, can we get Luke to do a mock-up of what you would look like after your leg Stretch extension? Yeah. <laughs> I could do the mock-up. You could do the mock-up? <laughs> yeah, but Luke could do a quick one. I could do, we just put my head on, on a T-Rex. We could make like a little <laughs> animation. Like it's in like NBA 2K. You're probably, you could cut this up. That'll be one of your things. It'll be my head on a little T-Rex the arm. That's a great That'll idea. Be one of your. We're gonna mark that down. Thanks. Thank you. Man. Thank you. Oh my God! There's Man. so much fine arts fucking uh, IQ in this room right now. It's mind blowing. Can't wait to do that. But we got another one. First Some, of all, somebody said they'd give a hundred dollars yeah. if you finish the rest of the Jack Daniels and then Matt hits you in the face with a bottle of water. I'm willing right. to do the no, water. For a hundred dollars? Hell no. Yeah, you. What can't would it take? That anyway. Pay like a thousand. A th- for, that. Uh, for him, for me to chug the rest of the Jack Daniels. Oh yeah. God. A thousand dollars. Thousand sure. bucks. You heard it, people. Right. Here. You heard right it right now. here. One thousand. One thousand dollars. I got from Vegas, and then I had to split it with Matt. Two thousand. For, wow, what a what no no a thousand, yeah. no a thousand don't sell you want to talk about it not getting a thousand this man a thousand has dollars short arms and deep pockets no I'm like an alligator it's, it's first like, of all you I'll already, get the tab I got it you I already can't. have eighty dollars hey no wait wait wait, wait, wait I'll get want, the bill listen, somebody hand me my beer eighty dollars <laughs> of my money he's got eighty dollars of my money already yeah you owe Matt eighty right yeah now. right now keep it on the board Sam write it on the board. 
Put it on the board. <laughs> Did you hear yourself echo back in your ears? <laughs> That's why you laughed. <laughs> Sam, put it on the board. Wow. <laughs> Harsh. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Content. Goddamn leg extension. Hey, <laughs> that is gnarly. Deep cut. No, no, that is like a serious surgery. Can you do that? No, he was thinking about it, but the girl yeah, that you were you with, like do it? he didn't yeah. trust her. Where? How? Huh? Do you have to leave the country no, to they get got, that done? No, no. They'll do it here. They basically... They, can, they, they, they gave somebody a head transplant. What? <laughs> yeah, Mexico you never heard about all that? sorts of shit, man. <laughs> somebody got a fucking head trans... I swear it's real, dude. Somebody just they gave $50 sh- dollars for mass shit. arm extensions. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, for sixty and doing well, LS experts. Oh, right, you're gonna be shit. you're gonna have a new body by the end Matt, of this. I guarantee you, in Mexico, if we get up to like two grain, we can extend all four. Oh my we'll god! We'll be all right. <laughs> Matt Cox is gonna look like LeBron James after we're done with this podcast. <laughs> it's gonna be like two K when you just max out all the. How stats. much money have you? Th- do you think LeBron James has spent on his hair? Have you seen? You know anything it about ain't LeBron? Even James? All that. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't. Still going but out. I wonder how much you can't he's hate spent. on somebody for their hair. I'm not no, hating. Can't. I'm just saying, if you spent bucks a lot of my, money for my extensions, for ar- leg arm extensions. I want the fifty. That, listen, I need uh, this money coming in for me. There's I need money it. coming I'm in. I'm not sure, I, man. I'll give it to you. I okay. swear to God, I'll give it to you. What's the tab at right now? One ten. You can't add it up. I don't think. Yeah, 60 it's and sixty. 50, right. It's sixty, twenty, and fifty. There's a couple hundos in there. 50. Yeah, we got a hundred, hundred twenty. Yeah, but, think, but those are for you, Jack I'll, Daniels. I'll give you some. I don't care. I'll give it all to you. We'll donate it all oh. to Matt Cox. I don't want any of that donation. Donation all to Matt so Cox. The leg extension. <laughs> LeBron Cox. They actually <laughs> cut your. They they break your legs, right? They and then break they ha- your they, they what? Have, your shins. The bone. They what break the your shin bones called? or your femurs? No, no, your femurs. What? Why the, what? the, what? the so femurs? They wait, wait. Doesn't the thigh have to be in proportion with the shin? I have no idea. All You're I know have really long thighs. is they Nothing drill has to be into in the bone. To anything. That's the point <laughs> and of plastic surgery. It. <laughs> and then they extend it slowly, and the bone keeps trying to grow together. Uh. So it they they it'll grow together. Then they break it again. It keeps growing together. They so it takes six months to a year that to get sucks. like a, a half an inch to an inch. Or they can break it and they slide a piece of coral in between the coral? two. Coral? Uh. Because coral is just like bones made of the same type of, there's a certain yeah, coral yeah, by the yeah. same density they and it'll some grow shit like into that it. in my neck. You got coral I'm in your neck? Coral? put a box in there with a bone to fuse my vertebrae together. Fuck. That's well, they cut his neck open to the front. Yeah. To, to, yeah. Because there's a bunch of muscle in the back. It's easier to get through, through the, mm-hmm. yeah. you don't look like you don't see any scars or anything. Right here. Yeah, but it's not bad. No, it could be bad. bad. I've God, seen people wear really You know the one really thing that bad. still scars me Plus to this day? The one young, video so. I'll never fucking forget? The unknown Russian soldier. Oh, uh, my God, dude. That's the. I was at your house, dude, in, like, high school. Steakandcheese.com. Oh, oh my yeah. God, dude. What the fuck? That was, like, the most fucked up thing. That was, that was the most fucked up thing on the internet ever. I wonder if ever. that website still exists. I ain't looking it up. It was a, a website dedicated to, like, just gore. Gore. People dying. And, or dead people. Like foreign videos and people you can find, blown I remember up you can find pictures. It was picture. like 4chan before 4chan. Yeah. You can find pictures of Dale Earnhardt. Like his, like, oh my God, dude. It was so, so gruesome. Are you going to put wild. this back on? The internet are you going to put this, or is this just going to be live and that's it? Or are you going to actually keep this on so people can watch it? You can come back and no, watch it, No, right? they can come back and watch it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And then we're gonna make a bunch of clips and funny thumbnails. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cut it up into clickbait. All those then... times you went like this and stuff. Oh like yeah, that. of course That's I'll be. Arm right. so when I do that, you'll Sam's have the little arm. Yeah, That's gonna nice. Like this your arms. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jesus. <laughs> oh, so yeah, rotten.com. Oh, rotten.com. Yeah. Oh, that, that was dude, it. Dude, that yeah. shit was fucked oh, up. That was a fucked up time. No, that unknown internet. Russian soldier thing is the one video that never left me. Like it's always stuck with me, gave me nightmares. It was the most like. Horrifying they were video. This guy, they had like they had like a foot on his chest with this big like crocodile dundee serrated knife, knife dagger and just sawed his fucking neck while he was alive. Yeah, what? Well, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that's horrible. crazy. But uh, there's shit, there's shit like that all over the internet, it's dude. Crazy. Like that's like there's the fact there's people that like want to see that. We wanted but, to see it, but we were, were like we were it? like 16 years old though. Maybe that was the fucking audience. Do you think? Who else is on those websites? Yeah, there were sick fucks, a bunch sick, of sick fucks. fucks smoking weed at <laughs> yeah. parents' house. Oh the FBI God. arrested us a whole like there has to be like 
I don't know if it's 50 or 200, but any, any amount is plenty. Yeah. Of guys that had paid, like they were paying like three or $400 a month to be a part of a website where a father was molesting his daughter. Oh, who was oh eight, man. Who was eight until she was like 12 or 13, and they eventually got busted, and they just busted all these guys who had been paying like 400 bucks a month for like two years. And this guy's like once a week, he does a video where he like goes into his daughter's room and... Oh my! That's some sick. There was How did you find out about sick, this? Well, there's a whole slew of them in, 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 in Coleman. Like, oh, in like, Coleman, you, you of course, yeah. This so, guy so, was in there. Not, not, not. Well, I never knew who the guy was. No, but there are People guys who that paid for it. The guys that were paying. So I Ugh. paid for two. You, you, like some guy who's like who some guy who paid two, you know, five hundred bucks or four hundred bucks for like a year and a half or six months or three months. And these guys are getting like seven year sentences, five year sentences, and they're Damn, like, they deserve and they that would, shit. you could be behind them like in line. You're sitting there waiting to get your chow, and you hear like two guys like, "This is bullshit." And I, now I'm gonna pay like twenty thousand dollars in restitution to this girl. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, I was only on, I only paid for four months, and you're sitting there thinking, they're like, "I didn't do nothing." You were paying someone to rape his daughter Jeez. and you're pissed because now you have to it was just like there's tons of those guys so there's people that will watch all kinds of weird stupid ridiculous disgusting that is shit. so beyond fucked up i can't even fucking imagine you ever seen bum fights god damn bum fights yeah yeah that was on <laughs> when i when i was out and i used to watch that and i used to watch bang bus every once in a while yeah. and it's ridiculous <laughs> what about do you ever see backroom facials <laughs> No, but I, I surfed it. I surfed at this beach. Uh, what about uh, <laughs> Captain Stabbing? Yeah, <laughs> Captain Stabbing. <laughs> what the fuck was that? It's not like a dude on a pirate ship yeah, boat, basically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I saw. I was in when I I was in Mexico at surfing at this uh, weird secluded beach break, and on the cliff was this big mansion. And the dude's like, "Oh yeah, that was the guy who started." Uh, I forget the name of it now. It was the college girls topless with the oh, the, the girls, girls gone wild. Girls gone girls wild. Gone wild. Girls the dude who wild. started girls gone wild. His mansion was on the hill there, and it was like Allison. Dude. Allison Arnold was in in one of the girls gone wild. Whatever movies. happened to that guy? The guy. Do you know? Yeah, he he. There was a whole thing with him and Paris Hilton and something. Yeah, uh, is he free that? now? Yeah, I remember seeing some on TV. About Didn't he that. he get in he trouble for because some something. well some and some of the girls were like underage or something like that Maybe. and he got busted. I think it was something like that. I don't know. Oh, shout out to our sponsor Bud Light by the way. Oh yeah, Bud Light. White shout Bob, out to Bud Light. Newport Puff Bar. No, not them. Bud do you, Light. Do you really have a sponsor with Bud Light? <laughs> Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. Matt Cox. <laughs> Starbucks. We're trying to we're speaking it into existence. Coke. I understand. Jack Daniels. Oh my god. Supreme. <laughs> <laughs> Rumple mints. Oh. Are still, are people still watching this? Yeah, somebody is excited did... that we mentioned Captain Stabbing. Do you really? Know? Yeah. My man. Do you hey. know how many people Shout are out watching? Matthew Shout Coffee. out my man. Uh, we, there's 277 pe people watching right now. Oh 277. God. That's a lot of people. Is that pe Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Has anybody in the chat ever heard of Faxverse? Facts verse. It's a YouTube channel. And the star of the YouTube channel is sitting at this table right now. Eight million subscribers. Eight million subscribers. The best place on the internet to find out information and entertainment. You will not be disappointed. It's best a live the, show every it, Thursday at 1 p.m. Facts? Facts verse. F A C T S. It was all about it was, facts. Okay, facts first. Yeah. Okay. And no, verse. We they specialize, we specialize in infotainment to just let you guys know like top tens about crazy things that people used to do for hygiene in the middle ages or 10 things you didn't know about paris hilton's shoe size it's just great stuff that you can tune in learn a lot about and always have something to talk about <laughs> and we do a live show every thursday at 1 1 p.m it's the best live stream show on the internet that streams at 1 p.m every thursday be there Get in the live chat and drop the kind of money that you're dropping right now. We might not have Matt Cox, <laughs> but we got me, and that's it. And is it that's you, all you need. Is it YouTube or is it uh, YouTube. Twitch? Okay, it's YouTube. Luke goes on there and he talks. Um, he like responds to comments and he does like he posts his own animation show that he started, where it's really like, mm, that's yeah, it's cool. like part of it's like really cool. He makes these sick collages where he cuts like people out of like fashion magazines and he cuts out the mouth holes and the eye holes and he puts his own mouth and eyes. And he creates these sick animations that they're funny as fuck. You want to see an episode? Yeah. You should show it to him. <clears throat> it's called Lames. It's 
It's pretty good. <laughs> you know who, hey, what's the uh, real estate guy that he, Ben, he interviewed Ben, you had him on your podcast. The Oh, Graham? Graham. Graham. I was thinking about, con I wonder if Graham I don't would think do, he would, too. He would, no, he's no, no, not, no. He's not up your alley. No, no, no. Okay. Eh, that's disappointing. Me. He's like, I mean, he's very, it's, it's very real estate. He's like, what's up guys? Smash that like button. Yeah. Yeah. He's a YouTuber. Yeah. Yeah. He's definitely, he's a super nice guy though. Yeah. Great guy. Check out this fine arts. Full screen that thing. I've seen this. It's a show based on Shane. <laughs> <laughs> True stories. Uh, another one. It's like laughing over there. Because <laughs> she has to watch him make these all day. I pick myself up by the bootstraps if old Bernie Sanders and Nancy Pelosi come busting in my house, take my bootstraps away from me. And I'm going out, man, go lock them up. Listen here, buddy. Those are my bootstraps. Anybody's gonna be pulling them is gonna be me. <laughs> you got a better chance of grabbing a turd by the cleaning than grabbing my bootstraps. He is right. <laughs> Suck on that, snowflakes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He's posting that and he doesn't have a million subscribers yet. Groundbreaking. Animation, groundbreaking, <laughs> Groundbreaking. Hold on. writing, hold on, I, I, Pulitzer Prize <laughs> worthy on. comedy. Hold on, what hit I, up your boy. <laughs> what I need right now is a Matt Cox Fine Arts degree review of what you just saw. <laughs> oh, hey, Matt, Matt. <laughs> are you walking away from the table? I'm, I'm going to take out of the restroom. Okay, oh, wow. God, you, you got a small hours. bladder. Think about that answer. Small bladder. I already That's went three times. Already We're about to lose all our viewers. Nobody's here for us. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You going to join him? In the bathroom at the same oh, time? I'm ready to eat more of this crab. Wait, wait. Easy there, buddy. <laughs> there's, there's my crab. crab man. Anyone's going to be fucking with my crab, it's me. Going to be me. Oh, you almost spilled my crab juice. Yeah, I wasn't even going to bring the whole thing. Is anybody out there going to donate some more hair grafts to Matt Cox? Or arm extensions? Or, or arm extensions? extensions? Or a neck extension? Well... He hey, wants a lipo the neck. The lipo. We need to get a wet vac the neck. We got to get rid of the second neck. Double neck. He needs two necks. <laughs> 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 what about a dick implant? Has he? Have you guys touched on that at all? Mm, I don't think anybody's talked about that yet. <laughs> we should ask him about that when he gets back. Is that a possibility? Oh, yeah. There's, a, there's multiple documentaries about that on YouTube I've seen. <laughs> Multiple. Multiple. I've already looked, I've into, looked into it. it. I've never, I already I've know never, how much it costs. I've never searched it. Don't worry about yeah, it. I don't, not that I'm interested. It just kind of popped up in my feed. Damn, that's just spicy as hell. Yeah, it's crispy crab. You never had the crispy crab? The crispy yeah. crab? That's what I order on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> the crispy crab. I crispy crab at Gam's house. Where is the crispy crab? Oh, shit. You just got some crab like, uh, juice on my headphones. You just got $3 to do so another deckhand. Oh, really? That'll cover it. Wow. How much? Definitely Thank you, Jamie Walker. How much? Three bucks. <laughs> to do deckhands? To do another deckhands. That'll cover a pack of 305s for Shane Lee. That doesn't yeah. even cover Shane Lee beers tab. For you night. have no idea how expensive it is to have Shane Lee for the day. No, it's expensive. Are you eating a shell? Eating a shell? No, I, I told shells you. Out, I told you. He's eating the bones, Matt. The bones. I the bone. There's no that bones. That is no bones. Have I you spit the shell out. Have you ever like a sunflower <laughs> seed. Have you ever considered You've getting... you crab before? Any rookies? <laughs> have you ever considered getting a penis implant? Um. Uh. How much would no. that cost? I don't no. know. I haven't looked into that, although... Is anybody I'm, in the live chat? I'm sure I should. No? Anyone know? 
Um, subscribe to Matt Cox inside True Crime on YouTube. Buy, Buy his book. book. On the run with the Secret Service most wanted con artist with a fine arts degree, Matt Cox. Oh my god. Fuck. I can't think of anything else but you eating that crab. I know, me neither. This crab's fire. It just looks like you a, know the, a huge bug leg. <laughs> like in Starship Troopers, like they just I like, love that movie. It's a great movie. That's great. Really? Uh, yeah. You fine person. arts fucks, you love Starship Troopers. Are you serious? Uh, you never saw a, it? That's a classic. No. I'm glad we get a great yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. Finally. <laughs> what kind of music do you listen to, Matt Cox? Um <laughs> country music. Really? Country Only country? Pretty much. What kind of country? Like Hank Hank Williams Jr.? No, like like Kip Moore. Um I don't know who that is. Uh, Kenny Chesney? Yeah. yeah. The pop country fuck shit? Yeah. What's your favorite movie of all time? <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Uh, I would say... Why is that funny? Because <laughs> the way he asked it. <laughs> um, the crab legs be hitting. <laughs> they hit different. <laughs> Did you ever see Gattaca? Gattaca, no. Yeah. Gattaca and probably Shawshank. Shawshank. Shawshank, really? Yeah. Shawshank was good. Yeah, yeah that's a, yeah. that's a classic. Just because I never, movie. because I remember watching it and just never saw the ending coming. Yeah. I was just like, wow. So didn't you uh, name some of the, like the names after Reservoir Dogs or something like? Yeah, that? yeah. The 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 scam I was running, the yeah, farming like scam. Mr. Brown, Mr. Pink. Yeah, yeah. It was uh no, it was uh, James Red, Brandon Green, David Silver, Michael White, Lee Black, William Blue. And somebody asked you about that, right? They thought it was funny or something. I thought you told them the story. Yeah, I mean, I've told no, the story. Nobody ever many, caught you on it. I mean, no, they no, it, no. it never came. Well, keep in mind they were they were all separate loans, separate places. It was just never overlapped. Yeah, oh yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I got you mean when I got caught by the bank? I got caught by the bank. And, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I was on the phone, and the guy <laughs> I was trying to explain to him how I got the appraisals <laughs> jacked up. Yeah, I maybe said, it was hey, is Waffle House open? I'm hungry still. Are they, they open twenty four seven? Yeah, it's you can't eat in there, can you? Fuck, you, no, you can't even drive anywhere. through. They need to open my goddamn shit up. Open up. Get us back to work. <laughs> this is my constitutional right to go outside and be close to other people and sit in Waffle House. I need. Are my you hash scared brown. of the coronavirus? I want to say no because I almost never leave. Sure, like I, yeah. I just stay home and paint. Yeah. But I, I do notice that when I go out, I'm hyper vigilant See a lot about of people out with masks and shit. Yeah, it it, it gets weird, Pretty and weird, I'm like, right? so I, I find myself being conscious, conscious not to touch my face, not to do things. But you know, which and then I touch my face. But um, you know, like you push the door handle open with yeah. your thing, with and you this elbow. and you that, and it's kick the. But toilet I'm not. It's not like I'm with scared. Your foot. Mm -hmm. Stacy has like clients that won't leave the house. Like, yeah. they're like, I'm not leaving. The she had one client that told her, um, it, she's like, okay, I think you're being a little bit. Stacy's your landlord, right? Yeah. And, and my, a friend of mine, yeah. And she goes, she's like, I feel like you're being, going over the top. And the woman told her, she said, she goes, I don't even feel comfortable talking to you on the phone right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, she was like, I mean, she goes, that's how nuts she was. Wow. I, yeah. I'm not, I haven't left my house in over a month. I this, I that. I order everything. I wash everything. I, it's like, what are you doing? I get fucking mm -hmm. crazy here. I mean, yeah. you know. I don't know. Listen, the economy, what it's doing to the economy. I mean, this is just devastating. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, honestly, to be honest, couldn't we have just let it run its course? I mean, granted, you're going to lose a chunk of people. But Some people actually it. think that this whole thing is made up to ruin Donald Trump. That's crazy to th that some people actually think that. Bro, I'm, I'm I mean, it's not that crazy. I mean, maybe that Are is true. Bro. That is absolutely that, not true. It could be true. It could Donald not be Trump true. Trump just cut me a check for 1200 bucks. If Hell I could yeah. vote for him, I would vote for him. True. What if? 1200 What if? I mean, I know it's fucking crazy. It seems crazy out there in the universe. And we think that it's completely fucking absurd to think that. But all this aside, what if there was actually some people out there who fucking made all this shit up? Or created, a re actually released the virus just to fuck Donald Trump up for some oh. political fucked up reason. Who could wow, generate that's a virus some that serious <laughs> wouldn't wipe any truth bombs that you're Dude. dropping over there? You should change your first name to Alex. 
<laughs> because you are really, uh, it's on, really blowing up the internet with I'm that. I'm kind of retarded, okay? <laughs> the worst thing for Donald Trump is Donald Trump, and the only thing that's going to prevent him from doing anything <laughs> is himself. Yeah, totally. Totally. I totally agree with you. But sometimes I fucking get really high, and I think about, like, what I if, just have this feeling. You what know, if, I don't need what if it is that way? News or information. What if I just this, need this thought that I have. What if all this crazy fucking right, shit? Well, what if the crazy yeah, people are if? talking about? It's easy to ask questions so about what? all that. Then how do you feel? Yeah. What if, <laughs> what if you are right? And then you have to right. actually explain you your feel? thoughts. Now, have you ever heard? Now what do you do? Now yeah. how do you feel? What do you say now? Yeah. Have Fuck you ever heard it. Sean Fuck Atwood it. explain Fuck his it. conspiracy theories about like 9/11 and the Clinton shit? Like some of that shit seems so outlandish and bizarre. It's but it's not that far fetched. But it it once he like lays out all the facts, it's true. I mean, maybe somewhere down the road there will be somebody like that who actually goes in and finds out all the secrets and actually proves that this was some big conspiracy theory. <laughs> Conspiracy <laughs> theories are like a nice like alternate reality. It's like fan fiction for things that are actually happening. It's easy to like ask questions and make up stories about what you think actually happened, but what's but actually that mean nothing's uh, ever a conspiracy? I, I think honestly that ever nobody has any idea and things just happen and we're just reacting to it and, and nobody it's all can a simulation. No, no, nobody can just accept that things happen and there has to always be some like huge story behind that something. That's controlled. Yeah, it's like, oh, somebody's controlling. It's like, things it's just happen. It's easy to be crazy one way or the yeah, other. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's really hard to just accept that people fuck up, things slip through the cracks, and shit, shit, is shit random. just happens. But and everything's random. Deep. Yeah. Yeah. Danny, you, you just keep asking questions like that and have nothing to back it up. And then it's like, yeah, but you know what? Like, sometimes shit be, like, weird. What about Jeffrey Epstein? What do you think, what do you think about Jeffrey Epstein? Deep, do you think man. he killed himself? <sighs> Who knows with that? Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't even know about oh. that. That one, I'll fuck. I'll get on board with that one. That's too convenient. Luke, Luke's getting on board with one conspiracy. I get on that one. I get on board with that one. Oh, shit. He killed himself. What about El Chapo? Uh, what happened to him? Yeah, what about nah, El, what about El Chapo? He ain't getting out now. Getting out. I don't know. De definitely Jeffrey Epstein. There's no conspiracies with El Chapo. Oh shit! I'll, I'll get on, on board one? with that. I'll get on okay. that one. I get on that one. What do you what? think of Epstein, Matt? We, we already had, asked him. We had this yeah, no, but let's no hear. Way they Matt doesn't him know. But look, there's people look, watching Matt, this. That Matt, might not Matt's a guy. That one. Matt's a guy who looks good. Might not because he got a lot of plastic one. surgery. He's really confident, and he tells hair. he's got a good story. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> everyone, it. everyone is subscribed to the you, Matt you Epstein. Talk. What do you think happened? Anything you say, people are. He hung himself. He hung himself. Why? I mean, because he had a he had Why a ton he of that? he had a ton of money. You don't think he could have bought his way out of his situation? No, if, if, listen, he would have never let it get that far. Too much leverage. No, now, first of all, it was too high profile. He's in prison. He he hung himself. The going so from the level he was, he was at down somebody to somebody killed him. Huh? You don't think he was going to squeal, tell the news I, on everybody? No. Listen, there, are you kidding? Listen, there's and they too many him? to get into a prison and kill someone is virtually impossible. Not to have the guards do it, right? The guard, the guards aren't gonna. Uh, there's too many guards. There's too. And it, you listen. really think he hung himself? Yeah. You don't think you think it's impossible for that to happen for them to kill him inside a, there? I'm Didn't you there's say too many cameras? <laughs> there's too many. There's too many people would have to Where's be involved. Where's the footage? There's I have a question. Yeah. The Why cameras would he kill went himself? bad. Why did the what? cameras go bad? That's a coincidence. The cam the cam half the cameras don't work anyway. Well, what the? F well, that's a convenient excuse. But in, 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 in general, in any prison, anyway, tons of the cameras just don't that's work. That's where my tax money went to bad cameras. Yeah, bad cameras. That's unreal. There's bad cameras, and you're gonna so you're gonna go get some guard. But they'll catch me some guard going in to do some bank fraud. I bet that some guard making sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year. I'm gonna how how do you, I even approach you to say, hey, look. I know we're gonna you're gonna be on Epstein's fucking thing, and we're gonna get you and that other guard, Billy Bob, and we're talking to Billy Bob, and we're Billy gonna get Bob you Thornton? guys to go in and kill Epstein. That's never gonna happen. Never. No. It could happen. No. Yeah. That could they're gonna happen. listen. They're gonna be jammed. And you don't then, think? And then we you kill you. Guys then they're gonna to kill you two immediately. Him to go? And then everything just disappears afterwards. And the cameras are bad. There's no, no case. This, that, There's no third. talk of it. He, he dies, disappears, everybody's cool. Why'd he do that? Why yeah. would he kill himself? Why? Well, yeah, well, who's got something to gain from Maybe all this? Maybe he killed himself. I don't know. Maybe somebody killed him. This shit is... <laughs> These people are funny. I bet funny. he ain't eating no snow crab right now. Yeah, he guarantee he ain't eating no snow crab. 
Let's wrap Maybe this shit is. up. What are we doing here? Are you re- are you reading the kind? Co- this is just ridiculous. I got read caught up in the Epstein wormhole. Matt, why don't you read one? Oh, somebody thinks I positive Epstein died from auto erotic asphyxiation. He finished before he died, though. Uh, <laughs> what about this? Is that the the, the recent good to know. <laughs> the recent UFO photos released by? Yeah, what do you think of those? I don't know. Nobody That's, cares because everyone's worried about coronavirus. Would you, no, would you ever run for president? Are real? Would I ever <laughs> or have a, uh, a career in politics? <laughs> I mean, you, you would be a great money? you would you would be a great president of the United States. You'd be a great poli- I'd have to yeah, politician. I'd yeah. have to tone down my. Some of the ridiculous things I say. I don't no, you so. yeah, um, ramp it up. You're honestly. nowhere near. You're nowhere near Donald Trump's level. Yeah, but yeah, I. Oh, God, it's, it's what a problem he is for himself. I mean, that that's the whole problem. It's like the whole narcissism. Thing. I love the story He's you used to re- tell about about when he got elected when you were in prison, and ever all the prisoners' reaction to him <laughs> oh, getting elected. They were so <laughs> furious. <laughs> they were so funny. <laughs> Yeah, they were upset. Didn't a lot like of well, a lot of guys were something? perfectly happy. Yeah. So, but the bulk of them. And what's so funny is that the Trump administration has probably done more for prison uh, prisoners than more for prisoners. Yeah, really, absolutely. Um, How so? I, for, you know, you know, I got time off my sentence because of him. Yeah, yeah. because of him. Uh-huh. Lots of people because did. Now I didn't Trump? get. I was supposed to get something like three months or something. Not Kanye West. <laughs> yeah. And Kim K, they're is freeing it? all them people from prison. They are? Could have freed Matt what, what? He's eating crabs. He's just shells. eating crabs and he's fucked okay. up. He's not even crabs. He's just eating the shell. He's just chewing on the shells. There's some meat in these. Never <laughs> There's crab meat before? in these there shells. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Donald what? Trump signed one, one of the bills he signed. The, the BOP used to short you about, about seven days every year. Mm-hmm. And so what happens? All these other administrations are like, we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that. And they never did. Obama had it, had two terms, never fixed it. Mm-hmm. Trump comes in within a year or so. He's like, yeah, fuck it. Let's fix that shit. What do I have to sign? Write it up. Sure, no problem. Boom. Guys are getting four, uh, four months off their sentence, six months, mm-hmm. a year. I was supposed to actually get several months, but I was already in the halfway house by the time it happened. I ended up getting a few weeks. Mm. Well, I was actually supposed to get a few months. But, yeah, so, I mean, it, it's it's... Look, they're they're let, you know they're letting tons of people out right now because of the coronavirus. Yeah, in other countries though, in this country. Oh, no, in this one, really? Half the women in the camp, in all the camps. If you did fifty percent of your time in the in the in the camps, or in Coleman, they were letting the, the girls go. Wow. Yeah. If you did fifty percent of your time, or 50, and you were nonviolent, well, most women have nonviolent crimes, mm-hmm. so they're almost nonviolent, almost all nonviolent. Yeah. So yeah, guys are getting out uh, left and right. Uh, also on compassionate relief, he also signed in the Second Chance Act. He, he's signed a, bu- a ton of bills. I mean, look, it just doesn't make sense to keep guys, to keep some guy, some nonviolent guy, give him 20 yeah. years and keep him in jail for 20 years yeah. because he filled out some paperwork and, 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 you know, some people lost some money. And that's horrible. Great. Get him out. Let him start paying, paying it back. Yeah. No, we're going to give him 20 years. I feel like they could have, like, taken you and made you, like, an intern for, this, for the CIA. Instead, maybe like a like an unpaid like an unpaid intern for it. Why is it yeah, always unpaid? I still have bills. You Everybody, could have been. Nobody wants to pay me. You could have been I'm like a. So what would I sleep on a you, bench? Man. You could have been a. You could have been like a low paid intern for what the Secret Service. Be? I mean, I don't have a problem. At least with you would have been doing something productive other something? than just sitting in prison. Right. I have. I, I don't have a problem with that. But first of all, you, you realize how much cheaper. And it then is. once you've done that for a certain amount of time, come, you know how much cheaper it is to keep someone on probation than it is to incarcerate them. How much cheaper? I don't know. It's got to be significant. <laughs> I don't know the actual number, but I do know that you know I'm paying for all my own my own bills and everything instead of the BOP playing. It's probably only a couple thousand dollars per year, mm-hmm. as opposed to thirty thousand dollars to keep you incarcerated. So it's 30000 to keep me incarcerated in the federal system. It's probably only a couple grand to keep you on probation. A lot of people are saying Trump 2020 in the chat. What about we need Amadeo? Tw- when does Amadeo get out of prison? When does he get out of prison? We need an Amadeo Matt Cox bill. <laughs> Shaman smoking that jet fuel. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> no, he's been eating those fucking gummies, those hundo milligram gummies. And those crab le- 100 milligram yeah. crab legs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Crab legs just leveled me back out to plane zero. <laughs> I'm back to equal. I'm back to God when I damn. walked in. Here. There's literally, there's literally, I just started all over. There's now. crab <laughs> fragments all over this area right now from Shane eating all those crab legs. You ordered it. I'm no, I'm not complaining. I'm waste. just saying. 
You paid for it. All this crap. The listeners paid for no it. No one to share it with. All right, let's wrap this up. Well, wait, we got to find out when Amadeo's getting out. When's <clears> he getting out? He's going to do this podcast this weekend. It's calling up. us soon with our Inside Connect, Johnny Appleseed. Oh. Thanks for calling in. What a coincidence that he calls in How good live is that from shit? Coleman. That they're oh gonna think God. we planned that, but we didn't. It's a conspiracy. That's a close friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old pal. I got Kyle it. Roberts I got it. just he gave ten out. bucks. What? Oh. Are you kidding Plot me? Plot twist. Matt leaves Danny and goes to work for uh, name I can't mention. <laughs> <laughs> so look, so he gets out um, July 26, 2028. So we need that Amadeo for Roberts? president 2028. 2028. Amadeo for president 2028. Yeah, that's perfect too. We got to vote for because president. That's, Amadeo for emperor. For I'm, emperor. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Emperor. You're right. right. Emperor. Amadeo for emperor 2028. 2028. Nice. That's the way to go. We need shirts, and then we need they, different shirts with different quotes. All right, we can we can get we can make that happen for sure. Yeah, that's got to be that's got that's huge. Thank you, Kyle Roberts. Well, we got enough Thanks, money here Kyle. for you to like start running and you know start a campaign. We start a campaign, get some commercials out, get some yard signs going. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a great podcast, Matt. I hope you enjoyed your crab one. legs and your potatoes and your corn and your boiled that peanuts. Sausage. It was great to be able to sit next to you too. And yeah. What do you think about Luke? <laughs> Hang out. It. Matt, like, you know what's so funny? Matt, what that, do you think about meeting Luke for the first time? I I think Luke's great. What do you think we about? Can, it's a privilege Luke sitting next to you. Replacing can, can, hat rack with Luke. <laughs> yeah. Can, what do you think? I have yet to have him not get fucked up the whole fucking time. <laughs> you know what would kill? Every time we do a podcast, you. you always make sure that he's going to be here. We, we I need we need a sounding board. You're 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 too. You know, pencil protector. Uh, you know, you're, you're he's, he's a little rigid. Yeah, yeah. You're. You know, we need somebody to kind of be like, mm-hmm. hey, what's up? Mm-hmm. He's like, I kind prepared for this. Here's my questions, and let's answer them. Tini never prepares for nothing. And that's the worst part. <laughs> you know, it's just Ask killed. It, it kills. Yeah, he's yeah, completely unprepared. It, it kills me the the whole the whole <laughs> sitting next to you. Um, somebody call, somebody will send me a, an email or something and be like, Hey man, can you know, can you know, and I, I'll, I'll swap a couple of comments and then yeah. I end up talking to him on the phone, bro, it's so amazing to be talking to you. And it's so this, and, so, and I just feel like I'm just some douchebag that just got out of fucking prison. And you're like, I'm like a huge fan of and fan. I, I emailed That's this crazy. I emailed this dude and he responded to me. Right. And next thing I know, I'm an internet superstar. That's, that's Danny. Danny made me an internet superstar. How does it feel? And he, and he has no problem taking complete credit for it. <laughs> and all the money that's been given in the chat. Yeah. And you've been on Vlad TV. You've been on, Vlad, uh, what's the other one? Value Tainment. Value Tainment. Bubba. Some, Bubba. Some, Bubba. Some, some, some rich Bubba. weirdos flew you down to the Cayman Islands for it like an interview. Cayman. It was Puerto Rico. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> get it right. Some, some fucking rich dudes flew him down to Puerto Rico to give like a two-hour seminar. Oh, and you know what happened? What I didn't tell you this. This listen. This is, I think it's serendipity, right? Serendipity. It's where it's like, wow. It's like everything. Literally a couple days before that, I get a phone call from someone who says, "How much they pay you? A thousand bucks? No, uh, it in Puerto Rico. Yeah, sixteen hundred oh. and the plane ticket. And I stayed overnight at a very nice hotel, and they were great. Oh, okay. So, but th- this is the cool part. Listen to this. The cool part is this: is that a couple days beforehand, I get a phone call from somebody saying, "Hey, look, I know." This this lawyer, I just met this lawyer. He's been in, Shh, did I tell you this? Everybody knows him. I don't think so, no. Okay, so here's what I'm, I'm not going to stop this time. So what happens is the lawyer, I know a lawyer, entertainment lawyer. I tells him, I told him about you. I checked it out. I read the whole thing. Uh, he, yeah. he went to the website. He checked out the website. Then he called somebody that he represented. Okay, great. So they talked to this woman uh, named Ann, and she's a, pr- a producer. And so he goes, she wants to have a meeting with you. She's checked out your channel and all this stuff. She wants to talk. She does a bunch of movies. And I said, okay, cool. And I go, what, he's like, when can she talk to you? And I said, well, she can't talk to me on Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever it was. I said, because I'm going to Puerto Rico. And he goes, you know what? She's in Puerto Rico right now. Oh, the Netflix movie. lady. Yes. And I was like, well, I'm going to be in Puerto He goes, so she's in Puerto Rico right now. Where are you going? I go, well, San Juan. He goes, let me make a couple calls. They make a couple calls. Next thing I know, they call back. They go, she can meet you in Puerto Rico. She's going to be there anyway. At that night, she's shooting all day, and that at that night she can meet you. So I go and I meet the guys, right? They pay me the sixteen hundred bucks. I get into an Uber. I then go to San Juan. How do they meet, pay you? Uh, Zilla, Zill, Zell, Zell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Zell. Like Chase Quick Pay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then I go. I get an Uber. 
I go to the uh, Vanderbilt Hotel. Nice fucking hotel, by the way. I could have lived in the bathroom. <laughs> It'd be the nicest <laughs> fucking place. I mean, it was amazing. <clears throat> so I meet with her. I spend three hours with her. And that's when I met the guy, Kevin, um, the guy from Entourage, Kevin. Uh, I don't know. Why can't I say his What's his name? Kevin Connolly. Kevin Connolly. He plays E in Entourage. So I, I meet him. He's there. I meet her. I meet uh, her. Uh, the other producer. We talk for three hours. She and so we talk for like three hours. She's super cool. And so we have dinner. And she ends up saying, "Look, we're gonna look over your content. I, I like you. I like the content that I see. I definitely think we can do something. I'll be in touch." And I was like, "Okay, I don't think much of it." So, but you know, I don't think anything's gonna come of it. So what ends up happening is like two weeks later, I send her an e- a, a text and she goes, oh my gosh, we were just, look- actually yesterday we were going to call you. We looked over your stuff. I needed to call you. I'm so glad you, so I get on the phone. I talked to her a couple times. A week later, I talked to her. She hooks me up with this other guy and with this guy from Zero Gravity and then Zero Gravity comes in. They say, look, we want to represent you on these two stories and we'd like to manage you. And that's where I'm right now. We've had a bunch of phone calls and I'm supposed to sign a contract with them to manage some stuff. And, and you only got to pay us 5000 a month. We take 30% of all the money Nobody's paying. Mm-hmm. Nobody's saying it's not, it's none, of this, not, none of that's happening. That's Danny's thing. Um, so, yeah, so it, that was a great, that was a great trip. Oh, and that's, that's. Uh, I think those thing. I think those like producers are so weird. It's such like a thing of the past. Like to be like a, ne- oh, I'm a Netflix producer. Yeah, let's meet. It's Let's go Netflix. have lunch. It's Netflix. We can talk about our our new series that we're going to produce. You know, sign a sign a shopping agreement with us, and and we'll try to pitch you to HBO. And you know, and you telling me that if you telling me that if a producer from Netflix or from Blumhouse came in and said, "Look, we want to turn your thing into a this," we want to, you'd be like, "Hey, nah. enough with you. Hey, I'm good. Yeah. Not interested in Netflix series. I'm Danny, and I'm doing my thing, and I'm not. Come on, you'd be like." Well, let's talk about. Well, this. let's think. Let's look at this from a different perspective. Okay, let's say that this is actually a successful podcast. Let's say this? that. Let's pretend this is successful. Let's pretend, let's pretend that. Okay. Okay. First of all, we are no, wait, 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 wait. somebody just right. dropped ninety dollars. Wait, somebody just dropped ninety bucks and says Danny has to eat one of Shane's old crab legs. Keep up with good content. So hang on, I want to make a point. Pick up a shell. Hey, pick up, pick up a shell. I'd like to make a point. You gotta pick up a show. Ain't no meat left in Ain't there, no boy. Ain't no meat left, boy. Fuck, <laughs> t- fuck it, refund no your $90, left, $90 boy. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend uh-huh. that this is a success, uh, uh, successful fuck. goddamn Jack Daniels Kyle and Crab Legs. You sick fuck. You sick, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> goddamn you. Was that Kyle Roberts who gave that $90? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you oh. fuck Come me. on, man. You gotta at least nibble on one. <laughs> Nasty. You gotta at least, like, pick it up. Oh, pick if you, up a, if you pick can convince Miss Sniffin to come on the podcast, then I'll fucking, I'll do it. Let's pick it up. Oh, there's some meat left in that leg right there. I'm not touching that leg. You just touched it. Just put it up to your lips. <laughs> Let's pretend that this is was as a, a, a successful podcast on YouTube. Halfway Matt Cox. decent. It'd be successful right. if you had some crab legs in Let's your mouth. Let's say that this was, for example, a Joe yet. Rogan <laughs> style podcast that got that. every Joe episode got a million views. Right. Right. I saw Joe Rogan have a crab. Why hasn't he taken a deal with Netflix or he one makes of these things? Fifty million dollars a year. Dun, dun, dun. There you go. He didn't sign the deal with the devil. He makes his own money. He fucking creates his own content. He owns everything that he does. He has all of his own subscribers. He doesn't have anyone wearing a tie telling him what to fucking do. I understand, but you 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 think that that's what's going to happen here? It's not that I don't. I'm not impressed. No, the, the point is, I'm it's not, not going to happen I... here. It happened with it. It would happen with someone that was on his level. He controls everything he does. Right. He's not going to have – no one like Netflix can offer him anything that's worth anything. Because he made – if it was Joe Rogan and he made $100,000 a year. <laughs> Sorry, that's if another it, conversation. If it was Joe Rogan and me, he made $100,000 a year and Netflix came in, I think he'd take it. Yeah, but the point is they wouldn't offer him that if he was only making $100,000 a year because he wouldn't have enough viewers to make any kind of difference on Netflix's fucking scale. On their meter, it wouldn't. It wouldn't do anything not, for them. Why am I not? Am I not understanding? Is this me? Yeah, you're not understanding it. You're I'm completely missing it. I, I am. I'm. I am missing it. I'm you saying, are. You are. I'm saying that you have an opportunity to have a Netflix series. God knows what they're going to pay you. God knows the exposure. It's going to be. It would be amazing exposure. It could probably be a great payday. It might run for ten years. Look, I think it's cool for people that made the Tiger King documentary because they spent five years filming and producing something that never got, never saw the light of day. Right? Nobody saw it. But for example, if you're someone who's creating stuff that's being published all the time and you're kind of like building a brand and you're building an audience. But you're, are, are you building that brand to ultimately 
kind of go to the next level or just continue on? Yeah, with, go, definitely go to the next level. You're always the, trying to go. Level? You're always trying to go to the next level. Is the next level what? The next level is just the next level is, is gaining more of an audience, gaining, building a stronger brand. That's the next level is just constantly trying to grow what you have and make it stronger, make it bigger. So if someone said, hey, we like what you've done with, with, uh, um, hand or deck hands, deck hands with deck hands, and we're thinking about taking some of those characters, we'd love to turn that into a Netflix series about guys with alcohol problems who work on boats, and we think that'd be great. And would you be interested in working with us? On some type of that's, a series, that's, you'd that's say. That's different. That's different because Deckhands was like a one-off series that we did. Deckhands isn't like this show. Well, okay, let's let's not say this show because this show isn't me. I'm saying in general, me going and trying to do something where they say, look, we like your story. We, we like to take it and turn it into a series yeah, where yeah. you're in I prison. Get what you're we'll saying. Get someone- I totally get what you're saying. My point is that I think that the whole like net well, like, like I'm going to meet with a producer of a, of a TV network like – to go talk about pitching a new TV show. I'm, like, that's a thing of the past. That's something that is not going to last that much longer because people, I feel like the future Netflix of this kind of seems, shit. seems like it's doing okay. <laughs> yeah, Netflix is definitely doing what okay. What about Hulu? They're, are they doing all right? They're doing all right, right? Uh, yeah, Apple. they might be. My point is that people is are making their own content. Amazon. Amazon is going under. Oh, no, wait. That's no, right. everybody went on strike today. Amazon, how much money are they making off of their content that they're purchasing i don't i don't know but yeah. i know that if they're willing to dump you know a billion dollars or half a billion dollars into content they is probably amazon what like the third biggest company in the fucking world right they, but they, I, they have I, a I'm space saying, program I don't, I don't and them. a <laughs> I don't, content program <laughs> of but course I don't yeah if they're, they're stretched it, a little thin if they're building rockets maybe they're going to spend some money on content matt yeah yeah I, you're right I'm let's spend some money on like a cartoon <laughs> yeah, and like, these space from, rockets from a business perspective you just don't dump money that you're going to lose you just don't do it. You don't say, hey, you know, we're, we've got a trillion dollars. Let's yeah. go ahead and throw away a billion. Why? Well, because we're like that. No, you still have shareholders. You still have to answer to the, You're supposed to be making decisions that are that are furthering your agenda. Yeah, so you can't sure. just piss away money. You're a public company and you have to you have billions of dollars you're accountable for. Right. You have to hedge your bets in some one way or the other. You right. got to so you got to not making bad decisions. They're doing like this makes sense here. Now do we lose? Yes, we might end up losing, but ultimately we think we're going to we're going to make money at it. So they're not saying we're just pissing away. They're buying it. They're thinking there's some science behind it that says it's going to ultimately pay off. And they're making programs. So I'm saying yeah, they are making programs. I think that Netflix and I think those types of series that are doing it much quicker. I think what's dying off is yeah. movies. Hollywood is dying off. That's what I was getting out of those company. Yeah, those company that that way of thinking. Hey, we're going to spend four years putting together a movie. You know how many times they've optioned the, that that Rolling Stone uh, magazine article three times. Yeah, every eighteen months. It's been four and a half, almost four and a half years that they've been optioning this fucking thing. You haven't made a movie yet? Are you serious? Netflix would have had the movie done in six months. Matt, this is a four-hour podcast. It's not my fault. People are still asking for more in there, too. It's crazy. <laughs> People are expecting something from you, Danny. Kyle Roberts gave $90, and you haven't get, done a goddamn thing for it. <laughs> I'm not a fucking circus monkey, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. That's great. Goddamn God damn it, Kyle. God damn it, Kyle. Oh, man. You got to do something for him. I'm in the middle of doing a live podcast right now. Look, why don't you do something? Because it's not my show. Yeah, it is. I'm only the facilitator. You're a quarter of the show right now. I am like an eighth of the show. No, you're one quarter. There is three percent right no, now. No, actually, no. You're twenty percent. So you're twenty percent because Sam is part of this. So Sam is twenty percent. Split even around here. <laughs> it is. There's five of All us. All right. <clears throat> How many subscribers do you have? On what? Eight million. I don't know. It's eight million. Eight million. You, I know you're joking. No, it's eight point no. two million. Wait, with the with the mouth thing? Yes. No, no, no. That's, no, a, that's no, a different that's channel. That. Oh, okay. But he shows the mouth thing on the live stream. Facts verse. Everybody oh, facts, go check out facts verse. Oh yeah, yeah. Facts verse. Facts verse. Facts verse. Right, right. Thursdays at one. <laughs> you guys are gonna check love this. Check out your boy. Eight million. Eight million. Oh, you do have a cool little robot. Look at that robot. I like the robot. Yeah. It's nice. It's simple. You it's know, clean. 
Make thumbnails. Matt Cox approves of the robot design. Kind of, look at that thumbnail. That was done I don't on. Just do it to you. I do it to everybody. The robot was made on Fiverr. It, it is amazing that you can mock your your subjects and still get content, still get them to come back. I'm shocked every time I see one of these fucking things with that Danny that you've apparently you've done. Yeah. Every time <laughs> I see it and I go, oh, that's it. This motherfucker is gone. We're <laughs> done. Yeah, this is done. rock bottom. <laughs> huh? Like, this is rock bottom, but there is always lower to go. Uh, there's you, always. You can always go lower. <laughs> you think basement, Wait, then you, you think no weight. Oh, bunker, God. then you think no weight. Septic tank. Yeah. I'll show you one that I did today. <laughs> oh, the shit hand? Super pumped about. It was about. Uh, 20 gross vintage hygiene trends. That's what I'm doing with my fine arts degree. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. How yeah. did you not click on that? Watch me. <laughs> wow. That's just... Tough. I'm sorry. It's I don't like have a degree. Podcast sorry I'm not making about, sculptures. Right? Yeah, yeah, it is. I, I, I don't... I'm agony. sorry I don't Get like... It. I'm sorry I don't like waking up at 7 a.m. to have some uninspired fucks making pennies trying to tell me what to do with my life and teach me things. Teach me bullshit. I don't understand. What was that about? Hey, where are we going to that? School. School. <laughs> Teachers. Did you have a good time getting your degree? I, I met my wife in school. Okay. Does Sam know her? I'm just Th- that is that my wife. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had a great time in school. Yeah. It, w- it taught me how to think. Right. I was going to say, you, you, there's, there's a lot of problem solving. There's a lot of, you I still know. don't know how to think. <laughs> It taught me how to think and how to use Photoshop and how to. They, that's, that's, I learned Photoshop in really high school, Mr. Bar. Hey, regardless, you never learned regardless, Photoshop. <laughs> regardless, we're all sitting at the same table right now. Yeah. yeah, that's true. We're all equals. Sorry, Matt Cox, you got to come down to our level. Seriously, yeah. I, what do you mean? I'm not at. Listen, don't. I listen. I I want my hundred and twelve dollars or whatever. It's right. Yeah, it was just fucking <laughs> buck fifty. You need those leg extensions. Yes, you do. We're going to need the forearm We're going to make a document. If Matt Cox can get his leg extensions, I will do everything I can to contribute to that. And we will make a full-on documentary, 10-part documentary about Matt Cox getting his leg extensions. (laughs) What if you got a bunch of legs and you look like a crab? (laughs) (laughs) You could, I'm sure you could do a, I'm sure you could do a mock-up. I could turn you into a crab. (laughs) I could give you, I'll get some mock-ups. We'll do a crab, a lobster, a crawfish. (laughs) Uh, uh, shit, nice. we'll even do, like, a sea slug. <laughs> a dolphin. You ever wanted to be a manatee? What about robot legs? Would you ever get robot, like, like uh, Terminator legs? <laughs> Ooh. Just chop the legs off. Sting get fucking Ray. cyborg Sting AI Ray. legs. Yeah, Terminator Listen, eye. if I don't get back to the gym, I'm going to look like I have fucking uh, so skinny robot legs. You should get a Terminator eye, but instead of, like, finding who to kill, it finds who to scam. <laughs> 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 and like when it, it locks, tells you their bank balance, their credit score. Oh my god, <laughs> they're so <laughs> shit. <laughs> the ultimate scam. I, I don't deserve this. Oh my god, I but, did nothing but polite to everybody. We here. deserve each other. Yeah, we all deserve each other. That's for sure. It's time oh to end this gosh. shit. We've hit. We've hit rock bottom. Man. This is pretty bad. There's, you can always go lower. Mm-hmm. We push the envelope every time. Oh, Kyle Roberts just. <laughs> commented Mr. Jewel, but spelt it Jewel. <laughs> that's how it is spelled. Oh, he spelled that's Jewel? how you spell his name oh, for real. It is J U U L. I swear to God, Mr. Jewel. Wow. Mr. Jewel. Mr. Jewel. That's where I learned how to use Photoshop in his class. Uh, it shows. <laughs> Fuck off. That's where Danny got his My art Photoshop's degree. Photoshop's decent. <laughs> you know how to open it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Photoshop snob. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's been fun. Oh, I can't. It's I hate been real. It's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. I've right? had a great time. It was a great time, honestly. Sam, you had a good time. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Shout out to Sam, aka Stinklines, for up running like the camera it. switcher. Stinkline sixty nine, holding it down on this podcast. She completely crushed it. She did a great job. And thanks to Matt Cox for coming in here and sharing all his amazing knowledge and wisdom on S-I-O. fine arts and and real estate and where did fraud. the time go and buy, bu- and buy a book shark in the housing pool and yep. um what follow. about uh, uh follow subscribe uh, the like, program smash that like button inside true crime. hit up your boy on only fans inside true crime only yeah, gotta, join, gotta join inside true crime gotta sub it out so i can leave a comment out. on this after it's done uh letting us know or letting matt know how much you want him to create his only fans account because that's going to pay for his leg extension surgery. I'd pay to see that. <laughs> and oh, yeah. so. on top of that, 
we all benefit from the leg extension surgery. Matt Cox <laughs> benefits he gets because taller. he gets taller. He gets to look more like LeBron James. And <laughs> the whole entire YouTube universe benefits because us three are going to make a documentary about Matt Cox getting his leg extensions. Can you imagine if like suddenly that would there was like so awesome. 40000 50000 came in and you guys come to me and say, no, seriously, you have to do a leg We're, extension. Yeah, like, do it. Is, that, is that enough money? You're going to do it, right? I don't, know. I don't think it is. It's gotta it depends what grand. country you get it done no, in. Yeah, true. <laughs> we could go yeah. to fucking Peru and get your leg <laughs> oh, extension. Yeah. Take a road trip. <laughs> well, then you, Mexico, you have to be Mexico, immobile. Mexico, probably ten grand. Do you understand you have to be immobile? You have to be like... Station. Don't you worry, we'll get you a like live a cam. Yeah. You can't do anything. We'll get you a live you stream set up. We have to have somebody take care of you. I'll take care of you right here <laughs> at this podcast. I'd I'll rather have I'll Becky take care we'll of you. Strap you down right here for <laughs> six months <laughs> and be able to just throw money at you. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, don't worry, we'll take care of you. Thanks, everybody. We up. appreciate all the love and support. Mm -hmm. Hope you like the crab as much yeah, as you did. The crab was mm -hmm. delicious. Thanks. Stink lines do us all a favor and end the stream.